Our Monday underway with craft price drop. Oh, no, it's not Monday today, is it? Was oh, it Monday? Is it Monday? Yeah, it is Monday. Uh, encaustic wax art after that at 8 o'clock, and then Clarity are here with one day special at 9. See you in a couple of minutes. Coming up next on Hachanda is Craft Price Drop. Let me show you the best and easiest way to get involved. Firstly, Craft Price Drop isn't like a normal show here on Hachanda. It involves a falling price auction, which means the price continues to plummet until the quantity reaches zero and the price locks. Regardless of when you call to register your bid or added that item to your basket, everyone pays the final low price, plus your postage, unless you're a Freedom member. It's an amazing opportunity for Freedom members. Fantastic low prices, plus no postage. Now, if you're not a Freedom member, you'll pay 4 95 postage on every item you bid for. But as a Freedom member, you get unlimited standard delivery on every item you purchase from any Hachanda show, including Craft Price Drop. Plus, Freedom members also get selected discounts and offers. So why not join Freedom now? Get all the Craft Price Drop deals here and pay no postage. Freedom costs just $6.97 per month. Just add that number, 888888, to your basket and continue bidding. Craft Price Drop, the new, exciting way to shop here on Hachanda. Hello, I'm Sue Baker, the founder of Imagination Crafts. We're delighted to have partnered with Crafters Companion to bring you an even greater variety of crafts. I hope you'll join me to experience the joy of mixed media crafting together on her channel. It's Flex Travaganza time, folks. From Tuesday the 1st of January at 6pm to Monday the 7th of January at 6pm, we would like to extend our thanks and also offer you our best wishes for the new year with Flex Travaganza. If you add at least £5 worth of any items into your shopping basket, either online or on the phone, you'll qualify for our Flex Travaganza Flexi Basket offer. This means you can spread the cost of your entire order over two equal monthly Flexibuy payments, offering you a more cost-effective way of shopping with us. Flexible payments for everyone. Join us from Tuesday the 1st of January to make your shopping experience with Hochanda even easier. Hello, good morning. Here we are again then. Welcome to Craft Price Drop. It's 7 o'clock in the morning. It is Monday, starting your working week. Well, maybe you don't work, I don't know. But starting your week anyway with us here at Craft Price Drop this morning. I'm Dave with you for the next hour. Hello to all our regulars who are there on Facebook saying hello to each other and to me this morning. Heather, Sheila, Cheryl, Angela, Nancy there. I'm sure Nancy will be there soon. Uh, all the regulars are there, and if you want to join them, just kind of find Facebook and find us on Facebook, and you can join in the banter there. It'd be lovely to hear from you. Right, now, um, I've got a presenter pick coming up in the show as well. Won't be towards the end of the show, but if you love your gemstones, uh, you're going to be uh, really impressed with what we've got coming up. There's loads and loads and loads of these multicolored gems, all adhesive, uh, and they're going to go to an incredibly low price. What that price will be exactly, we never, ever know, uh, because it's all down to you. It's all down to you, and when we get zero stock, it's the zero stock that stops the price and it locks it and everyone pays that final low price. Now, um, you've actually got a lot of gems on each sheet there. How many? 144 on each sheet and there's loads of sheets there. So that's coming up towards the end of the show, okay, in about 50 minutes or thereabouts. Right, we've got tonic to start off with though. Let's show you the details for the tonic items and I'll talk you around how the actual screen looks. Item number, product, and then the price. The price in the purple box is what you should be paying any day of the week. Uh, underneath it, in the white box, that's where you see the price start to fall. That's the exciting bit. Keep your eye on that. Now, the most important thing is as soon as you've decided what you want to put in your basket, what you actually want, to do it as soon as you possibly can. That confirms that you're in the auction. The way to do that is to put it in your basket and check out. If you don't check out, if it's just in your basket, it's still ours, it's not yours. So put it in your basket, check out, that confirms you're in the auction. It then takes the quantity down by one 
and then when we get to zero, that locks that price in the white box. Everyone then pays that final low price. Now, PMP, big thing about PMP at the moment, of course, is if you're a Freedom member, you don't have to pay it at all. Otherwise, it is $4.95 per item on craft price drop. So we don't want you paying that, okay? We want you to be a Freedom member and not have to worry about postage at all in any of our shows. So Freedom, if you'd like to join us, triple eight, triple eight. That's the item number, £6.97 for membership, and that means you don't worry about PMP at all. Okay, first item then. Let's take a little look at the first item and show you what we've got here. These, I'm not going to say they're brand new because they have been on air before, but these have been historically an incredibly popular buy because you're looking at 11 dies from Tonic. Now, you can see that they're worth around about £6.99 each, something like that is what you'd normally expect to pay. £6.49 it is each of these dies and they're all individual dies but they're very useful not just christmas you've got uh, acorns there as well you've got the star which could be you know all year round the fur cones all year round as well a couple of festive ones in there you've got your mistletoe you've got your berries as well and a couple of baubles too but look they should be 6.49 each die and they're a really good size just take one at random look that's a lot of die for your money and they're all really useful dies that you'll use again and again it's a complete die collection in one purchase but we're not charging you 6 49 each die. It is quite a price drop. So that means that you are going to be getting an amazing deal. £34.98. So we've now taken... Over, it's better than half price. We've taken over... What's that discount? Um, about 30... £36? Yeah, £36.41 we've knocked off that price. I couldn't do the mental arithmetic on that. £36.41 we've taken off the price. You're now only paying £34.98 for the whole lot. You've got the mistletoe sprig, the pine leaf, great for making garlands and that sort of thing. The holly leaf's there as well. It's £3.18 a die now. They've been on before. If you've already got them, I'm sure you're delighted with what you've got and the price you've paid. But are we going to go lower? Are we going to be a little bit higher than before, a bit lower than before? Never, ever do we know where that price is going to end up. We could do this every single day on Craft Price Drop, but it could be a different price every day, because it all depends on you when we get to zero. When you see the arrows flash, by the way, that's a sign that we're taking the price even lower. We've plummeted once. We're going to do it again, down to into the 20s now. 29.88 for all of these 11 dies. Half of them are Christmas, the other half, generic. The acorn leaf, the fern leaf. 41.50 you've saved by getting up early, setting your alarm for 7 o'clock and watching Craft Price Drop. That's not a bad saving to start the day, is it? £41 better in your account than in ours. There's your mistletoe sprig. There's your teardrop bauble. I love the star. Could turn um, maybe your little grandson into a sheriff. Like sheriff's badges. There's your acorn as well. Look, I love that little acorn. Really cute. And there's your pine cone. Okay, we're going again. We've got the plummet prince on this morning. It is Liam at the controls. Holly's on knobs and buttons. Liam's on plummet. And we've got, of course, lovely Shana on the floor as well. And me, well, that's your team for Craft Price Drop this morning. $24.99. That is nearly three quarters off. Not quite, but nearly three quarters off the price. This works out to £2.27 a die. Do you sit there with a calculator like we do and work out just how much you're saving? There should be 6 49 each. You're looking at just over a couple of quid, and the price is still going down. They've been historically very popular. We've got them back. Maybe you're buying a set for a friend now at this sort of price. Maybe you've got a 25 pound budget or a 30 pound budget, and you think, what can I get? You've only got 20 left. Quite a healthy stock to start with this morning. 20, lots of you in already, that's taken it down to 20. But if you want to put one of these in your basket and check out, that will confirm that you're in the auction. Do that right now. It's the checking out that confirms you're in the auction. 18 left now. They're going fast. Look, three have gone in the last, what, 20 seconds. 24.63. How much lower can it go? Or is that going to be nearly the final price? Who said they liked my shirt? Was it Nancy? Thank you, Nancy. Nice Christmas present. Heather's asking if Plummet Prince is wearing his inflatable crown because that's what he got from the Secret Santa before Christmas because he is the Plummet Prince. He needed a crown. He's lost it. Oh, there they are, look. Mission Control. I wore it for you, didn't I? What, the first day he had it, he gave it to me to wear on air. Mm. So, no, no, uncrowned Plummet Prince this morning. 24.39, 11 left then. Going fast. No, there's no guarantee ever that we can obviously repeat items. Sometimes we sell out of them, which we often do, and we can't get them again. This, I'm pleased to say, we've been able to get a few times. But there'll come a time when Tonic say, actually, that's it, we haven't got any more. Run out. Will it be back again? Grab it now if you've seen it before and thought, oh, I'll, I'll get them one day.
Only seven chances left now, and some of them have got little loops in the bottom as well. So if you wanted to kind of tie them together with a ba bit of baker's twine, you could do that. Put a brad through the hole if you wanted to as well. It would have to be quite a small brad, but you can hang them or do all sorts with them. Five left at 24-21. 24-15 now. Still going down. See, he's the plummet prince. He seems to hit that plummet button quite a lot. We've had about, how many crashes have we had? About four and quite a few trickles. £24.09. Three left. It's about to go. It's being moved away from me, so that means we've only got a couple remaining now. The next two of you through to check out will confirm that you've bought these at twenty-three ninety-nine. One left now. Good luck. It's gone. You've got the last one. Jenny. Nice Congratulations, Jenny. You've sealed the price for everybody, and we confirm that everyone pays that final locked price of £23.99. pence. And did anyone pay postage, Plummet? Anonymous in Wells paid 4.95 PMP. It's not the end of the world, but um, that's the only person in that auction that actually paid postage. All the rest of you are Freedom members, which is good, good news. Now, um, this is one of these absolute must-have. Don't even think about it. Get it in your basket and check out. You'll use every single piece of card that's in this offer coming up next. Everyone who's crafty needs this. You've got approximately 500 sheets of assorted cardstock in this box. Now you're actually getting your plastic box as well. So that's always good for keeping your cardstock in pristine condition. I mean you pay what two or three pounds for a box like that I would have thought, if not more. So you've got a lot of weight in here as well. You've got a, a roundabout well, I can't say exactly how many, but you've got a mixture of assorted paper and assorted A4 cardstock as well. Contents will vary, but this gives you a really quite good indication as to what you can expect to get in your box. Now, you've got silver cardstock, you've got some cardstock and paper that's got texture, you've got some that's got like a satin and a sheen to it too. I mean, that looks like leather, doesn't it? You've got that lovely kind of grainy effect to the paper or the card. And the GSMs vary, obviously, because obviously paper and card are totally different weights. But you've got classic white, you've got wonderful festive red, you've got silver, you've got um, texture cast off that looks a little bit like fabric, metallics, it's all in there. There's a lot of weight to this as well. And we will deliver this to your door, remember, without any postage charge at all, provided you are a Freedom Club member. Okay, now we are going to do a big plummet. Starting its life at £52. Don't worry, if you want to put it in your basket now, you won't pay £52, you won't pay anywhere near that. That's what you should be paying if you were to buy all these sheets individually. £52, look at this, less than 20 That is a whopping £32.02 .02 off the price. 1998, and it will come like this. It doesn't come with the wooden crate. We just put it there for demonstration and for display. But it will come, actually, in the plastic box with the lid as well. And this weighs a lot. You know, this postage, if you took it to a post, a post office, this would not be cheap to post. This would be probably the best part of a seven or eight pound postage, I would have thought, for the size of it and the weight of it. But you've got all these different colors here that you can see. You've got pearlescent, red, that slate gray is very, very attractive. We're going again, we're going low. How much lower can we go, I wonder? £52, that's where we started. Look at where we're at. £15.79. £15.79 for all of this car stock. Did we say roughly how many sheets it was? About 500. I did say that at the beginning, but I've forgotten. About 500 sheets. Give or take one or two. But it is a lovely mixture. Uh, you might even find some printed card stock in there as well. But the majority of it will be plain for you to do with what you will plain in the fact that you've got like a pearlescent sheen on this, a pearlescent finish. That looks like, um, looks like a, like a dark chocolate, but it's got that lovely satin coating on it. Bright orange, gold. This is a great stash. It's a great instant card and paper stash. You've even got glossy. Oh, look at this one. Wow. Now, I can't guarantee you actually have this in your stash. There may be one or two sheets of this in there, but look at that. Never seen cards look like that before. So it'd be a great, great fun when this box arrives just to undo the lid, have a little flick through and think to yourself, do you know what, I've paid less than £16 for this and I've got so much car stock that's going to last me probably months and months and months. How many have we got left? There are 17 boxes without an address or a name on. There's lots that have already got your name and address on if you've already put them in your basket. Jill? Was it Jill? 
Yeah, Jill, you've just taken it to 15, but you're not a Freedom member, so you're going to be paying postage of 4.95 unless you join Freedom. You can do that in the same transaction. Just put treble eight, treble eight item number in your order next to the item you just put in your basket. They'll charge you 6.97 for your Freedom membership, but you will not be charged a penny PMP today or for the next four weeks because membership lasts for a four-week period at just £6.97. If you're watching this in Europe, you can have it too. Uh, £14.97 for freedom membership for you, that's euros, and $19.99 if you're in the USA. Ten left. Fifteen fifty-nine. that's a saving of £37 approximately off that price. Delivered for fifteen fifty-nine. remember, if you're a Freedom Club member. It's just one of those opportunities that don't, you know, don't, don't look at it and think, oh, well, mm, this is not bad. Grab it. Put it in your basket. You'll know you will use it. You'll know that um, you'll use every single sheet of this. Eight opportunities left. Nearly 500 sheets, a mixture of card and paper, mostly card. And you've got some very unusual kind of designer sheets in there as well. Metallics, shimmers, like a Centura pearl finish to the cardstock as well. You've got that gold finish. Linda, you've taken it now down to five remaining. That's all we've got left. Five boxes full of approximately 500 sheets of cardstock and paper. Five left at £15.59. That's a delivered price, remember, if you're a Freedom Club member. Good luck. If you want it, get it. Put it in your basket now. You don't pay anywhere near that start price. No promises that we can get it back. We'll try. But we've got three left. Three chances for you to put them in your basket and check out. Good luck. I hope you're going to get them. We've got two left now. Last one. Who's going to get the last one for that auction? You can buy multiples as well if you want to. Don't just have to buy one. You can put two in your basket, three in your basket. Well, now you can't because you've only got one left. It's gone to... Price lock. Joanne. Joanne, you got the last one in the nick of time and you've closed the auction and locked the price for everybody. Everybody pays £15.59. Now, just Jill and Vivian in that auction uh, that weren't Freedom members, but the rest of you, of course, are, and you don't pay postage at all. Now, these are another um, tonic dye collection that we've had on before and we've been able to bring, uh, bring back for you. Uh, these were on the other day, actually, and proved to be hugely successful and hugely popular. They should be £24.99 a set. And in each set, you've got three dies. So you're looking at nine dies here. Should be £74.97. Now, there's one in there that isn't necessarily Christmas, but the others are. And, you know, for crafters, let's face it, Christmas is all year round, isn't it? So many people in the crafting industry, as soon as one Christmas is over, the next one begins straight away. They're planning next Christmas in January and so on. So, you know, as a card maker, as a crafter, this is something that you're going to invest in and probably use for the vast majority of the year. Seventy-four ninety-seven, three dies in each set. Now, where they get very clever, let me show you. On one of these sets, you've got two rectangular panels. Now, these don't have cutting edges on the side. Obviously, all the detail will cut out, the wreaths and the flowers and everything else, but you don't have a cutting edge. So this will stay in the cardstock, so you can make lovely backgrounds. So you can kind of cut them again and again and again and again. But where you want to cut them out, or you want to have an edge, you've got a decorative cutting edge, which is separate, just there. And each one of these three has got a different design to the cutting edge. So this one's got the scalloped edge to it. You can use that completely independently of the other dies. You don't have to use them together at all. Then this one... You've got uh, all the one zigzag ones, not here, uh, but you will get the zigzag one, it's fallen off. Um, you will get the zigzag one on this one, like that, just there. So you'll get that cutting edge, you get that wonderful, um, like a flourish star. That's the one that I think is all year round. That's not just Christmas at all, that could be any celebration that you wanted it to be. And the snowflake one, that's really cool. That's, um, you know, not just Christmas, that's winter as well, isn't it? Winter season. And then you've got here, this one looks a little bit like a, uh, like a, a feral jumper, maybe a bit Nordic, possibly. And then you've got the bauble selection there, too. And this one has got a slight rectangular cutting edge to it, just there, which is, again, completely separate. I, I know what's happened to that other one, that tiger tooth one. It's where we kind of play around with them and peel them off. It's probably just fallen out in the box. So you get all of these, two without the cutting edges, separate cutting edge, and you can use that cutting edge on any of the others that you want to as well. They should be £24.99 each, £74.97's worth. What about if we charge you for one, but you get all three? You'll only pay, at the moment, £24.99 for all three sets, for all nine dies. And just to show you the sort of effects you can create, look, I told you about when you don't use the cutting edge, keeping it in the cardstock. 
That's what I mean. So it stayed in a panel in that card. Really lovely. Why not put maybe some gold mirrored behind it too? As a background, that works really well with that lovely stag. And this is using the wreath one, but just using it as a background. So you don't have to use it as a rectangle or as a bookmark. You can actually just use the elements to create that lovely background. And then we snip one of them out and uh, kind of um, decoupaged it together to make it three-dimensional. Again, without having a background, also wrong way up, without actually having a cutting edge, again, you can repeat cuts. So you make wonderful backgrounds. They don't look like rectangular strips now at all. Or if you just want to use it as a single strip, there's your opportunity to use it just individually. Now, this is coming out now for each die set at £7.26. That's all you are paying for each die set. Isn't that an amazing price? Considering they're meant to be $24.99, and they're worth every penny of that, and they have been hugely successful at $24.99 a set. Because there are so many ways of using them. Great as backgrounds, great as bookmarks. You don't have to use the whole length. You can make them shorter if you want to. Just snip. They've got lots of snippability to them. OK, we've only got 12 left now of these sets. There'll come a time when Tonic say to us, actually, you've had every one of those that we've actually got now. We've moved on. We're doing different things now. Um, grab them if you know you want them. This is the time of year to buy Christmas when it's just been and gone. Grab the bargains for next year. Most people I know buy their Christmas wrapping paper in January in the sales. 2160. Climate Prince's mum just bought her Christmas crackers for next year. Why not? Yeah, reduced. Bargain. That's the way to do it. 2160 from 74.97. That's a massive saving, over 50 pounds off, 53 pounds approximately off the price. We've only got six chances left in the auction. Six remaining. Five left now at 2160. Good luck. Okay. Last four. Last three. Three to go at 2160. Is that the final price or will it go down any more? Not done this for a while. Thanks. 4p more. Start Monday with a tickle. Why not? 2156. It always works. Two left. Down from 7497 to 2156. Good luck. The next two of you to put in your basket and check out will be lucky. Who's going to check out? Who is going to close the auction and seal the price at £21.56? Still one left. Who's going to get the last one? It's gone to you. Anne. Twice locked. We think it's Anne that just got the last one, so congratulations. Or it could have been Lisa actually that got the last one. But any, anyway, both of you have closed the auction for us at £21.56. No one pays any more than that, apart from P&P, of course, of 4 95 unless you're a Freedom Club member. Now, remember, there's a presenter pick coming up in the show. I get the chance when I come in in the morning uh, to see everything that's in the show, see it all laid out, and I kind of go, or well, Liam Plummet Prince says to me, what do you fancy? What, what do you think stands out as being, you know, something quite special. These gemstones are great. I think they've been on before, but they are lovely. They go to almost like a, well, they go to a point, so it's a bit like a carousel roof. Um, and the, the way they've been faceted, they're lovely. And they're A, B as well. Uh, you get 12 packs of assorted colours, and they're all joined together horizontally, but you can snip them individually. And you're getting a total of 1,000 728 adhesive gemstones. They're, they're going to be in the show in about half an hour. Right about, you'll see them. And I can guarantee you that these are going to go below £15. Yeah, for all of those. All those different colours, all with adhesive on the back. Under 15 quid, they could be coming your way if you join me for the whole show and stay with me to the end. You'll see them just before we end Craft Price Drop for Monday. Now we've got some brand new fabric from Joe and the Mill Shop Online. First thing I want to let you know, he's including one of his fantastic uh, bags for life, which is very nice of him. Um, now you're going to get here a metre by 54 inches of this beautiful butterfly garden fabric. Now this is heavy duty, heavyweight cotton. So these could be um, seat covers that you want to recover, maybe on chairs in the kitchen or something like that. Cushions, absolutely. Conservatory furniture cushions, outdoor furniture cushions, 
uh, because the, it has got that heavy duty uh, to it. Now, this has not been on craft price drop before. It's brand new. Now, I've got to let you know that if you want more than a meter of this, Joe and his team will cut it to the length you want. So if you order three of these, you'll get three meters in one strip. If you order four, you'll get four meters in one strip. It will be cut to the size that you want. But we're looking at one, at the moment, one meter by 54 inches of the heavy-duty cotton. And then you've also got your cotton mix lining as well. That's also a meter by 54 as well. Now, 28.99 for all this fabric. Brand new today. What can we do? It's butterflies and flowers, two of the most popular things in crafting. It just gives you a real lift in the room. You look at this, it brightens your day. What about if we take 13 or 14 pounds off and let you have it for 14.99? That is nearly half price. That's a pound under half price for all that fabric. What will you make from it? This is heavy duty, heavy gauge cotton designed for durability, but it's also incredibly practical and incredibly beautiful too. You can cut these flowers out if you want to, if you want to applique them, maybe onto outfits and things, put them on the back of a denim jacket or something. Why not? It's, it's fabric. You can cut into it and use it in whichever way you wish. But, you know, imagine if you've got, say, maybe you've got some um, furniture that you want to upcycle. Maybe you watch some of those daytime TV shows sometimes where they go to, like, uh, reclamation yards and they rescue furniture for a few quid and then make it look brand new again and then it's worth... I don't know, 100 quid or whatever. You know, you could use this fabric in that sort of way if you wanted to. 12.79. £16.20 you're saving. You're only spending £12.79 pence. Now, if this is going to be the final price, if you wanted two metres of this, it would be 24... Uh, what would it be? 25.40. Yeah, 25.40 for two metres. That's if it stays at that price at £12.70. You can have two, three, four, five, six metres, whatever you want. Just put in the quantity when you actually put this in your basket and when you check out. Your debit or credit card is only debited when the auction is over. When we close the auction, that's when the debit or credit card is debited. We don't know what to charge you until the auction ends. That's why we don't do it. 1261 currently, and you're getting, of course, the mixed linen fabric, the mixed lining, and the heavy duty cotton as well. And you're getting the Mill Shop Online bag from Joe as an extra bonus. We've got 29 metres available to us. Now, if someone wants five metres of this, it will go straight down to 24, just like that. We've got 11.99. That's all you're paying now for the mixed lining and the heavy gauge cotton fabric. Beautiful brand new fabric. If you want a lift on these dark, dingy winter's days and mornings, this is what you need. A bit of spring, a bit of summer, wherever you look. Have you got maybe a bench seat? Have you got garden chairs uh, or, or outdoor furniture pads that just need, need, need a new lease of life? Perfect for conservatory furniture as well, if you've got a sunroom or anything like that. Really lovely fabric. It's a great print, isn't it? Lovely colours. Blues, pinks, blushes, purples. For 11 99 and you're getting, remember, exactly the same size of the cotton mix lining as well and it will be cut to the size you want. If you order one, you'll get one meter by 54 in both. If you order two, three or four, it'll be a continuous piece of fabric that you're getting. You're all loving it. Lots of compliments and um, lots of positivity on Facebook today saying how much you love the fabric. 11 99 saves you 17 pounds off each meter at the moment. The heavy duty, heavyweight cotton. I mean, just for the pattern fabric at 11 99 would be good, but you're going to get the mix lining as well, the cotton mix lining too. Maybe you're going to be making these into curtains or drapes. Maybe you've got um, like a, a, a through lounge diner and you want to kind of soften the square walkway through. You want to kind of give a little bit of a swag or whatever. You can use them in all sorts of ways, but they're bright, they're cheerful. Maybe make Roman blinds out of them. That would look lovely, wouldn't it? A Roman blind made out of that fabric and it's a heavy duty. It will hang really well. And you've got the mixed lining to go with it as well. How much would it cost for five metres? Someone's asking us that. That would be 59.95 with the mix lining as well and the bag. And you get five metres in a continuous strip. So if you want five, put five in your basket. You'll take us down then to six available because we're on 11 metres available at the moment. Last ten. £11.99. Is this going to be the final price or 
Is it going to go down any more? Don't wait for it to go down any further, because if you wait, you'll miss out. You'll miss the boat. We don't want that to happen. 11.99 is crazy, isn't it? Mill shop online with Joe and his family and Lily, his little girl. Seven left. Last five. Someone just checked out two metres, I believe, in one go. Four. There we are. Look, all these Freedom members. Hello to Freedom, Freedom member N in Bournemouth. Margaret in Uckfield. Linda in Glasgow. Teresa in Sandown. That's the Isle of Wight, isn't it? Dawn in Sheffield. Paula in Sheffield. Or is it Sandown as in the race course? Not sure. Leslie in Norwich. Joy in North Allerton, you're all in. Loving this fabric. I knew you would. As soon as we saw that pattern, we just thought, hmm, that's going to be a winner. We've got two metres left. Who's going to get the last one or last two? 11.99, one last one left. Here we go. Going, going, gone. To Carol. Price lock. Nice one, Carol. You got in just in the nick of time and took the last metre of that fabric. And remember, if you did order more than one, you will get it in a continuous strip. Now, there were a few of you in that auction that weren't Freedom members. Not the end of the world, 4.95 PMP, but you saved an awful lot, didn't you, by getting that auction and getting in there quickly. If you do want to join Freedom, it's not just about the saving of the postage. You will get, of course, no PMP to pay on any order for a month. Exclusive members discounts. Certain items will be discounted to Freedom members only. A members badge and a monthly newsletter, all yours for just 6.97, and that covers you on Hachanda shows as well as, of course, uh, craft price drop as well. Treble eight, treble eight. If you'd like to get your freedom membership and you can put that in your order at the same time as you put the items in your craft price drop bag, uh, you know, your, your, your um, basket and check out do it all at the same time okay now this is really quite quirky and different I like things that are different brand new today from ready uh, German company and they come up with some complete card kits very often and that's what we've got here these are called photo book cards now, there's actually 73 pieces in here. You've actually got, though, enough to make, we, we reckon, about 24 cards. Because you've got lots of different elements in here. And what this is, it's, it's almost like a scrapbook meets a greetings card. It's kind of a combination of the two things together. Uh, because you've got all these card blanks that you can see here that have already been cut for you and scored for you. And they've been die cut. All you've got to do is just pop out the waste. Is it 30 cards you can make? So you get two lots of 12. And you're getting six wide card blanks. Oh, over here. Yeah. So it's up to you how you use them. You can make 30 cards in total. But the idea is, it's best to show you on the instructions, actually. The idea is that you've actually got the card blanks, which you can then decorate with the papers that are in, in the kit as well. But then also you've got all these other smaller elements. So it's like cards within cards. So you've got all these different leaves that you can decorate with photographs that you've taken on your phone, you've printed off at the supermarket or whatever. So you're making the card into a mini photo album. You get all these elements that have been pre-cut for you. So these are the card blanks, look. Beautiful card blanks. I'll show you a cream one, it's a little bit easier to see. Already scored for you. Uh, and you've actually got two score lines, because obviously these are going to be potentially quite thick because you've got lots of different leaves inside and different elements inside. So it's almost like a book meets a card. So there's the actual card outer. And then inside there, you've got all these components that you can use to make it into a mini photo album. So you've got these little mini books that you can see, which are rather diddy and rather cute. And you stick those inside there like that. Uh, you've also got the decorative papers, which are just here, which ready are printed for you to exactly the right size for the card blanks. So if you want to, of course, decorate the card blanks with these beautiful printed papers, you get 24 uh, printed sheets in different colours, as you can see. And if you choose not to use them uh, for that purpose, you don't have to, but they're all printed there for that purpose, if you want to use them like that. So all these decorative floral backgrounds and, and, and that sort of thing can decorate the card itself. Then, of course, you can feel free to take as many photographs as you like, um, and then pop them onto these inserts. So you can put these inserts like that, for example, could go in there like that, and then that one could go in there like that. So you can end up with a card that opens up to have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten surfaces that you could put photographs on. Isn't that cool? Um, you also get some little decorative plaques as well, uh, which have been die cut out and embossed as well. Okay, now, we're already busy for this. It's starting life at 71 
and you can make this card kit go as far as you like or if you want to put more elements into it obviously you've got all these blank cards here so if you didn't want to use them in this way if you wanted to use them completely independently you could do that but they're designed to work together so you can layer them together and nestle them in there with all different cards uh, and all different pictures placed on them and you get lots of different colors as well you've got brown pink cream blue all there Okay, let's get a price plummet coming in and we'll give you a clock warning as well. We'll give you a time limit on this one as well. This is brand new today. $71.99 should be the price for this complete kit, but not at craft price drop. Look at this. £29.99. If you're sending a card to someone, why not send them memories? Why not send them photos? We've got a three minute clock on the screen. Is it going to be clock or stock that goes first? What stock have we got? 27 left. Already lots of you in on this. 27 is what we have remaining at the moment with 2 minutes and 52 seconds on the clock. Is it going to be the stock that goes first? Is it going to be the clock that goes first? At 29.99. It's about a pound a card, really, when you think about it. And you've got some ideas on the back as well. Lots of ideas as to how to decorate them, how to put them together. They're going to be very well admired, these cards. When someone opens up a card, opens up an envelope, and takes out a mini photo album rather than just a greetings card. How special is that going to be? And this shows you how you can decorate with those floral papers. And you can leave it without um, photos in if you don't want to. But then you've got the photos underneath. So you can pop photographs that you've taken with your phone into your mini photo album. Love it. $29.99. Or two minutes and five seconds on the clock. Is it going to be clock or stock? We've had six of you through in the last minute. So it's going to be a bit tight, it's going to be a bit kind of touch and go. Will it be the stock that goes first or will it be the clock that gets to zero first? Whatever happens, they're brand new from ready today. Self-contained card kits, all you've got to do is supply the photographs. And if you're like me, I take more photographs now than I ever have done in my life. When I had a camera, well I still have a camera, um, but I don't use it anymore. I really do not use my camera anymore because it's always on my phone. I've got a better quality camera in my phone than I have in the camera. So I'm always taking things, taking shots of things, which I wouldn't normally have done because I, I never used to take my camera around with me normally, but I've always got my phone with me. And now I can print them off at the supermarket in whatever size I want in minutes, in seconds, for pennies as well. So why not take that technology and use it to make your own um, photo cards? $29.99. 13 left. One minute and seven seconds on the clock and 12 in stock. Who's taking it to 11? Gillian. Hi Gillian. You come in. You've taken it down to 11. Thank you for that. Still 11 chances with 55 seconds on the clock. Clock or stock. I love the fact you can make these memory albums. and You can make them go as far as you want. Obviously if you're going to be using three card blanks in each of these folders, you'll make less cards. But I think that's, that's the whole point, is that you can make them into mini albums. There's loads here for your money. Absolutely loads. And if you don't want to put photos in, you want to maybe write a little note and put some decorative papers in there. You've got those that you can use with this kit, or you can use the papers, of course, completely separately if you want to. <coughs> Photo book cards, something different, something unusual, something that's going to be very, very personal. We've got 18 seconds on the clock with four left. It's going to be very, very tight. 13, 12, 11, three left at 29.99, nine seconds on the clock. Who's going to get the last three, or is it going to be the clock that beats you? There's two left. Three seconds. Two, one, zero. Clock got it. So with two left in stock. Price lock. If you're not in it and if you haven't checked out, if you check out after the auction's over, you'll be paying the higher price for those last two. So if you've checked out now, everyone pays the final low price of £29.99p. Now, the presenter pick, my presenter pick this hour, um, these jumped out at me when I saw them earlier on. Uh, you know, there are lots of gems that we bring you, and you may think to yourself, why are these special? For a start, they go to a point. Now, not many of the gems that we have in stock do that. It's like a carousel roof, um, and they've got an AB coating on them as well, but they're very, very bright colours. Bright pinks and reds and uh, golds as well. And they're in horizontal strips rather than vertical strips, but you can trim them with a pair of scissors to make them individually. And they are from Craft Buddy. Surprise, surprise because that's what Craft Buddy brings us, lots of bling, and they're going to be coming up as my presenter pick just before 8 o'clock this morning. Right, more Mill Shop Online for you. Now, these will be in one metre pieces, I believe. Oh, they will cut to... Oh, OK, they will cut to size. Oh, good. OK, so 
here we go. A metre of this beautiful peony stripe. Um, peony stripe. This isn't the white peony stripe. This is the right one, though, evidently. If you order this item, you will get this particular fabric. So ignore the, the, the word stripe there. That's, uh, that's wrong. Uh, but this is the fabric you are going to be getting, OK? Now, it's a metre by 54 again. Metre by 54. And same with the mixed lining fabric as well. So it's the same deal as we showed you before, just a different pattern, OK? So it's a plain cream mixed lining, cotton mix, and then this is, again, your heavy gauge cotton fabric. A metre by 54 inches. Now, if you're not sure how big that is, if I just hold this panel up so you can see. There's a lot of size there. There's a lot of very, very good quality heavy gauge cotton for your money there. Again, these uh, could easily be blinds, Roman blinds, uh, cushion pad covers, Outdoor furniture seat cushion covers, if you want to give something a bit of a lease of life, jazz something up. Again, if you're upcycling, if you're kind of um, recycling furniture, making good out of bad or whatever, this fabric is going to be great. It really is. It's a very similar quality and density to the last one we showed you. So if you've got that last fabric and you want to invest in this as well, same sort of deal, but it will be cut to the size that you choose. So if you order two or three metres, it will come as one long strip of fabric. £12.48, and you're going to get the Mill Shop Online bag as well from Joe. He's including that in the deal as a gift from him. Another pretty fabric, they're saying on Facebook, absolutely, totally. Now, what did we go down to last time? Went to 11.99, did we? With that last fabric, that one that was first on air for the first time. Let's match that. Now, this is the lowest price this has ever been on, and it's been on twice before. I've done it at least once, I know. 11.99, we've matched the fabric that we had earlier on, down from 28.99, and you're gonna get a meter by 54 inches of the heavy gauge cotton. You're gonna get the same size in the cotton mix lining as well, and you're gonna get the Mill Shop Online bag as a bonus from Joe, because he likes us and he likes you. We've only got 12 metres left. Now, that could be one person buying 12 metres in one long strip, and it will just go to zero like that. Or it could be lots of you buying one metre at a time. It's entirely your call. Have you got two metres? Have you got a project in mind? Have you got curtains in mind? You get the lining included as well, remember? Or Roman blinds, anything like that. This is, a sort, this is the sort of fabric that, yeah, if you went to um, an interior designer and selected the fabric and had a Roman blind made, you could pay a couple hundred pounds, if not more for something like that, maybe even £300. You can make it yourself at home and it will look lovely and it will hang beautifully as well because of the weight to it. Five left at 11 99 Lowest price it's ever been and it's been on air twice before. We've matched that earlier fabric that we showed you, the one that was brand new today. Four left. If it's in your basket, please do check out. That confirms that you're in the auction. It confirms that you will pay the final low price. A few people this morning have had to pay PMP because they're not Freedom members, but a lot of you are rejoining Freedom this morning as well. Linda, you've just taken it to two. You're not a Freedom member, so you're paying postage unless you put Freedom membership in your order. Treble eight, treble eight. Do that at the same time. You'll only be charged six ninety seven. Now the last two is it going to be someone buying two one meters, or is it going to be two meters in one strip for one person? Oh, last one meter to go. Eleven ninety nine. Good luck. Hope you get it. Let us know what you're going to make with it too. Mill Shop Online, always popular, still there, last metre, waiting for you. Margaret, you got the last one? Price locked. Price is locked and confirmed. Everybody pays that final low price of 11 99 and you're going to get both the metres of the fabric and you're also going to get the bag from the Mill Shop Online as well. OK, more dies for you then. Now, these are from Crafter's Companion and Dyesire. And um, you've got a lovely bundle of dies. This is where you get the most value for money with Craft Price Drop. We put these bundles together. You know, if you were to buy all of these individually, you would be paying £48.94, which I don't think is bad at all, actually, for all of these dies. But because we put them as a bundle, you're going to get the most incredible Craft Price Drop on these. You really, really are. I love those little buttons. Cute little button dies, really sweet. You've then got your creator card dies. Now, these creator card dies are really quite special. If I just show you with this one, they're actually in two pieces. So when you link them together, they become one overall uh, frame. So you get that overall aperture. But if you don't want the tea pots and tea cups and the cupcakes and things like that, you can use this twice. 
So cut that out twice, you'll end up then with a complete circle without all the decorative detail of the cups and saucers if that's not appropriate. But you've got the opportunity of using them that way if you want to. So that's the first thing, that's your creative card. You've then got these wonderful uh, words here as well, hello, let's party with love, and you've got your leaves there as well. Other side of that, you've then got the cutest little buttons. How cute are they? Really sweet. Uh, down the bottom, we've then got our teacups and saucers as separate dies and a little corner floral flourish as well, which is rather lovely. In the middle here, this is another one of those fantastic creator card. Well, this is an edgeable. They're calling this one an edgeable because it's half of it will stay in the cardstock and the other half cuts out. And this is an angling edgeable, catch of the day. So you can see there's no cutting line at the bottom of the die, so it stays attached to the cardstock. That one's in there as well. And then the last one, this is again an edgeable. This time you've got your summer fate and that again has got the uh, teacup and saucer. So if you're into your tea parties and fundraising with tea parties for good causes, then these are, are, are great sets to go for. And again, you've got the bottom of the die that stays attached to the cardstock and the top of the die that cuts out the top of the cardstock. All of these should be £48.94. Plummet Prince, hit your button. Boom, here it comes. Arrows flashing, prices crashing. Let's have a look. Wow. £30 off nearly. £19.78 for the whole lot. Now, you'd be paying that just for one of these dies, I'm sure. I reckon that creator card die, that would be around about the £15, £16 pound mark, something like that, if you bought it on its own. You're getting the whole lot for £19.78 pence today. If you want to split these, if they're gifts for loads of different people, brilliant, fine. But if you were to buy them on their own, individually, Took it, taking them off the shelves, put them in your basket, you'd be paying nearly £50 for all those dies. And that's not bad value at all. There are three of them, remember, that have got the kind of tea party theme. You've got the creator card, which has got the, the tea party theme. You've got the separate dies down there as well, which you can have a bit of fun with. Uh, you can also, with the different teacups there, maybe stack them on top of each other if you want to. And you've then got that same tea party theme to the uh, edgeable over there as well. Not happy with that plummet, we want to do it again, we want to get it even lower. Sixteen ninety nine for the whole set. That's ridiculous. Sixteen dies for sixteen ninety nine, so it's just over a pound a die. That one pound seven P a die. That's crazy. Absolutely ridiculous value for money. For the catch of the day, that's eleven ninety nine, just for the fishing rod down there. I don't know, it's a bit random to put the catch of the day in with the tea party theme, but you know, that's what we do at Craft Price Drop. We give you bundles at amazing value for money prices. Those buttons are as sweet as anything, they're so cute. £16.88. My cat's called Maisie. Someone asking how my cat is. Uh, Maisie enjoyed Christmas a lot. She loved her baubles. Thank you for asking. Yeah. Our, uh, our, our recent addition to our family, she came to us September last year, I think it was. So yeah, her first Christmas with us, into everything. Thank you for asking. Yeah, Plummet Prince just said, what's your cat's name called? I thought, why, why are you asking that? Brandon. Uh, uh, 16.52. 18 left. 16.43, still trickling down, look, still going down. 17, down to 16. You've got the hanging, or not the hanging, the catch of the day. That's not hanging around, that's not that, is it? That's the catch of the day. You've got the summer fate. So great for fundraisers, all that sort of thing. Who doesn't love a nice cup of coffee or a cup of tea? You've got all those created card dies as well there to create that instant card. All you need is a, uh, like a square or a round card blank and you've then got an instant card. 16.29 would be the price just for this alone, the creator card die, easily. It's four, four inches by four inches size of that as well. But remember, the, the beautiful thing is if it was just one die, you'd be restricted as to what you could do with it. But because it's in two, if you don't want the tea party theme all the time, you've then got that that you can cut out twice, which just creates a lovely floral circle. So you'll end up with that design there going all the way around the card. For what you pay for this die, you're getting the whole lot. Coming up to quarter at eight, still the presenter pick to come, my pick for the hour, those fantastic um, adhesive gemstones at an unbelievable price. We never know where the prices are going to go. We know roughly where they're going to go, but we don't know exactly where it's going to end up because it all depends on when you take the stock to zero. 16.29, we've got two left. Then it will be down to zero stock on this one. Is that the final price? It looks like it might be. £16.29, saving you £32.70-odd. Vivian, you got the last one? 
Price lock. Congratulations, Vivian. You've closed the auction and everybody pays that final low price. OK, now this next auction, more tonic. This is going to fly. When you see where this price is going to go on this, I think you'll want this. This is going to be in your basket in seconds. I know we've done this before with like two or three sets, but this is on its own. Uh, and what you've got here are the curved crosses and simple stripes. Um, and there's four dies in this set because you've actually got, on the outside, two outside cutting edges. So you've got really very practical rectangular dies. So you've got like a, a tiger tooth, like a zigzag effect, and you've then got this, um, I don't know how you describe that, it's like a triple scallop down the bottom there. Can you see that? So that's in the middle of each of those dies. So you've got two outside rectangular cutting edges, slightly different sizes, and then the panels are completely independent, and they don't have an outside cutting edge. So rather like the other dies we had earlier in the show, you can actually um, layer these side by side to create a lovely background if you want to. So that's your curved crosses. There is your simple stripes, and you can have them going that way, you can have them going that way, so you can make the background look like chevrons if you want to. Very clever. You can paper piece with them as well, and that would look lovely too. Or just have maybe some gold mirror in the background, that would look lovely. But you can um, use them individually and just have that same pattern going across the background, or you can have them uh, together. It's entirely up to you. But because they're all four separate dies, it means the versatility is massive. Look at what we've done. We've taken it to below £10. £9.98. Now, how many of these have we got left? Bearing in mind how affordable this is and how versatile this is, we've only got 22 left. So the next 22 of you to put the mini basket in checkout will be lucky. Let me show you the board that's been done for them as well, because you can see here uh, the sort of effect you can create. Well, we've done basically what the dies, how they come, but they are completely independent. So if you wanted to have that repeated rather than the stripes, you can just keep that going and going. You can just have the stripes on their own, have stripes going that way and then going that way. You can use the outside frames on their own as well. It's up to you. 19 left at £8.49. It can't go much lower, surely. £8.49, pence. that is crazy value. And they, they, will, they will be used again and again and again. Should be £21.49. That's the going rate. That's the recommended retail price for those. Not today. £8.49. pence. It is like the best sale ever, isn't it? £13 off the price. Something that's only £21.49. Now just down to £8.49. 13 remaining in the, uh, in, the, uh, in the auction right now. We've got 12 chances at £8.49. Just really handy dies. If they had a cutting edge to them, those rectangles, you'd be restricted as to what you could do with them because each time you used it, it would just cut out that panel. Without having the cutting edge there, you can make lovely big, long backgrounds. Margaret, you've taken it to eight down to seven now, actually. £8.49. They're absolutely flying. They are very popular at their full price. To get them at this sort of price today, it's a gift horse. Don't let it slip you by. Get it while we've got it. Three left at 8 49 Two left now. The last one is going to go to where? Barbara. Price lock. Nice one. Well done, everybody. You got that. That's one of the bargains of the morning. Definitely one of the best bargains of the morning. £8.49. And if you did pay P&P, I'm sorry, but I think you'll agree you still got a bargain, even if you did pay postage. Freedom members never pay PMP. Okay, now, more embellishments for you. Now, this is the sort of thing that if you had this uh, available to you, maybe in a wedding parlor or a wedding shop, this would be, as a trim on a wedding dress, an absolute fortune. You are getting five meters of this embellishment trim from Craft Buddy. They're calling it the Wide Acrylic Bubble Trim. £19.99. Now, instantly, first things first, you think, OK, where am I going to use this at this sort of width? I can think of lots of different places where you'd use it. But if you want to trim it, so you've got one, two, three, four, five different layers or five different sections of trim, you can do that easily because they're only held together with a little bit of thread. So if you wanted to have this very fine outline, that would be fine. If you wanted to use these little pearlized dots individually as embellishments like pearly kings and queens, you could cut them and make them completely individual. And you could maybe have um, a name or a pattern or something uh, on the back of a jacket with these. You could color them as well with your alcohol markers, absolutely. But look at what you've got here. Five meters of this trim. This is massive. Absolutely massive. 
1999, you could make a decorative collar around a dress. Maybe you've got a V-neckline dress and you want to actually put it either side of the, the neckline. That would look lovely. You could put it round cuffs as well. This is working out to how much a metre? Two pounds a metre. Now look, if I just hold out my arms, that's roughly a metre, give or take. So you're getting five times that sort of size. But look how many pearlized circles you've got in that metre. There's got to be hundreds there. Because they're rows of three. We don't have much in the way of quantity. They're under £10 at the moment for this. They do come on rolls. So if you're going to put them on a dowling or something like that next to your ribbons, absolutely. But think about the versatility. Sylvia likes this. She's putting it in her basket and checking out, I do believe. Lots of you commenting on Facebook, you're liking the look of these two. They are different and they are new and they are incredibly beautiful. Whether you're using the whole width, whether you're trimming them crossways, whether you're trimming them lengthways, you can certainly get an awful lot out of this. If you used each one of these sections, one, two, three, four, five, if you used use those five strips separately, you'd have 25 metres of bubble trim, individual strands, because that would be five, five metres, wouldn't it? 9.98. Think about all the trims, all the things you could trim, all the fabrics that you've got, all the projects that you may have. Maybe it's going to be cushions that you want to put this trim onto. Maybe it's going to be garments and outfits, personalisation by using the dots individually to spell out a name or an initial. Why not? Margaret, you've taken it down to three left. Brand new from Craft Buddy at 9.98, better than half price. We've got two of those reels left. Will it come back? Who knows? My presenter pick is coming up next. Last one at 9.98. It's gone. Congratulations. That was a busy one. Price lock. Didn't take long for those to go. Okay, it is uh, last time, last auction time. Last auction of the show. Now, this is my pick. We get, as presenters here at uh, Hachanda and Craft Price Drop, the opportunity to pick out something that stands out to us when we come to the show in the morning or studio. And we look down at the desk and see what's in the show. They look good. And we get a rough idea where the price is going to go. We know roughly, but we never know exactly because it's down to you with the stock and everything else. But these are gorgeous and they, they vary in size. You've got different sizes of these. I'm thinking of a word to describe them. They're almost like pyramid gemstones. If I just hold this to the camera so you can get a good look. They've got a very subtle AB coating to them. These are very pastel. You've got pastel blues and pinks and greens and yellows. Now you're going to be getting seven assorted colours. Colours may vary slightly, but you're going to get a lot of variety. Now, what you've got here is you can probably see there's a little double strand of thread that links the, the, uh, the gems together. Now, that means that you can, of course, keep them joined if you want to, or you can snip them and use them individually. They've all got adhesive on the back. Let me show you the colours that you're getting. Those pastel ones are really unusual. This pink is beautiful too. And you've got different hues of pink. You've got the bright pinks and then a kind of an orangey pink as well. Really different. They look almost good enough to eat, but they're not edible. Please don't eat them. You get different sizes as well. So you've got the large and the slightly smaller size as well. In the reds, that's, of course, got an AB coating over the top of it as well. It's all got AB coating. Look at this blue. Isn't this lovely? Now, we haven't got much time on this. Let's get that plummet coming in. We're up against the clock. We are knocking half the price off for you right now. £30 down to under £15. £14.98. It's one ninety-five a pack, and we worked out how many stones are in this. 1,728 is what you're getting. If I just open up one pack for you, they are resealable as well. Let's just take this one out, look. I said to you before, they are joined together, but you can, if you want to, separate them. OK, Plummet Prince is living up to his nickname. £1.50 a pack, look, there they are joined together. £1.15, is it? £1.15 a pack. You can put them on fabric if you want to. How cool is that? They're all joined together, but with a little bit of a snip, they can be separated, and they've all got adhesive. They're flat backs as well, but they are gorgeous. They really, really are. Only 13 left. So many of you want these. It's my pick for the hour. You've got 1,720 gemstones here and they are a really good size as well and there's something a little bit different because they go to a point all of them go to a raised point in the center they're not sharp but they go to a point in the center look at this yellow with an ab coating as well so you see flashes of light pink and that sort of thing on there too last seven remaining at 13 pounds 59 down from 30 pounds better than half price it's the presenter pick for this hour 
of Craft Price Drop. There'll be another one, remember, online, craftpricedrop.com. That'll be with Hayley at 11 o'clock. And there'll be another one at 7 p.m. on TV tonight, OK? Last three. The next three of you three will be lucky at £13.49. Anyone paying P&P in this auction at the moment? A couple of you are, OK. Someone from Wakefield, I think, is paying P&P because they're not a Freedom Club member. Join Freedom, it makes sense, it's £6.97, and you never have to pay P&P as long as you're a Freedom member. Last one. All of you are in, on the bottom of the screen. Who's got the last one? Price lock. Yvonne, you got the last one? You've confirmed, you've checked out, and you've locked that price for everybody. Everybody's paying just £13.49. Well, they've been very, very popular. Thanks a lot for your company today. Uh, I'll be back a bit later on this morning. I'm going to be with Paul for the one-day special a bit later with Clarity, of course. Looking forward to that. And we've got Encaustic Art coming up next. Always a great show to watch. Leo, you'll be with you for that one. But whatever you do, join us for Craft Price Drop online. It'll be on craftpricedrop.com with Hayley. That's the next one at 11 o'clock today. Enjoy your bargains. I'll see you a bit later. Stay tuned. So yes, it's wax art on the way next in caustic wax art. We always love this show. Coming up next with Leone, Clarity's Fresh Cut One Day Special. That's our one day special at nine o'clock. And I'll see you with Polka Doodles coming up a bit later at 10. Flexi Order has arrived at Hachanda. What is Flexi Order? When you place an item on FlexiBuy in your basket, you qualify for Flexi Order, which means any other items you add to your basket will also be included in your FlexiBuy payments, so you can spread the cost over multiple monthly payments. After your first payment is made, your entire order will be dispatched. When you add at least £60 worth of any items to your shopping baskets, either online or on the phone, you'll qualify for our Flexi Order offer. This means you can spread the cost of your order over equal monthly FlexiBuy payments, offering you the extra flexibility when you shop with us. Flexi Order, making your shopping experience with Achanda easier. Threaders Fabric Adhesive Sheets layer up and bond fabrics with these double-sided sheets. These sheets can also be used with the Gemini machine and Threaders die range. Ideal for applique as it keeps small pieces of fabric stuck down, making it easier to sew. To add these items to your order, please check out www.hachanda.com. Chanda will be supporting Stamparama, an incredible art stamp and paper craft show, and we would like to invite you to come along and meet us on Saturday the 2nd of March. Tickets are available from Hachanda in advance for only £2.50 or alternatively on the door for £3. Order your tickets today from Hachanda.com. It's Flex Travaganza time, folks. From Tuesday the 1st of January at 6pm to Monday the 7th of January at 6pm, we would like to extend our thanks and also offer you our best wishes for the new year with Flex Travaganza. If you add at least £5 worth of any items into your shopping basket, either online or on the phone, you'll qualify for our Flex Travaganza Flexi Basket offer. This means you can spread the cost of your entire order over two equal monthly Flexi Buy payments, offering you a more cost effective way of shopping with us. Flexible payments for everyone. Join us from Tuesday, the 1st of January, to make your shopping experience with Hochanda even easier. We're live. Good morning and welcome. It's marvellous to have your um, attention. <laughs> if we've got your attention. Company, that's a better word. <laughs> um, it is lovely to be with you. Really excited about this show. Uh, I love how it works. There's so much, so much you can do. Um, and obviously, we're with the masters today. A lovely Mike and Sean. A good morning, good team. Morning. Good morning. It feels good like morning. it's ages yeah. since we've had a show together. Yeah. But I mean, it's so long ago that we had a show together. We've, yeah. th that's what I love about this craft. I mean, there's so much you can do with it. It just keeps evolving. And yeah. it's so, it's one of them when you get into it, it is very addictive, isn't it? Well, it's literally fluid, like the melting wax. It yes. just flows on and you can 
adapt and change things. The card yes. is very forgiving so that you can go over it again and again. Yeah. And eventually arrive at a, a result. Yeah, a point where you go, no, stop, yeah. leave it alone, yeah. walk yeah. away. When, when you like it, yeah, <laughs> stop. Now, obviously, we're going to be seeing advanced techniques. Yeah. But then later on, Oshana, you're going to be showing us some of the, the starting yeah. techniques, yeah. aren't you? The, yeah. the basics that you need to get started. Yeah. But I'll leave you in the capable hands of Michael. <laughs> Thank you very much, Oshana. See you later. We will see you later. Yeah. Right Susan. then, oh, Michael, where are we starting? Right, folks, we're going this to... This is interesting. Yeah. Interesting. We've, we've got this um, compact top plate, and the compact top plate is powered by the iron. Okay. So you need an iron as well as the hot plate. Okay. It doesn't come with the iron. You need yeah. that You need to get one. Marvelous. Or if you've already got one, just use the iron that you've already got. Yes. And it's quite easy to, to fit it. If I just show you here, there are, there are a couple of nuts here, and they are hot, but I've got asbestos fingers, so you just undo those nuts, so you can see there. And if I do the other one there, wonderful. Quickly. If I just slide it out. Ah, I get it. So there's the iron. And then you yep. just slide it in there. And that holds the it right in place. Right way forward. Make sure it's the right way forward. Tighten it back up. Just finger tight is fine. Like I say, it's... And that keeps it nice and yep. secure. And Marvellous. The plate itself is anodized aluminium. That means it's uh, like a hardened aluminium. Right. And that means that when you clean it, it stays clean. Um, soft aluminium will come off and give grey. Right, and that okay. can be really annoying. Yeah, yeah. But that, so it's easy to clean, literally <coughs> just wipe it off a pop shampoo. Well, yes, yeah, it's, it's not easy to clean because it's, it's anodised, it's slightly dappled. Right, okay. Um, dimpled, I should say. So you need to use clear wax, and clear wax uh. is, is a key thing here. Yeah, yeah. So if I put some clear wax on there, look. And I'm just going to use this to stick my card in place. Okay. So that will stop the card moving around. Right, fabulous. It, it also feeds wax from underneath, which means that not so much wax goes through ah. and the colours stay more mobile. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah, it's quite a good tip, actually, to, yeah. to, put, in, to put clear wax underneath. So, obviously, you can see that Amazing. melting is... is you can just God, it melts on, so a, a, quick a as well, just, doesn't just, it? Put it on there and just feel how easy that is. Oh my gosh, that melts so quick. That's really addictive. That's cool. It's, it's <laughs> yeah, 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 already. That's cool. So what I'm going to do to start with is to cover the card. See, this is so different. It feels like it's so different from working with the iron. Obviously, you're going to be seeing working with the iron um, with our Shona in a little while. If you do want the waxes, you're going to get six blocks for nine pence, nine to nine pence. Of course, we'll show you everything in a little while. Zero six three seven one five. If you want the hot plate, which is a bit cool, well, it isn't. It's really hot. Um, it's five pound, nine to nine pence. And that is a good size as well, so the A5 code fits on there perfectly. 024369. So you've just put loads of different waxes so on So I've got there. colours on the yeah, I'm, I'm, and we're going to use these sponges and stuff. Marvellous. And um, so I've got uh, a textured sponge, yeah. a round sponge with a plug in the middle. Yeah. It comes out and separate, they just come in a packet like that. Amazing. And then I've got a, a block sponge. They're quite hard, these ones, and they're good for moving, pushing the wax around. Yeah. This one's good for texturing. Fabulous. And I've got a little comb. Amazing. We've got all of these on the show. I'll give you details in a second, but... And the comb, you can see what Wee. that does. How fantastic. So it's literally removing the wax. It's just, yeah, it's just wiping off in those little areas there. Perfect. So I could take that, for instance, and I could go put this down, give it a moment to warm up. Oh, wow. Oh, that gives it a really interesting texture, yeah, doesn't it? Or, or you can shuffle it. And that, because it's a really firm sponge, that allows you to, to be so controlled with the wax, yeah. doesn't it? and you can push the wax around so you can push it off. You can see the cards underneath yes. are staying clean. Yeah, and you said that right at the top of the hour, if you don't like something, you can literally just take the wax back off. Yeah, again. yeah, yeah. Which gives you so many, again, so many possibilities. And then we've got, let's use one, let's use them all on this one, just to show you. So we've got oh, the I like that. shape. Perfect. Where I haven't got much wax, I can always put more wax on. Right. So you're never stuck and thinking, oh, I've run out of wax. You can just put more colour on. So when there's fresh colour, there's more to move around. So if I just do some marks like this. That's way I like the round and, sponge. That's yeah, and cool. if you move it slightly, you get a sort of 3D oh, effect. Yeah, that's it. It's quite good, isn't it? It's like yeah, that's really sort of. cool. And then we've got this little plug. And this is actually probably my favourite of all of them. Oh, that's good. Because that. You can do these little lines. See, you can do some really interesting shapes. Can, it's the colours, isn't down. it, that you get within it? Yeah. That look really cool. Let's put a bit more colour on here. 
So you can see you can add to it. Yeah, yeah. Take away from it. So if I just do some of these bangs, I quite like this one. Okay, that's cool. And that is literally just boinging the sponge down just there. That's, it along, yeah. that's really cool. And in an abstract, yeah, you, you could yeah. just stop there. You could take an edge. So, for instance, if I wanted to make this edge clean, I can just wipe down there. Fabulous. And then I could I could take the stylus. I could work with the stylus. This is yeah. a stylus pro. And we've got the stylus on the show. Again, yeah. we will touch on that in yeah. more detail. With the stylus, you do get a selection of different nibs to choose from as well. Well, again, we'll have a look at them. The difference oh, with the wow. stylus here is that, can you see how the, the spots don't stay as spots? They flatten yes. out into yes. um, little rounds. Yeah. So then you just and you can be really specific with a stylus, can't yeah, you? Yeah, it's a graphics so tool. The one that you've got in the moment, the tool, that, um, the tip that you've got in there at the moment, that's yep. the one it actually comes with, isn't it, it? It comes with three tips. This is a drawing tip. Right. Um, and it's a split tip. Right. It there, but it's a split tip. So does yeah. it work almost like... Um, a fountain pen. You know where it, it, it it's like a, like an architect's drawing pen. So what happens is that the it's um, the capillary action holds the wax yeah. between those. Uh, can you just see it there? Yes. Can we see it? There we are. You can just see it holding it there. And then when you touch it, it comes out. But if I touch it without the slot touching, I need to go a little bit further down. Oh. So it doesn't doesn't uh, doesn't yeah. come, shouldn't come out. <laughs> shouldn't come out. It isn't coming out. <laughs> But it can, you need to make sure, when you're beginning, make sure that the yeah. slot is touching. Right, OK. Let's that is cool, because, again, you can do so many different things. That would directly on the hot plate as well. So when you've done with it, when you think, oh, yeah, I like that, I'll yeah. just keep with that, Yeah. then you stop and you take it off the hot plate, and it takes about 15 to 20 seconds to cool down. Amazing. So you can see, you can see... Yeah, you can see the wax glossy. tooling. Yeah. yeah. The glossy bits are still molten. Yeah. But see how it's dulling down now? Yes, yes. And that is as a wax. I love it because the amount of shapes and things you can put in there is yeah. just phenomenal. And, and you can have it any way, any way up. Yeah, yeah. And you could change it, and you can put it back on. So it's all, it's quite finished now. Yes. But if you put it back on, oh wow, how quick is that that it starts to melt? Yeah. And I mean, then you can change it. So you can. I don't like that bit. I'll change that bit. Or I want to have some new colour in. Yeah. And this is it, you can just keep layering and adding and, and if you think, changing. Yeah, and if you think about the, the wax is on the, on the card, but whenever I put colour on, see this yellow, there's yeah. no other colour there because yeah. it's pushing the other colour away. So that is obviously the dominant colour because that's the, the top colour is always the dominant colour. Well, yeah, it's not really the top colour because it's pushing everything else right, away. Right, so it's literally moving it. It's actually like a bulldozer, it's actually <laughs> yeah, going just... down. And that shows you the card underneath. Yeah. I'll just go through there and try and get it clean. So again, you can literally lift it away it's still, if you want It's to. still staying clean. Yeah, yeah. And that's the beauty and of this. And now the card that you use, this is specific card that you've got, isn't it's, it, yeah, on the it's, show? Yeah, it's for encaustic, encaustic art. Yeah. Um, and the beauty of this card is that you can change what you're doing. Yeah. And in a way, that's one of the great forgiving things yes. about encaustic. Yeah, it, that's it. You just can keep going and going. Um, if you do want to get a hold of the card, see, that's a good kit. You've got 100 um, A6 printing cards, and you've got um, your three wax pack as well there. Only 10 99 Definitely worth getting a hold of. Oh, I love that. This is the um, sponge, and it's good for sort of texturing, creating a background. So I, I could go over any part of this. Oh, wow, I love and it. And just soften it down. And quite often with a bit of artwork, you'll get a better effect if you just leave part of it showing. Yeah, yeah. Too much yeah. can be too busy, can't kind of yeah, so, so in a way, that's a nicer bit of artwork, a bit yeah. more arty. Yeah, but I then, love that. That's good for landscapes as well, not just that, um, abstracts, because yeah, it's, it's, it's oh, it looks foliage. really grassy, doesn't it's, it? It's good for foliage. Yes, so for yes, trees, for trees. Maybe I'll show you that in a bit. Oh, ocean with, spray, yes, indeed. With the edge of the... Um, Oh gosh, block, yeah, that's you can cool. do these sorts of things. So again, you're that out. looks ace. You're, yeah, it's quite and arty, that is isn't literally it? just moving the wax, just isn't moving it? Moving the wax around, yeah. Oh, I love that. You can use the edge of this to create lines. Yeah. So if I just do a bunch of them here. Oh, this is, it's one of them where you just play at first, isn't it? When you get in caustic, you literally just play. And you make, I mean, you will create loads of abstract at first, because it's, it's so addictive, isn't it? But well, it's getting used to the tools as well. Yeah, and the thing is, craft is about 
the ability to use the tools. Yeah. And art is about expressing individuality. Yes. And finding that individuality. Yes. Let's just go down here. That, I love that. So what you, could, what you could do with that, now I'll um, just show you how to seal it. Because okay. Because the wax is a very, this is a very thin film of wax now. Yeah. And if you're going to have it in a situation like through the post, yes, then it's quite a good idea to seal it. And the right. sealer, if I so just if that side, obviously, yeah, if you're if you're not going to be framing it, if you're framing it, then you're fine. But yeah, if you put it where people might touch it, yeah. So all you need to do to seal it is cooling down now. Okay, it's just it cools down really quick, doesn't it? It takes about 15 seconds probably. Mm. So I've got, this is a bit warm, my pad, so I'm just going to move that right. out there so that I make sure when I polish it, it doesn't get hot again. Of course. Because like, otherwise you'll just take all the wax back yeah. off. Oh, <laughs> yeah, I'm not utterly ruining it. You know what I mean? <laughs> and then lightly, lightly polish it like this so uh, you can Look see at the, the glass. shine. That's the shine on the actual wax. Yeah, that's cool. And now what I'm going to do is seal it. So I, I can move it back in here again now. Okay. And to seal it, this is the wax sealer. And the sealer is like in a type of acrylic that sticks to polished wax. Right, okay. Because um, I bet not many products do stick to polished wax, do well, they? Well, wax and water don't mix. Yeah. So there's, they, it's a bit like Teflon and, and oil in a Teflon pan, yeah. you know, it's a, or any other non-stick pan. Yeah, they resist, aren't they? The best way I've found to do this is to, to make a fabric pad. Okay. And you can put this bit of fabric, once you've used it, into a plastic bag to keep it. And you need about that much. So there's a big bottle full, but you need about that much. Okay. And all you do is you just, I call it scumbling, but you just scumble it over this whole okay. surface. So why, um, why do you avoid putting it on with a brush? Um, I'll show you in a moment now. Okay. If I get a brush, hang on a second. I'm hanging on. Um, if you do want the sealant, the details are there. It's zero, <laughs> no it isn't. It's 109387 for that big tub of sealant. Only nine pounds and nine nine pence. Right, so if I do a brush straight down the middle. Oh, you can see it lines. Right, so hopefully now we'll be able to see. Can you see? Oh, right, can we see it? There yeah, you can. Yeah, can you see yeah. the lines? Yes. Just over in, in the middle section yeah. there, going across. Yeah. And if you look at the top bit, there's no lines. Yeah. So the reason that I'm using this and bashing down on it like that yeah. is because it's a bit like little tiny spots and yes. they flatten out when you take this off. Yeah. And so at the end of the process, there's no reflection no, that's good. Um, of mm. lines and stuff. Perfect. And, and it looks just like the wax. It's about the same shine as the wax as well. Amazing. So it's not putting a false shine on as such. It's just that... Just enhancing the natural yeah. shine of the wax. Yeah, that's the way I did it, wasn't it? <laughs> <laughs> I think we have tried. That's a lovely thing, isn't it? Doesn't it's like really a bit any which way. Let me show you some other goodies. Can I show some? Yeah, of these yeah, as show well? some of those ones. Because like look at all of these. See, it's this is it. You can just get carried away, can't you, Michael? I mean, there's you so should, much you can, you can do. Like, yeah, this is with the comb, obviously. Yeah, um, that's cool. And, and it's just a sort of a wild tool. And then <laughs> this is with that little round one, the little plug one. Um, that one there. Amazing. And yeah, yeah. See, and when you slide it along, you can do these bamboos, and lots of people yes. have done that. Yeah, effect. they do look really, yeah, really uh, effective. I got into this little one when I was doing them, so this is a little round uh, plug as well. Do you know, I mean, there's so many different variants, isn't there? Ah, the sponge. Yeah, this is the, the orange sponge. So you I can see that. that dabbing, this effect that you've got at the bottom is good for foliage. Yeah. Like you've got down here. That, I really like that. That is so cool. Bit of everything on this one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can see the comb. You can see where the sponges. That does it look three D? It does look very three D. And that's another thing about encaustic. It, it actually has this sort of three D yeah. uh, quality. And I think because it is literally moving the wax, it creates shading, doesn't it? You yeah. know, really, really simply creates that's one of my shading. That one, I think. Yeah, I love that. And you can see that sponge at the top there. Yeah, the yeah. sponges are brilliant. Definitely get all of the sponges there. Ace. Uh, brand new today as well, only 10 7 time. With and you see, look at that. Yeah, that's Ace. Try some fancy with it. And did this, so the central element, is that going in with the. That's just with the comb. All with of that's just with the comb. So really? the, the, with the, the comb. So this is just moving oh, in wow. little, little uh, short movements. Yeah. And then here we're pushing up with the teeth of the, the comb. Oh, wow. To make the, the castle. Oh, that looks so effective. Yeah. That is so... And what about that one? Because that's oh, another that one. one. Yeah. Wow. What, what I did with that one, to get very, very softness, I actually wrapped a tissue around this white block. So oh, just wow. I wrapped a piece of tissue around it, and then you've got a sort of a clean surface. 
And yeah. it's a, bit, a bit like a paint block. Right. That is so cool. Yeah. And it is really experimenting. Wow. Look at all the colours right. there. Right. These ones I did for um, some uh, video stuff that I was doing. And so I did the backgrounds on the hot plate. And yeah. then I elaborated them using the stylus. Amazing. Oh, wow. I love it because when you start looking into it, you know, yeah, you've got trees, you've got the ladders, you've got your little people. Well, you're sitting They're down, aliens. Sitting down by the fire, what shall I, what shall I put in here? Uh, so it? that's yeah. what you did, do your backgrounds yeah. and then add to it. Yeah. And look at that. Wow. I love it because you can take it to so many levels. That is so cool. Yeah, that just, um, the, the original of that off the hot plate had got a lot of white in it. So all the really colourful areas were sort of quite white because I'd pushed wax away. Right. And so the stylus just allowed for input of colour. Excellent. So you put the, the, the colour in afterwards. Yeah. So cool. Um, OK, we're going to show you some of these goodies so you know what you can get hold of. Uh, have a look at the website. The website, you're going to see all the products that we've got on the show. We've got a lot of products on the show. Um, honestly, there's so much to choose from. If you start in um, right from the beginning or Sean is going to go through what you need as a beginner but obviously I know a lot of people have um, already got their eye and this is just expanding what you can do with it so we've already seen the sponges, sponges. nice clean sponges these are nice clean ones yeah you can clean them I didn't show you that but if you put a bit of tissue on the compact top plate and just press it down oh really them off, yeah. oh that's good yeah, quite of good. course because otherwise yeah you're going to get loads of wax yeah on. from the last picture yeah. yeah of course didn't even think of that um so yeah I have got your yeah, and they're nice and dense, they're nice These and These are strong, firm. they're very strong, yeah. Yeah, so that allows you to, to create all the to different... Really push into and it, it allows yeah. you to use the edges and everything, doesn't yeah, it? exactly. You know, it's the full thing that you're using. So obviously you've got your circle, you've got the little plug, you've got that hard block, if you will. Yeah. Yeah, it's really firm. The texture sponge, which must be my favourite. And these, they feel different. Well, you can squish oh, it's them around. really yeah. nice. <laughs> squash them around. That's it. Is. It's proper nice and And they're squishy. really good for um, blanking whole backgrounds. Yeah. And getting them very even and then working into those backgrounds. Perfect. And then, of course, you've got the comb. The comb, you've got your three sides on that. Yeah, it's got three different um, widths. Uh, yeah. And um, what you can do with the comb, I didn't show you before, but what you can do is you can bend it. Ah, of course. So if you want to have a, a narrower part touching, if you imagine that you put that down, then you've right. just got a few of the teeth touching. Right, yeah, So yeah. you're not always... So it doesn't have line. to be the full yeah. comb. Yeah, yeah. That's perfect. Only eleven ninety nine for this set. Ten seventy nine if you're part of a Chanda Freedom. That is such a good price. A brilliant kit there. That is 076-855. That's your item number. Next, the hot plate. Now, this is a really good size. It's a great size. This. So remember, you can use the iron upturned as a little hot plate plate so yeah. you could use the sponges on that but this just takes it to the next level yeah. Yeah. same power heats the whole of this because it's a nice thick block and it yeah retains, it is retains the, it's heavy isn't it it's yeah strong. it is it's yeah. weighty it really is weighty it's a good um, kit yeah that is real and obviously good quality yeah perfectly designed of course for the the encaustic iron so you're not going to be i presume you're not going to be using a different brand of iron it, the encaustic one has been designed the encaustic to one's the one that, that i'm using because i know the thermostat quality is yeah. uh, stable yeah um on, the cheaper the iron is the more erratic Yes. The, the heating stability. Yeah. And so I can't guarantee anything other than what I use. I yes. can guarantee what I use works. Yeah, and that's the thing. I mean, we know it works, so um, do plumb for the... If you haven't got the iron already, then get the iron as well. But if you've already got the iron, this is definitely the next step up. Um, two payments, £38.70, if you're going for that one. We've got a freedom price as well. Um, obviously, if you are a freedom member, you're not paying postage either. If you are going... At uh, for this today as a freedom member you're saving almost 13 pounds with that one and of course you can split your payments zero two four three six nine um seven seven pounds 39 pence if you do want the iron and we're going to show you a picture of that um definitely if you're just beginning our sean is going to be showing you this in a second anyway but but only 34.99 it's really compact the um the handle comes off so you can use it as a mini hot plate as well and as you can see the dial though so you can change the actual temperatures. Um, freedom price again, £31.49, pence. Four one nine five four seven. Now, something else um, Michael touched on, the stylus. So with the stylus, 
as as standard, it comes with three different yeah, this, little tips, doesn't it? We we sell a stylus which has got a single heat, a single right. heat. So you just plug it in and off you go. And that's yep. what we've had until this yes. last year. So this is a new bit. So this is called the Stylus Pro because it's got the ability to have different temperatures on the handle here. Yeah. So zero is off. When you put it on to one, that's your regular working temperature, and two is the boost temperature. And this little um, button here turns red when it's on, so that's quite right. handy. So you know that it's hot. So yes. Be careful. Yeah. Um, and you only really need the boost for the bigger of the, the tips that we sell. Right. Um, okay. And there are some that I haven't brought onto the Hachandi yet, but I will eventually. Um, and then you must have it on too. Right. Okay. So it, it's um, a, a valuable tool. Yeah. It's the graphics tool. Yeah. Any detailed input, controlled input, this is the thing. Yeah, and it is. I mean, it's fun to use as well. So with the stylus, you get your three tips initially. So obvious that precision. The little brush. Yeah. So you can do all sorts with that. And then the first of of those um, little plates, Shaped, if you will. Shape tools. Yeah, the first. Yeah. Um, £38.99. pence. You get in, um, your instructions as well. So, and it's it, brilliant. Do get hold of the book. I haven't shown you the book yet. But do get hold of the book. We've got a book on the show. Five languages. Amazing. So, so, Always handy. Yeah, th so you don't have to read a whole huge book of instructions. <laughs> it's just a few pages, but... Uh, <laughs> and yeah, five really handy. And What's your sandpaper for? The sandpaper is, so, if you, um, unfortunately, drop your tip, yeah. Or if you find that um, you want to refine the edge of anything, you might find the, the edge of one of these, you want to have a round on it. Ah. Or one of the other tips that you might have. Then you can use that just to do that. So, so you can actually personalise it. Personalize yeah, yeah. That's and you, a good you can idea. refine it. That's really good. It's always good to refine your tools. Yeah. And they're yeah. your own tools. Yeah, and that's it because you might be using it in a specific way, Martin. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Different from everybody else. Um, if you do want that stylus, so this is um, your your pro, of course, the stylus pro. Thirty pounds and fifty nine pence, another freedom price there. Uh, Nine eight seven two zero eight. Now Talking of all those stylus tips, these are the stylus tips. I'll get the board. Oh, right, yeah, the is... board, I think, is this one. Bear with. So look. Oh, here's one. No, it's that one. It's that one here. Those are, the, those are my dies. That's dies, yeah. That's my dies. I'll bob them there for a minute. <laughs> so this, this is um, the fun tip set. And um, so you can get any of these tips individually. Uh, well, you buy three at a time. Yes. So you can choose any three that you like. Wonderful. And it just shows you the, the tips in their own form. And then combined into different um, uses, sliding them and yeah. um, wriggling them along. So with that one, would you um, melt the wax actually on the tip or would you, you pick up you, the... You melt the wax onto the tip and place it down. Amazing. But if you've got wax on a card already, like here, then you, <coughs> you just put the tip down and slide it Shuffle along. Shuffle it along Just like stuff. we did on a hot plate with yeah. the sponges. It's yeah. the same sort of idea really. Fabulous. So again, loads of different, loads of different ways that you can use those. Lots of possibilities. Yeah, yeah, that. and the uh, patterns are ace. Yeah, yeah. So we've got stars, <coughs> we've got hearts, and the hearts made nice little shamrock. I quite yeah, like I them. like that. <laughs> I like the little um, thingy what's it as well. The hexagon. Oh, yeah. <laughs> no, no, octagon. Octagon. Eight yeah, octagon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Octagon. <laughs> See, I'm glad I didn't go for it now. <laughs> no, right. I always get mixed up. I'm rubbish. Um, okay, now, it is your choice. So you can choose any three. See, now, look at these. So, <coughs> with some of these, like that big one, would you need number two for that one? Yeah, what I'd probably do with this one, when I fitted that, I'd um, uh, boost it up to number two, and then once we've got uh, the temperature of this easily melting the wax, just put it back down to number one. And the same thing would be true of um, maybe something like the square here. Okay. This one here. Yeah. So any of the larger tips, if you just um, put it on boost, just when you first fit them, it'll just speed up the reheating. Superb. Also, if you're doing long strokes, so basically, if you put the, the, the tip down and lift it, that's yeah. not much of a heat loss. Right. But the, the counter of the paper underneath is cold, so if you do a long stroke, you lose heat. Ah, yeah, that makes and sense. And so if you're doing long strokes, like trailing, say, bigger flowers or something, yeah. and dragging, then you'd need to have this on the boost temperature. Right, fabulous. I really like these. These look really interesting. Yeah, lots um, of fun. Yeah. yeah, I've never seen any any of these before they're very cool indeed so you've got so many to choose from you're choosing three of these I, I must admit 
little bit with me, I'd be going for these that look like petals immediately. They're the ones that, you know, you think, oh yeah, I'd be able to do this, be able to do that. And you've got a few different sizes as well, which is a marvellous. So you've got your petal designs, you've got um, the flowers, the heart stars, you've got triangles, you've got rectangles, circles, a really, really good mix. Another freedom price. So for three of these, and I mean the good quality, only £12.15. Do we have a tip for changing them? Yes. Yes. When you hold the, the stylus, if you try and put this in by turning the tip, yeah. it can get very difficult. So it's much yes. easier to, to turn the stylus. And what I do is I turn it, uh, hold it upright like this yeah. and turn the stylus like that. So I'm holding the tip. Normally, I'd be holding it in a piece of tissue. Oops. Right. Knock them all over now. <laughs> I'm just turning them up, up like that. And I haven't done that right at all. <laughs> See? Bound to be, wouldn't it? Lifestyle, isn't it? Right, it's not working. It's not working for me. <laughs> I'm not going to do that. I'm going to do that. I'll guy. show you that over there. In yeah, minute. yeah. We'll show it with it. See, it needs to be boiling hot, apparently. I shouldn't, yeah. <laughs> I shouldn't even have tried that. <laughs> it's early. It's morning. all going to go wrong. It's early. Isn't it? They'll cut that off, haven't they? I haven't had my coffee yet. Yeah, that's the problem. No, I've got mine just there. Oh, yeah. Nice oh. to see you. <laughs> Jeez. Oh, um, okay, so you've got three of those. Only £13.49. Really, really cool. Brilliant addition uh, to your stylus if that's what you're going for as well. Or if you've already got your stylus pro at home, 098 and 806 is your item number. And they are really, really cool. Now, something that if you are beginning, this is what you need. This is the perfect starter kit because you are getting a brilliant gift idea as well. You get your iron. I mean, we haven't talked about the iron much in this hour, but I mean, it, it is a brilliant tool, isn't it? The iron breaks down. There's a little button on the back here, and so you can take the handle off. Perfect. And break it down into a little hot plate. So it sits itself like a little hot plate. Wonderful. And then it's very easy just to put it back. You just put the front in first and then click it on and it's back again. Superb. And How easy. The temperature dial, there's, there's a low and a high. Just set it to low to start with. Right. Um, and Shona will show you stuff to do with that in a minute. Perfect. Um, you've got a lovely collection of waxes. And with the waxes, you've got the clear in there. So perfect, obviously, for cleaning. But you've got some nice colours as well to start yeah, off. Yeah, it's a great palette. I mean, you can paint pretty much any picture with that. Yeah. Because all of the colours are intermixable. You've yes. got white, so you want to pastelise any colour, just use the white. Perfect. Um, you've got the primary colours, the red, yellow, blue, so you can mix anything from there. Yeah. And, yeah. and you can adapt the colours together. So Perfect. it's a really good range. And have a play, because the colours do look different once you've melted them. Oh, absolutely, yeah. They look much darker here in the blocks. Yeah. Uh, when you actually put them on the card, because they're so thin, yes. the light bounces back off the card, and they look much more vibrant. Yes, yeah, 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 because yeah, that is really dense. Uh, you've got your your little, uh, it's like a scribing tool, Scribing isn't tool it? is what it's called, yeah. Hey, yeah, well done. Gosh, well done. Remember. That's something for me. <laughs> And that'll allow you again loads of techniques. Yeah, the, the pointed end at the top there you can use for en engraving like your name or writing or something like that. And at the bottom you've got the blades and so you can um, scrape wax off. A little tip if you're doing, um, wanting to put a graphic in like a flower in a yeah. dark background, if you scrape the wax away with a scriber first and then put it in with a Stylus Pro, ah, it'll be clean. It. Right. Very clean colour. And otherwise that's where them colours are really vivid. Yeah, 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 yeah. Right, okay, like you did on that one over yeah, there, I remember. Yeah, yeah. Um, you've also got cardstock. So it's the cardstock that you were showing us that you use because it has got like a coating on it so the wax flows beautifully, yeah, doesn't it? it doesn't absorb into the card so you can rework it. Perfect. Um, and you're getting a lot of wax in uh, a lot of cardstock in there as well, 40 assorted of your, your white card. Okay, now if you do want this, it's a good price. I mean, it's a good starting kit. Um, if you would like to go for it, two payments, £25. Um, obviously, brilliant kit if you do want to get a brand new hobby, because this is everything you need to get started. Um, you're saving £10 as well today, 119604. Four. Okay, now check out that website because we've got loads of goodies on the website. Uh, we are going to show you more of the waxes because obviously you can um, you can add to your collection of waxes. If you do want more waxes, have a look at this one. This one you've got 16 different colour palettes there. I think there are. They're kind. Of, are they the ones that we just seen in the starter kit? Those ones. 
barf down. I'm only 16.99. So if you have run out, you can stock up. Yeah. So you can stock up on them if you've run out of those. But we've got the basic, you've got enchanting, and you've got enrichment. So you have got choices there. Enhancing, darling. Enhancing. Is that not what I said? <laughs> what did I say? I can't remember now. Enchanting. Oh, did I say enchanting? <laughs> I know I am, but never mind. <laughs> I was talking about you, Michelle. Yeah, and that's it. The waxes. <laughs> There's also pick and mix in the wax as well. Yes, so perfect. That suits a lot of people. Yeah. Which is what you need, isn't it? So yeah. You've got loads of different colours. Uh, we've also got your tape roll and your wax blocks. What do we use a tape roll for? You hate yeah, tape for, roll. for the hot plate. For when you're putting ah. your picture on the hot plate. There's other ways of doing it. You can tape it on as well. And you get that lovely um, edge, clean edge. It's really yes, nice. That yeah. looks really yeah. professional. Yeah. Oh, yeah. that's it. I'll show you that next time as well. Amazing. Yeah. See, yeah. this is a thing there's so much to show, isn't it? I know it's hard to fit it all in. Yeah. I've uh, got more shows today, Sean. One more at 11 o'clock. Amazing. Yeah. With me. Yeah. I do know what I'm doing today, honest. <laughs> I have no idea what I'm doing today, is ever. Right, Shona. Yeah. So, right. if we're brand, 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 brand new, what do we do? Yeah, well, all the people that have got it, I know there's hundreds of people out there that's mm. actually got this because they came up to me at the NEC and said, oh, yeah, I've got this. I've still never done it yet. So your New Year's resolution is you've got to get it out the box and have a go before yeah. January's finished. Yes. It's a must. Do it. De do it, yeah. Do it. And a lot of it is fear that you're going to fail. Mm -hmm. But we said, look, Mike had th over 300 people had a shot. And we said, yeah. go and have a shot. And they all came away and said, I wish I took it ages ago. They've yeah, had it for yeah, years, yeah, you know, yeah. and it's still that daunting thing. Yeah. There's something about, ooh. And it's so different. I know. You is. know, when you're not used to it, it's just, it messes with your head a little bit. But yeah, yeah get it yeah. out. So basically, get the iron out and set it at the low temperature. Mm -hmm. Get your bit of card, set up your um, space with the irons if you're right handed on your right, your waxes are on your left. Yeah. And the best way to test it is the blue green colour that's in your set. You just put that on, the iron, and it should just slowly go down the iron. And Wonderful. you know that your iron's at the right temperature. Right. Because that's the, you know, like, success. If the iron's not at the right temperature, you'll fail. Right. Because it'll be too hot and it'll be going all over the place or it'll be dry and scratchy. Right. So Excellent. What I'm going to do is just put on... Uh, Irons with when at the sh at the NEC, this is what we were showing them to do, is to fill the iron in a ba in bands. Okay, just bands of colour. Yeah, bands of colour. I love the colours. Yeah, don't they look fab when they start melting? Yeah. It is. And a full iron's worth of colour. Don't yeah. be frightened. A lot of people, when they start, that's yes. a bit, or a wee tiny bit, yeah. cover the whole thing, put it down at the side of the card here, and then just shove it across the card. Amazing. So all your wax is now on here. Yeah, how quick. Yeah. And how if quick you, and easy. If you press too hard, you'll, it'll all end up on your backing paper and you'll have nothing left there. Right, because you'll be putting it on but really scraping yeah. it off. So, and then all you need to do then is just put the iron down and create eight marks. Marvellous. So, so just, just try get it. Used yeah. to it. Just get out. Just play with it to see yeah. what happens. If you keep it putting the iron in the same band, then the colours will stay in the same sort of a, yeah. um, band width. But it doesn't matter. You can sort of mix them all up, as well. And you see, the iron does all that shading yes. for you. Yeah. And so then, just by moving it round about, like sugaring it, you get all these different effects. Fabulous. And it's so. This is the thing with it. When you first get it, yeah, it is really important just to play with yeah. the iron, just and to like see the, what it does. Like you've got the square edge there of the iron, so you can use the square bit as well. Yeah. Yeah. You know, and get square edges. And you think, I oh, yeah. Because you don't tend to think of this square edge yes. on an iron. Yeah. So we say, just keep playing with it. Yeah. And even at the end, if you end up overworking it, like a lot of people do, and it's all just muddy and you end up with, you know, it's like you think it's just a mess, just take a bit of tissue and just wipe a bit clean. Because if you go in to do, if you think of a landscape, it's just bands of colour. Yeah. So just take a that bit off the really top. Cool. Yeah. And then you can either just shove the wax up or you can reload the iron. Oh, I'll just put. That. Now, see now, I love it because that now that is give you a really, really, really good texture at the bottom. So I'm just putting a, a few different colours on here, okay? And I'm just going to go across the card like this, back and forth the card. Amazing. And so that's got to give you, it's got to stick to this bit. I'm just going to take it off here because it's got a little wax. That is I like so to, cool. I like to hold it in my hand when I'm going to do the textured bit at the front because I can flex my card yeah, yeah. into the iron. So you're literally allowing the card to bend. Yeah. And that within seconds. So you can create yeah. a hill. So you can turn something that was you thought yeah. was just a mess into a picture. Yeah, that and looks then so cool. Just put some detail in. So use the iron like a nice skate and just run it up through. 
and you get different um, lengths of grasses. Isn't that ace? Yes. The point so of the iron. using the tip of the iron. Yeah, and then the tip of the iron, I've just got to do like the little birds here. Amazing. And that is picking up the wax just with the yeah. tip of the iron. Yeah, and again, you can use the same bit for like the, the little flower heads. And it's just like, when you're working on a small bit of card, a few little he dots suddenly look like poppies. Yep, yep, yep. So yep. very easy to get a, a result with. Yeah, and it, this, I, that is seconds. Yeah. Anybody can do that, can't you? That's it. And this is why I dig it out. Definitely have a plate. Yeah. If you haven't got it already, get this in your basket. So it's very easy <coughs> to, to get a result with it. That's, oh, that's, that's so cool. You know, that's the beauty of it. Yeah, and it's a good result. Yeah. I mean, that is so visually interesting. It the iron actually gives you depth. Yes. And it mixes the colours up. So yeah. if you're trying to do it with a, a pen or, yeah. you know, paint, you think... How do, how I, do, I, how do I mix it, you know? Yeah. But the iron does it. So and it gives you, I mean, yeah. the depth is ridiculous. You know, on them hills, it gives you natural shading. That is just wobbling down across a piece of paper. How cool is that? When the actual wax cools down, you see that beautiful sheen when it's just wiped over. That's fabulous. So then the next, that's the, like the basic little landscape, you know, starting yeah. from abstract, turning it into landscape. But when you actually want to actually paint landscape, then make sure your iron's really nice and clean. And it looks clean now, but if you watch this, it's probably... I take a bit of tissue so that's here. That's clear wax that you put on yeah, the top. Yeah, this is just sort of it. See how there's wow. actually. You think the iron's clean, but it's um, it's amazing how much dirt can actually still be on it. Right. Well, dirt, you know, so, it's yeah, no dirt, it's wax. So it's worth cleaning the the iron. If you've got to do a, if you've got to do a nice clean sky, yeah. then you don't want to pick up any of the debris and the other colours you've used. Yeah. So get it a bit of, um, clean, and you get the clear in this in the set when you start. Wonderful. You get the white because you use a lot of white if you're trying to do landscape. Okay. So, Again, I'm going to do a sky here, so I'm putting, a, and again, you can see I'm putting a good amount on. Yeah. Because I want to cover this part of the card. And I'm just going to put a few different colours in. And because the colours are so strong, you don't need much of them. Yeah. So you're just yeah. putting a few little dabs of colour here. And I'm going to do a sky, so I'm just going to put the card down. And then I'm just going to, like, drag it towards myself. Oh, that's so pretty. So this is just a very... Um, soft, calm, but, soft, yeah. like a really nice day sky. Yeah, that is so nice. If you were living in Wales at the moment, it would just be grey, you know? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think it's pretty great yeah. idea at the minute is as it? well. Right. That so, is beautiful. That's just literally a little bit of pink with yeah. blue on the white. So this side of the iron has now got to do your hills, and your yeah. landscape. Um, so if you see, if I put... Don't put one colour on and then do it, and then another colour and do it. Otherwise, you're just going to keep remelting. Yes. Be adventurous and put a few different bits of colour on the iron. Yeah. Sometimes you've got to mark them to see what colour you're actually working with here. Yeah, because they're, the they're dark. Because they're dark. Yeah. You don't really realise. No. Here. And so I've just put like a bit of, like, you know, three different, two different greens and a bit of brown here. Beautiful. Now, the iron will, um, when I'm working with it, it'll shade yeah. them. And yeah. so uh, I'm going to start just above my sky. So I'm, in, I'm touching this, the actual wax that's already there. And it'll melt that and put a little bit of that into it Amazing. as well. Amazing. So I'm just going to put the iron down like this and then just smooth the iron right across and back underneath. Don't go over what you've done, otherwise you've got to remelt it. Right, of course. So it's just building it up. Yeah. That's fabulous. So you're actually building up the, the uh, yeah. so it's your picture. Across. Now, when you did that, yeah. did, you, did you have the full iron on or did you have it slightly tilted? No, that's, yeah, it's funny because if you see yeah, that... Yeah, in it because you don't um, think about what you're no, doing. No, I had it flat. Right. Yeah. So flat yeah. iron, so you go across yeah. and then back and then back again. And then I'm just Perfect. going to put the iron down here and... I'm not putting any more wax on at the moment, just to show you. Yeah. There isn't much wax there, so you've got to get a very fine textured effect. And yes. here there isn't any wax, so it's a bit dry and scratchy. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But even that looks oh, yeah. cool, doesn't it? So, if you put the wax in the middle part of the iron, and again, don't be frightened to put two or three different colours, yeah. just a little bit. And it's the middle bit, because it's the middle bit that's going to do this work. Right. So I'm going okay. to hold it in my hand, and then I'm just... I mean, I can do this quite confidently because I've done it loads of times. You'll be going yeah. like this. Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. Where am I to, going? Where yeah, am I going? where am I going? And then just keep dabbing and you'll get a much heavier effect. Wow. So that it, looks It makes it more 3D then, you know? Yes. And again, back to that sort of effect. You can either do what I was doing there, just running it up the side. Yeah. Or for a different effect, just run the wax through the iron like that and then just bring it in. So Amazing. It's... So again, really using that iron as a tool. Yeah. That is so cool. And then again, just using the point of the iron for your little little birds in the sky. 
And when you're doing the birds, just be careful that the wax isn't went in here. So it's, sort of a, right. it's a good idea to get a wipe. Otherwise, instead of getting a wee bird, you get a pterodactyl. <laughs> so the bigger the spot, the longer you leave it in, the bigger the bird. See? <laughs> yeah, See so what before I mean? you know it. Yeah, so you've got <laughs> something that's really huge. And then yeah. again, just a little sort of a flower heads. Amazing. And the thing is, if you've got the Stylus Pro, then that just allows you to draw. Yes. Much, much easier. So that yeah. gives you real yeah. precision. And so there, and then you can just sort of do much smaller as well. Wonderful. Idea. And then you can also use it as, um, to do sort of like fences and stuff like that. So you just sort of got to melt. Where's the so green? literally, with Stylus Pro, that, you're drawing with that. Yeah. Drawing yeah, you're just drawing with it. So you can just sort of like start drawing like fence oh, that's posts. that's cool, because you picked up a couple of colours there as well. Yeah, just, you're just mixing them on the that's coming out of the stylus, the scriber. That's it. And then just make them a bit weird as they go in. And then you can use the um, your scribing tool then to actually like scratch, sort of feel like a fen fences uh, yeah. in there. That's really cool. And again, that is in here. So, I love how quick it builds up. That is just so effective. So I'm just going to sort of move this bit, I'm just going to make the, the fences coming around the corner. Do you know, the, it never, ever, ever, it doesn't matter how many times I've seen this, it never gets boring. No, because everyone's different, gets, isn't yeah, it? Yeah. yeah. And then remember, you know, if you want to seal it, just to, um, what Mike showed you, just sort of yes. put a little bit of sealer on and just sort of dab it on, and then that perfect. just protects it. Because that is perfect for a card. Yeah. You know, it's such a That's good size. It. And you've made it, that is your own artwork that you can, yeah. I mean, if you're making those to sell, and the, they're that yeah. quick to do. But people say, oh, I don't have any imagination, I don't have any imagination. I said, you have, it's just that you don't think that yeah. you have. Yeah. So what we say is to just use a stamp, put an image into it first. Yes. So obviously we have got stamps on the show, yeah. you have lots um, at home, but we have got stamps on the show as well. Well, these and ones are silhouettes. Yeah. yeah, so that means they're a good solid image. Yeah, that's it. So you just ink up your... Um, does it matter what ink we use, Shauna, for your stamp? Yeah, you don't want to use a pigment ink. You want right. to, because otherwise the pigment, when you put the heat on it, can lift the pigment. Right. So okay. you want to use a dye pad. Wonderful. So you can tell I'm not a stamper. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny, isn't This it? better work now, because if it doesn't, I'm in trouble. Somebody, <laughs> somebody will be after me. <laughs> It'll work. Yeah. Well, the thing is, we're encaustic, is it? Yeah, that's Perfect. fine. Yay! Yay! She Yay. succeeded. <laughs> the thing is, though, if it doesn't work, just get a black. Just if that was a, oh, just imagine that was a black magic marker. Then just colour it in with yeah. a black magic marker with the with <laughs> the encaustic because you're going to go at it. No, you can just let it um, dry on its own. But okay. the good thing with having an iron at your hand is that you can just yeah, you can heat set it. Yeah, speed it up so it just takes the excess ink off. Perfect. So you clean your iron and yeah. obviously you're heat setting that. So this is when you would use your clear wax as well. Because right. you want the colours to be more translucent, yeah? Right. Otherwise you'll hide the stamp. Yeah. So make sure you put a coat and a clear wax on as ah, well. Okay. And then I'm just going to use some of the, you know, the ocean colours, sort of blues, bluey greens. So they say it's just touches of the colour yeah, on the clear. Yeah. And because that's going to spread out the whole thing. And then just sort of like wash, and you can sort of shake it, and then that'll look like it's oh, under that's the water. So yeah. Cool. So just go at it till you get a, a something like looks like she could be coming out of the cave yeah, there. That looks so, so I can cool. add more colour back into it if I want, round the sides and stuff. And it's the clear that's really light in that colour. Yeah. So I can just sort of, you know. Yeah, because look, without the clear, that is quite intense, yeah. isn't it? And then it would ha it would hide her then. Sort of the coral. It's great for doing like the coral effect. Yeah. That is so quick. Yeah. Well, that's the thing, you know, and folks say, oh, I don't have any imagination, but it's the iron that's actually going to create a lot of that for you. Yeah. Yeah, that's it. And then, like, if, you know, if you've got the shakes, it doesn't really matter either because <laughs> yeah, it's, it's going to that. Yeah, it's going to be, uh, you know. You just get more texture. Yeah, that's it. Brilliant. And you that can is brilliant. use your stylus as well and sort of you add little um, sea anemones and little um, starfish, all sorts of things. Amazing. Yeah, that's so cool. 
So just, it's so hot. It's, it's just about being creative and enjoying yeah. yourself, really. And it's just being brave. Yeah. It is like you say, if you've already got this at home, please dig it out. Yeah. If you haven't got it already, pop it in your basket. Yeah. It is very, very, um, you need to check your baskets out. I know what everyone's doing when we're watching. Yeah. <laughs> I get it. But um, the thing is, for £50, you've got a brand new hobby yeah. and everything that you actually yeah. need. And I'm sure that most people have got stamps already. Absolutely. If no, these ones are really nice for the encaustic. Yeah. And when you polish, it. The wax that's on top of the um, mermaid comes, you know, it shines as well, so yes. it um, really finishes it off. That looks so cool, so cool. Yeah, um, yeah. Thank you so much, Sean. We've got yeah. emails actually. All right, okay. Um, this one is from Liz. She says, "Morning, all. Good morning, Liz." She says, "Sending these pictures um, in for my daughter Kimmy. She got the stars pack for her birthday. She's eleven, oh, wow. and has been making background pictures. She loves it. And now I need to get some more wax and card. Also, wind up the stylus. What's she been doing then? <laughs> What's our Kimmy been up to? Oh, oh wow, yeah. well done, Kimmy." She's 11 and she's been making some incredible backgrounds. Uh, thank you for sharing them, Liz, and thank you, Kimmy. Oh, we got some more, we got some more. Oh, wow. That's amazing. That's gorgeous, isn't it? Have you done that? Kimmy, have you done that? Is that? Oh, this is from Leslie. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Leslie, Leslie. Um, hi, all. Michael and Shona are oh, never any source of inspiration. Always keen to share their ideas and techniques with everyone. Please thank them from me. Good luck uh, to you all. Hope the show goes well. Leslie, that is sensational. Let's have a look what else she's been doing. Whoa. Good grief. Have you seen this, Shona? Yeah. That's absolutely amazing. Yeah. Oh my gosh, that that is um, Leslie. That's phenomenal. Uh, Leslie says she's learned all the techniques from Michael and Shona. That is phenomenal, Leslie. Thank you so much, and I love it because you can see right from the beginning, right from just creating gorgeous backgrounds, where you could go with it, and it is mind blowing because you wouldn't think. You know, when you see, it, you think painting with iron. Painting with wax. I don't I don't understand how this can create so many effects, but it can. All you need to do is play. You need to practice. You need to experiment. Uh, you need the tools, though. You need the tools for the job, don't you? So, first of all, you've got the iron. It's a good quality iron. This is going to last you. Um, it's been designed for encaustic, so it means, obviously... Um, the wax is going to, to melt at the proper temperature and you've got your temperature gauge. Obviously, the handle does come off so you can create a hot plate. You've got um, the scribing tool. You've got the cardstock. You've got your lovely wax collections as well. I'm going to be really naughty and just show you something at the back here because <clears throat> we've got so many finished samples back there. Look at the type of thing you could be going to. This isn't a starter piece. But... But have a look into that. Now, look what you've just learned. You've just learned skies with Shauna. You've just learned birds with Shauna. You've just learned putting in hills with Shauna. You've just learned how to create, using the side of your iron, how to create grasses. When you look at things like that, at first, at first you look at that and you think, I'd never be able to do that. But when you break it down, you think of all the things that we've just learned, that isn't that far away from it, is it? But it is on a grand scale, <clears throat> and I'm not going to lie, I won't attempt that straight away. However, that's what you could be building up to, and you've seen the techniques. Obviously, use them with your dies, use them with your stamps, you know, use it with different things that you've got at home. There's so many things at home that you've got that you will, of course, be using these techniques with. Whether you're creating die cuts on top of it, whether you're going to be die cutting out of the backgrounds that you've created, how cool do they look? Because you've got all those colours, but you've got texture as well. And the texture from encaustic is just beautiful. It's really effective. And you can imagine a gorgeous background, but then with some of your dies just cutting silhouette over the top, they're going to look phenomenal. Or, of course, cutting it out, see, that's it, that's putting the silhouette on top of them. Fab, aren't they? OK, if you do want these, two payments, £25. It's getting busier and busier. Please check those baskets out. 119604, that's your item number. Have a look at the website. The website, you're going to see those sponges. You're going to see the Stylus um, Pro. You're going to see all the different tips for the Stylus Pro as well. Um, 
If you've got any questions, if you're not sure about something, please email in. We've only got two shows today. Um, obviously, we're, it's live, live telly. So if you've got anything you want and you're not sure of, please, please, please email studio at achanda.com. If you want to ring through your order or come and chat to us, it's 01733602000. And I am going to mention dead quickly uh, your book as well. So we've got your book. And then we've actually got um, two discs in there, two yes, discs DVD. Yes, nearly four hours of me there talking. Amazing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, amazing for some. If you're, mm. I redid this book. This is the final book I'm doing on the basics. It's got everything, brings it all up to date. Yeah. It includes things like the die cutting that you just looked at and stuff like that. Amazing. So, um, what, Les Leslie, fun Thank you very much for sending your work in. Beautiful. That was um, amazing. Isn't it? Yeah, she's amazing. she's so good. Yeah. And she uses a lot of the tissue where you stick tissue onto the card and ah. put wax on top. Yeah. So you can have some areas of the card which are non-absorbent and then yeah. some which you've now made absorbent by sticking absorbent material onto ah, it. I see. So it gives texture. Again, different. Oh, there's so many yeah. techniques. Yeah, multi multimedia all in yeah. one thing. Yes. And that's it. Once you get this and you start creating your own stuff and start experimenting, you just create your own base. These are sort of, they're complementary to each other, so they're sold yeah. separately, but um, a lot the projects in the, the DVD are in sort of step-by-step -step form in the book. Right, perfect. So you can see the live action there and you can see, see it if you prefer to have it in front of you. Yeah, in and the pictures. Yeah. Um, if you do want the book, only 11 99 really good price. If you do want your two-disc DVD, 18 99 200611. It's brilliant to have something to, to get you going as well, to get you started. Okay. Right, I'm going to show you, <clears throat> you asked about the tape earlier on, yeah. the of tape. When I came last time, I, I just began using it. And yeah. So I was putting the card down and then sticking it on, but the card can move around a lot. Right. So what I realized was if you put a bit of clear wax in the middle and then put your card down Perfect. and put it sort of fairly close to the edge, and then it's much, much easier to put the tape on. Yeah. And the tape is also helping to hold it, yes. but it's acting as a mask as well. Yes. So it'll give you that really nice professional crisp edge. So I'm hoping that at the end we're going to get a nice crisp edge there. Yeah. And it's heat resistant, obviously, or heat proof, so yeah, it's the, not going to react with the heat. The adhesive on it is designed to work with the heat. <laughs> Wonderful. Um, don't worry if it pops up. Whoops. Oh, oh <laughs> done the whole thing now. I'm not having a good day today, am I? Well, Back it's again. early. It's because you didn't have your coffee. I know it is. It's weird, it isn't it? How, how much coffee enhances a day or the beginning of a day? And put it on there. So even if it goes wrong, it doesn't go wrong. Wonderful. Take a bit of tissue, yeah, um, just a clean area. And what I do then is I just push these down right. with the tissue rather than your fingers. And especially work around the inner edges because you don't want the wax to go under that. Yeah, so yeah, because it can sneak enough. under. And then we just take our colour. Hey, so look at that bright yellow. That's gorgeous. Yeah. And again, I'm working along the tape rather than pushing too hard into it. Right. So I'm trying to avoid putting stuff so just kind of get some color on there amazing just put a bit of blue on there i love when you do get confident just how confident you get with your color you know when you first start you're probably a bit you, you know you take it easy yeah but when you you just go for it don't yeah, you when exactly. you're you're not scared of it so you can see the sort of effects that you can get cool. from the, that the comb's comb. amazing um we've actually got other tools um on the show that have a rubber brush, for instance. Oh, wow. And so this okay. is, if you think of the comb as small teeth, then this is much bigger teeth. And so that does oh, this. Oh, that's this. So you can do all sorts of stuff with yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. And obviously, because it is a rubber brush, it's going to be perfect for the heat. Um, so with that one, you've got, oh, and what does this one do? This is, this is the, they come in a set, these two. The rubber okay. brush and the, the um, I, well, I call it a tongue, like a tongue ring. Yeah, it is. And then here you can do stuff like oh, this. Oh, yeah, that's cool. Or you can do stuff like that. Because it's really pliable yeah, as well, it's isn't it? Yeah, it's You can just use the edge of it to do smaller stuff. Oh, I do like that. That's cool. See, this is, you're going to want all the tools. If you do want the two rubber brushes, £19.99, 130978. We've only got, what, three minutes, did you say? So let's just We've do only a little got bit three minutes. So back to the sponges. Fab. So remember, with the sponges, you can do edge marks like these. And it's a very sophisticated result yeah, for is. the amount of effort that you have to put in. Yeah. Yeah, it's so... Because literally, all you're doing is, is moving it, and, aren't you? Yeah, yeah, or just stamping it down. It's a bit like stamping yeah. with, a, yes. with, a, with a sponge. 
it's you really want to go i'm standing you dead want to have a go yeah. it's one of them you just want to play and so there's a, and with the the edge of this you can do different types of marks i call yeah. that mark so just get used so to yeah, it yeah it's, it's you're just looking at to see what you can do you can swirl it yeah as you go so it just gives all sorts of different effects and the texture and again is gorgeous let's just do a bit of that down there and now let's just take a bit more color so you could always add more color remember yeah let's go on the edge and the well. thing is you can add it and you can take it away we're not going to say you can't you can with encaustic you can with encaustic and that's one of its great strengths yeah. for people who say oh i can't do anything i love that well you can with encaustic that sponges ace is that easy to clean as well then that texture uh, i'll show you in just a moment if i take this off now if i just leave it there actually what time have we got how long have about two minutes two minutes yeah i've just got time to show you if i just finish the edges of this that's so cool right so that's my bit of artwork yeah brilliant so now i remember try and remember to take them off in the right order <laughs> oops don't do that <laughs> that's Sorry, Sean Sean as oh, don't tell her <laughs> she might have seen you <laughs> <laughs> Sean, are you? don't tell her <laughs> come on in now Sean, before we run out of time Get right. your picture, love. Nice so the nice thing about this <laughs> is that then you get a nice oh, yeah. clean edge. So that doesn't that look good? Because that when it's framed yeah. it looked yeah. fabulous, wouldn't yeah. it? And that way up. Yeah, that's that superb. And you can always put it back. I've got a little spot there. It's flicked from somewhere. Oh, yeah. So I could go back with the Stylus Pro and change that. That's or part of my picture that's, that's in the other. Right. Right. <laughs> cleaning. I'll just show you quickly about cleaning the sponges. Okay. If, if you just put a tissue down on here, and like this edge of the sponge here, just put it down on there. Let it Perfect. warm up, and it'll just take off the worst of it. Amazing. And as you move on, you see it's getting less and less. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So now it's clean enough. It's clean enough. Yeah, yeah. So that easy. Same with this one. Oh, and I like the texture. So if you put card on there as well, well, I you like could that. you could That's embed nice. that now, couldn't you? So you yes. Yeah, so, so there's so many techniques. Uh, right, we are really running out of time. Okay. Check your baskets out. We're all back up at 11 o'clock. Um, so make sure you come and join us at 11. If you have any questions by 11 o'clock, then please come forward and, and ask. Because it's live telly. And the lovely thing about it, you know, if there's something you need to see, because we've yeah. got the team, yeah. uh, we, we can, can ask show people. Yeah. got a question yeah. or send us your artwork, let's see what you're doing. Yeah, oh, yeah definitely. Yeah, I'd like to see yeah. that. Yeah. Well, you've got a couple of hours they could dig it out now, couldn't they? Yeah. And before exactly. the next hour. <laughs> yeah. Ah, show us your first piece. That would be fabulous yeah. if you could. Uh, thank you ever so much. Oh, thanks you really welcome. enjoyed yeah. that. Right, we'll see you up at 11. Bye-bye. Ta -bye. <laughs> Oh, I enjoyed that. Oh, it's our lovely clarity. Um, our Barbara's in the building, coming up with a fresh cut one day special. We then got polka doodles. Nick is in the building too. And then it's us lot back up in Corset. What a lovely morning for you on the Chanda. Hachanda will be supporting Stamparama, an incredible art stamp and paper craft show, and we would like to invite you to come along and meet us on Sunday the 24th of February. Tickets are available from Hachanda in advance for only £2.50, or alternatively on the door for £3. Order your tickets today from Hachanda.com. Marie Curie is the UK's leading charity for people living with any terminal illness. Hachanda have partnered with Marie Curie to bring you a very special watercolour challenge. Marie Curie nurses work day and night in people's homes and in the charity's hospices, providing hands-on care and vital emotional support to help families make the most of the time they have left. It's their information and support services which are a lifeline for people affected by a terminal diagnosis. Being a cause close to our hearts, Achanda wanted to support this wonderful charity. So, on the 25th of January at 12 o'clock, you will have the opportunity to take part in our live watercolour challenge with Matthew Palmer and two very special celebrity guests, broadcaster Penny Smith and comedian Jenny Eclair. Matthew will spend an hour teaching everyone how to paint a daffodil and finding out more from our guests about Marie Curie and its important work. 
In the run-up to this event, you'll be able to purchase your watercolour kit so you can paint along and Achanda will donate 100% of the profits from the watercolour kits to Marie Curie. Simply go to www.achanda.com forward slash daffodil for more details and purchase your kit. We are so excited to be in partnership with Marie Curie. I hope you can join me, Matthew Palmer and our two very special celebrity guests on the 25th of January at 12 o'clock. Kalal All Purpose Glue is a solvent based adhesive and is fast drying with an incredibly strong bond. This wet glue can be used on paper, card, cork, wood, fabric, glass and is perfect to use with your coordinations cardstock. This fantastic deal consists of four 100ml bottles. To stock up, go to hochanda.com. Hello there and welcome Good back. Morning. It's nine o'clock, Barbara. It's your first live show of the day. It is. Back in action. I had a fantastic day you yesterday, did, Hayley. You yeah, did. Blew the doors off. Well, this is it in lots of ways because you were here for your two hour show yesterday as well, yeah, which is always very, very popular. popular. It is. And then we introduced the craft along you session. You did, which we will tell you class, about a little bit later. Great, and the club, and then the one day special, and, and on it went. Yeah. Talk about New Year and new things going on. Well, that's it, isn't it? Yeah. I think fresh year, fresh beginnings. Exactly. And fresh cuts. Which fresh is what we've got with our oh, one day you session. Good. She's on fire. The details are upon your screen. If you not seen the one day special already then you do need to bear in mind that already 60 percent 60 percent that's a, been a busy busy night that's busy great. through those night time repeats lots of you taking advantage of these and all the details are on your screens here if you do want to jump ahead you can do but barbara talk us around what we've got in the one day special what we've got in the one day special is tina cox oh say no more transformed into dyes mm -hmm. so tina we all we love tina tina's designed these beautiful she originally she designed some groovy plates which are also on the table Lovely. which are the floral swirls and frames and and what we've done is we've taken those beautiful illustrations and we've turned those into these framers okay which work really lovely what you've actually got here is five corner frames and five so you've got ten dies really okay because the words are separable I love they, it. They're independent. Now the frames are going to cut into your card. So you're working right. with some of your card bases it's an here. Aperture. It, again, it's an aperture die. So um, you can easily cut these little pieces out. Mm -hmm. So you've got the filigree, if you nice, like. Nice, yeah. But what you, what you achieve every time is an actual... When you, when you use the frame, let me take one here. Then what you'll find is, I think this is the one. Yeah. Oops. This cuts out, it leaves the aperture. Lovely. So it's still in keeping with our traditional, like you know, what idea. fresh cuts are. Beautiful. Which is great because it gives you beautiful photo frames. Well, I can imagine right. these with some of your fav fabulous papers behind them. And if you flip it, oh, flip it round, like, hang on, Ooh, it's cool. It? Oh, hang on. There you go. Oh, when wow. you turn it round, you can see it white on black and then black on white. We missed so that with a happy nice. birthday one. Let's bring that one back. Beautiful. I love this idea. Don't they look different depending on which way you do? Yeah. Whether it's the black or the white? Yeah, there we are. So what we've got on your special day. That's so, you've got so on your many occasions. And all the words can be interchanged. So we could take the thank you and pop it in there. It's been spaced enough. What you'll find as well is that each of these, Lucy uh, Clarity helped me mm -hmm. make these. And we decided that we'd have one large corner one ornate and one small complement. Nice. So there's a lot of versatility. And what I want to show Beautiful. you today is what you can do with these smaller and larger elements when you extract them out of the aperture. I love there's that. There's so much to do with it. But then it's what you do with them. And, this is and the for key wedding invitations, here we go, look. Wedding invitations, wow. birthday cards, anniversaries, Easter. There are even some Christmas possibilities Beautiful. in here. Beautiful. I love this. And Isn't you can see those gorgeous papers coming through. Because I'm guessing it's kind of like a two for the, the positive and the negative. The negative exactly. being taken there and actually used on that particular one. But similar papers used in exactly. this one here. And the font's <gasps> really nice. I like the typeface. And I like it when it's, uh, it's embedded. You know when you mm. do the paper 
piecing. Yes. I like that a lot. It's all in one Isn't piece as well, which I like. So yeah. there's not lots of little tiny so pieces. This is so classy. And this is all in, there's no cutting. It's all in one a area. So for a photograph, for example, well, how cut, how beautiful that is, is that? Clever. Now look at this about classy. Oh, I That's love these. this. Yeah, I do too. <gasps> it's the colours, isn't that pink and black? I remember my daughter Grace, she had a, the most beautiful dress like this yes. in this colour. It yeah. looks absolutely fantastic. Pink and blue. Very uh, sophisticated. Pink and blue. Pink and black. Absolutely yeah. beautiful. I love that one. But then again, if you, if you like wedding. your traditionals, just yeah, yeah. your gorgeous. Isn't um, gorgeous oh, for a look wedding. At that. And this is translucent, which I like. It's a Sheila's, Sheila Metzler. Very, very pretty. Yeah. Um, and some of those fancy folds that we do with our cards as well, transfer um, to work with these as you can yeah, see like there as well. Card. Isn't that pretty that with the pink and grey? I do like a pink. Those brown. are nice combinations. But then if you're wanting to go for your bright, vibrant tones, we've got another one here. Now, in the backdrop, we've got some little stamps. These are yeah. very similar. Well, this is it. Tina's, Tina's designs, we made them in from groovy, we went to stamps, and then from stamps, we went to dyes. So Perfect. now we've got them in all three forms, Love which that. is really, it complements, doesn't it? And that it? illustrates how, if you've got all of yeah. them, they all work so oh, well yeah, together. Beautiful. We're yeah. busy. We are incredibly busy. Lots of you going for that one day special. Absolutely beautiful collection. But as we said, it's not the only first brand new thing that we're bringing to you in this hour. Now, if you want to jump ahead and get yours, details are on your screen, 208325. Got two flexi buys on this one too as well, which of course will open up your flexi order, which means you can add anything else in. But don't forget, we are still part of our flex extravaganza. It's a bit of a tricky one, Barbara. Um, <laughs> it's going to be coming to a draw into a close at the end of six o'clock tonight. So yeah, take advantage while you have the opportunity. Um, and perhaps you might like to add these in too. Well, I say these. This is kind of a concept more so than a bundle, although you will get the bundle. Barbara, oh, elaborate. What's this all about? Right, the Dye Club. We at Clarity, mm -hmm. we're, we're always, we're well known in the industry for education. And I've been running clubs for nearly 20 years now. Oh, my goodness. Right? And this is the newest club. Okay. So we've got stamps, we've got stencils, we've got groovy, and now we've got the Dye Club. Now, Hochanda kindly gave us uh, permission to launch our subscription here okay. so this is really exciting what you do is you you subscribe for a year okay and the the subscription is 120 pounds now again with this flex travaganza split you split that into exactly, two yeah. months which yeah. is great and what you you're subscribing for the whole year it sounds like a lot but what you actually receive every month is a die which we know are expensive, oh gosh, so yeah. you get a die, and you also get a project club. Now, these are new designs. It says on the front, new designs. So, in effect, I mean, if you take out the tuition, which, let's yeah. face it, the tuition's got a high value to it anyway, yes. but the die alone, £10 it's for a die pounds. is brilliant value. Right, so, so this is the first, this is January's die, for example. Okay. So, Paul and I, what we're doing is, we're giving you, as Ooh. well, projects. So, you can see here, there are projects, and this is, if you're new to it, okay. this is a real... And the, and the paper cuts, our, our particular fresh cuts, mm -hmm. are quite different anyway. So these are our take. So this is Paul's take. And then on the back, there's my take. So, so you get two ideas. So you get four in effect, because I do a double and Paul does a double. Oh, my goodness. So it's a, it's a, it's a really good inspiration sheet. So that's 48 over the year. So exactly. <gasps> so every month you get this. Right, okay. And you get your, your, your three by mm -hmm. three inch, these are beautiful, mm -hmm. original little... Um, dies not available anywhere mm -hmm. else right so then what you also receive is a folder so month by month you add this in there with your die Love it. Month, February March April May Love and so it goes idea. on so what you're doing today is you're subscribing to the whole year okay you'll receive this next week okay and then every month going forward you'll receive the next installment the next installment okay you also there are other benefits to joining mm -hmm. the club um which we can uh, elaborate on yeah, another we'll another do, day yeah. Yeah. um but for example this is you get a newsletter i write a newsletter every you know and i do write it yeah, it's, I know. it's yeah, just you do. Uh, so i tell you what's going on if there's something that i think you need to know i'll let you know so talking about knowing what's going on when when do i find out about design die number two Ah, so every month, do you mean? Okay, yeah. You don't find out. It's a Ooh. surprise. Really? This is, the, this is the whole thing. This is the only one we've never really so told no you teasers, ahead of time. No, 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 no. It's like Christmas every month. <gasps> oh, so you wow. don't know what you're getting. All I can as assure you is that the dyes are beautiful. And what's interesting, a lot of people, be, yeah. sometimes people say, I don't know if I'd have bought that one. Yeah. Let's say with the stamps or. But when, we, when they see what, what the inspiration, what you do with it, they mm. say, goodness. Yeah. That is so that interesting. Is really good, because yeah. it stretches you, it makes it you look at something. You, you may be just. 
you play it safe, you always buy the same. I am that person that buys that type. Yeah. And or then what color. we do is say, mm. hey, listen, try, try this. It. And then mm. it becomes your new favourite. You know? so it, it's just stretching you a bit. And of course, we're talking about edition one here. So, yeah. of course, collectibles and um, talking about things like magazines and CDs. That's it. Going from issue one right the way through to the current day is such a key thing. And I've got, I've got friends and customers that have been in the stamp club, because obviously I was a stamp club for the first 15 yeah. years and now it's gone berserk. But in the, I've got friends out there that have still got the very first, they collect all the I want to hear from these people. Oh, don't tell her. Don't tell her. <laughs> if you have they know a, too much. <laughs> if you've been a part of one of those, I want to know how, uh, uh, let's see how far we can go back. How oh, far wow. back have we got with those editions? Have we 90 got any? 90 what? 97, Have we got any viewers from that first edition of stamps, stencils? And now Groovy. And Groovy Groovy's well. been going for about three years. Because in November we did a past issues and it went so well. Love and it. there was so much question around the new Die mm -hmm. Club that Hochanda kindly said, well, why don't you bring Love it on? Mm -hmm. Lots of you have been taking advantage of this. Um, at 659-352. I'm quite conscious of the time. I want to get to the demo yep. area. So we're going to give you those. Don't you go running off just yet, Daisy? <laughs> <laughs> so the details are on your screen. If you want to take advantage of that subscription, the details are there. But then we have got a craft along to tell you about. Oh, yeah. We're going to take a little walk down to the demo area. Join us there and we will tell you a little bit more about this. This is cool. Would you like to improve your crafting techniques by watching and crafting along with your favourite Hachanda guest demonstrators or from the comfort of your own home? If the answer is yes, then we are excited to invite you to Craft Along, where you, our presenters and guests, will create an amazing array of projects throughout the year. Each month we will be bringing you a brand new kit that you can purchase on the day of each show. Or if you pre-order your kit, you will receive £5 off a purchase of £20 or more of any additional products featured within our Craft Along brand shop that month. So tune in, be inspired and create with Craft Along, your monthly crafting workshop. I love that idea, Barbara. That it, is brilliant. Well, it's... I, you know, for years, it's, I've been doing this kind of thing. And so I'm so chuffed that Hochanda has decided to run with this yeah. craft along so that you at home, you good people at home, can actually craft along. And Dee, the young lady that was in the video And I recognise uh, Dee. Now, Dee, the very, very first TV show that I ever did back in the day, Dee was the floor manager. Yes, she's and a floor in the meantime, too, yeah. she's done a degree in graphic design. She has, she has the most exquisite artwork that you've ever seen. And on she's Saturday, sweet. we had dinner together uh, because we're friends. Yeah. And um, and she's joining the Clarity team. Oh, and when I'm you so see pleased. her work, you will see a lot more of that young lady. She is she's so good. Lady. You know her well I too, do, don't yeah. you? She used to floor my shows when her daughter was a baby. Little and her daughter nipper. was about 10 years old, which now makes me feel incredibly old. But uh, there but it, it's a really it. smashing community mm. and the idea of the craft along exactly what Dee was showing you mm -hmm. in the video is the fact that you you buy the product that mm -hmm. we launched yesterday there's a bundle yeah. it's available individually as well but since Clarity's got all these strands now so we've got stamps we've got groovy we've got dyes mm -hmm. and we've got stencils mm -hmm. so all four of those product strands are within that two-hour masterclass okay right now if you don't want to do the groovy yeah if you're not you know you're anti that's fine good for you that's fine right then don't buy the groovy you yeah. can do it individually however the the bundle is the savings isn't, isn't it value, very yeah. much so and and to be honest i think that the the whole idea of the class again is to stretch you a little bit and if you even if you don't you know you don't need the starter kit even if you, you just need the parchment mm -hmm. and a tool and you can follow us anyway you yes, know sir. now the class um, the, the craft along is going to be on the 17th of february yes. is that right now you've only got up until yeah. the 6th of february to take advantage of the deal that we've got on your screen because you will get a five pound voucher that's right um, within that term deal and it has to be up until the 6th of um, february and also what we're saying if you leave it beyond that date we can't guarantee that we're going to get everything to you in time we'll get it to, we'll get it to you you're fast try, as yeah. soon as you get uh, your order to us we'll yeah. get it to you but if you do it before then then obviously you've got it there you'll also get your shopping list as well yeah so what we've done is we've listed all the things that are in the four projects that i'm okay. going to do in the two hours mm -hmm. um 
Um, and what, what we're going to do is we're going to include this in the bundle. Okay, lovely. So if you look at this, you'll see exactly. These are your essentials. Okay. This is when you're doing the stencil. This is for the groovy. This is for the... I'm trying to read it here. The three-way yeah. overlay stamp. I mean, a beautiful project. So what you do is when you get your bundle, you'll look at this list and you'll go, right, got it, got it, got it, ain't got it, got it, got it, got it, ain't got it, got it, got it, got it, ain't got it. And the ones that you haven't got, then you can either gather it, uh -huh. put it all together in a basket, ready yeah. for the big day, or you go online onto mm -hmm. Hochanda and you buy the bits in the shop. In the There's a section. special brand section okay. for Craft Along, and that's where you apply that voucher. Love that idea. And I love it because you give us a general overview here, but then there's things like specific um, colour tones in with each of those projects as so well. So somebody asked on Facebook about yesterday the artistry, about the yeah. artistry. Right, it's the golden turmeric, the little artistry box. Okay. But the thing is that I use it for I use it for the stamps, I use it for the stencils, and then I use it on the groovy as well. Certainly so it's again, the same little views. set of ink Ooh, pads that I'm using all through the projects. Yeah, We're going to do that, you yeah. know. It's been very, very popular already, and it's, been, it's popular through this hour too as well. Is so FlexiVise as well, so cool. if you want to get involved, then you can do. Don't forget, put that date in your diary. Um, and of course, it's exclusive of us here as well, so if you wanted to go back and oh, watch it, only it you can do. Yeah, so you can't, you can't no, get hold of that No, and you can't anywhere. buy that bundle anywhere else except through Hochanda. Okay. And I think in deference to Hochanda, if they're good enough to give us, come on, it's what we wanted. We wanted time to not be buying, not be badgered. It's just we want to learn. Class. You want to sit at home craft and you know that's mm. what we want so to show our appreciation to Hochanda because it costs a lot of money to run a mm -hmm. channel like this so what we're going to do is we're going to drive all the bundle sales through the channel to maximise on that mm -hmm. so that the boss knows that it's worth doing. Definitely. And then there'll be more of it. I hope there is. I hope there is. Right, let's get stuck in the okay? details on your screen there if you fancy taking advantage of that. But of course we're here because it's a one day special and we've got such a fabulous deal that Barbara and the guys have bought to us. Now look at this. Okay, so again we're going to take our, our aperture die and then we're going to turn it, aren't we? Okay. We're going to turn it into something else. How many glasses can she wear at the same time there's a question right so if we have a look at this now let's have a look and I want to show you how you can take a die like this so let's see we're going to take this one here okay and we're going to turn it into that okay. right yeah, so I'm intrigued so that's quite good isn't it yeah so I'll show you how that works and you can see here what we've got to do is literally take that corner uh -huh. so I'm going to show okay. you how we do this I mean I'm a novice to this so I'm you know this is stretching me but as you well know, this is good though because there'll be people out there that will be on that journey with you they yeah. have been stampers with you they'll have got into groovy with that's you right. and now they're getting into die cutting with you that's right and they, uh, Paul and I were talking about it this morning you know there is a there is a point when you're doing this where you don't know what you're doing mm. and you can call it incompetence but it's, it's it I isn't it's incompetence, exciting. it's an exciting yeah. phase. Because it's like, there's a blank canvas now, mm -hmm. and now we can learn, That's you know. It, yeah. and, and the thing is, when you come in with an open mind, what I find is, I see things that possibly, because I don't know what I'm doing. You're looking at it with a fresh I'm looking, pair of eyes. Yeah, mm -hmm. but I'm looking at it with a fresh pair of eyes, with my stamping experience, with all my other mm -hmm. craft experience. And sometimes you see things that That's perhaps true. the person that only does dyes That's doesn't, true, you yeah. know, is, hasn't now, noticed. I've noticed you've drawn some lines on here already. Yes. So what I've done here is I've taken a ruler and I've just taken, I've just drawn from corner to corner okay. on a piece of white card that is uh, three and a half by three and a half, let's okay. just say. Okay. So what I've done is I've taken a piece of uh, stencil card and I've turned it, I've cut it into quarters. Perfect. Right. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I'm just going to, let me just turn this look like I turn it round does that make any difference <laughs> and what I'm going to do is just put this to there let me just get a piece of okay, okay. right I don't think it's going to make a difference. Just make sure yeah. the dye isn't overhanging. Yeah, that's it. Just in case. You don't want it to suddenly disappear. Actually, into the I'm going to turn it round from this side because okay. I can see more what I'm doing. Yeah. And what we're going to do is just tip that that edge to the corners. Do you mm -hmm. see? Yeah. Like that. Okay. And then I'm just going to hold that in place so that it doesn't move while I'm working. Okay. Right. That'll do. Hold on. I told you I was a novice at this, but you know what? That's the point of it. I'm just. It's all about sharing experience as well and finding what works for you. I know that you've we go. got that additional little kind of shim in there to help yeah, as well. Yeah, that's it. So that's the first thing. Mm -hmm. We're going to hold that in place. So I'm not going to do all four. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> don't worry. I don't mind if you do all four, to be honest. Barbara. Right, so we're going like a lovely that. time. And we'll do the first one. 
and then that will set the pace for the next one. Love it. Right, so I've put my frosty shim down. I use a Gemini, but you can use any of the dyes. Okay, no way for thin dyes, so the majority of dye cutting machines, you shouldn't have an issue with those there. Right, so then I'll pop that through my machine. Right. Lovely. You can use, as I say, any of the machines. Okay, wonderful. Um, the idea with the pencil marks, you won't see them anyway, they'll be gone. Okay. I hear that familiar cracking noise. Yeah. I love the way that you've got the frame, but you've got your interchangeable sentiment as well. That's the key thing, because you've got t 10 different dies within here. Um, five of your frames and five of your sentiments, but of course you can swap those around, so there's lots of different possibilities. Exactly. But what I'm trying to do here is show you another use. So we're taking, we're taking a corner, and then we're... Let's just turn this around so I can take that out so you can see it from here. So we'll lift this out. And then we're just going to tease this out of here, and you can see it comes out really easily. These are a great little contraption, aren't they? What are they called? Pokey tools, or they're um, from um, Spellbinder, aren't they? Yeah, the um, oh, I forget what it's called. Now. Tool in one, I think it is. Tool That's in right. one. Yeah, I think it's on the, um, the side. So you can see there, you've already got your first one, haven't you? And and this is so easy. Then you turn to the next one. Well, I would suggest then. First of all, you need to definitely clean out all the bits. Okay. So we'll just take See, out... I love that as a little pocket to go on the front of a card. It's nice, an invitation it? or something like that. We did that last day. night. Oh, yeah, 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 I did that. I cut that out of a, we oh, a wedding invitation, like a little accent yeah. on the side. Nice. It looks really nice. Just butt that up further to mm, the card. It looks yeah. really cool. See, so then you've done that one. So we'll get rid of all the bits. Let me yeah, show okay. you. And then you just go to the next one. So you just keep going, right? Mm, okay. Now let me fast forward... Let's pretend I've done three already, because it's the fourth one that's the challenge. Okay. Right? So, what we, so we've done three like that. Mm -hmm. Now, what you want to do now is make sure, just, I'm not going to, excuse my head while I look at this. No, okay. I, see, if I go too far over on the top, mm -hmm. then I'll cut it, I'll, I'll spoil it. Okay. So it's better to be touching, let's just touch the white like that. It's better to have a little bit showing, and I'll explain, I'll explain why in a moment. Okay. You can... Sometimes you get little slivers of white between the... You just cut them away. Kind of like little wispy hairs. Little almost. wispy hairs. Yeah. Well, you could be, be bigger than a wispy hair as well. <laughs> Tend to hair, pick your hair. Because <laughs> you're going to cut it away, aren't you? But let's just see if this works. And what we'll do is we'll just run the fourth one through now. And that way we'll get our, our aperture. I love it. Have we had any responses yet to um, those collectors? Oh, they're all being a bit shy this morning. Ah. Uh, <laughs> well, I know that... I've been writing those letters every month for at least 22 years, oh, I think. That's so. a lot of letters. A lot of um, letters well yeah. over 60% of the stock of the one day special having so, gone already. So, uh, yeah, if you're wanting to get hold of it, do get hold of yours while you have the opportunity. Right, so let's have a look what's happened here. If I turn this over, what I'm hoping is that when I lift this away, I will have a circle because, there we are, you see, it's attached. Okay. And that's a great example of what I was talking about. Let me just tease this out. I don't want to tear oh, it because it's delicate. Beautiful. Right, so we'll take that out. So we've made this lovely, delicate mandala. Now, you see this? Uh -huh. That's good. Be better to have that than for it to be cracked open. And then all you're going to do then is just go in here and snip away these little bits. Do you see? Yeah, you're so right. That is easier to do, isn't it? It's than, easier to yeah, do that than... The yeah, exactly. And so you snip these little bits away... There we go. And you won't see them, you see. So even if you're out a little bit, the fourth one's always the trick to get in right. That is beautiful, little mandala. Isn't that nice? That is really pretty. See that little bit there? I mean, it's a bit out of whack, but it's, it's so del delicate and detailed. Yes. Nobody's going to notice anyway. Oh, no. Not like somebody. It's only us. Us perfectionists. Oh, well, then we're all those, aren't we, as well? So possibly. there's that one, let's say. Let's have a look at that. Wow. Right? Beautiful. Or... Let me take that one away. We're going to carry on working with that one, but check this one out. Ooh. So it's the same principle, exactly the same principle, using one of the larger corners. Nice idea. Like that. Yeah. So Beautiful. it's the same thing, isn't it? It's the same principle. Yeah. And what I would suggest is when you, when you do this, right, when you get to this point, my, my suggestion is that you do that one, then that one. Do so you do north, south, east, west okay yeah you do it that way around and then you'll find um it's just it just otherwise it, if you go that way you might not end up at the right yeah yeah, yeah. okay sense. it's just a balance thing isn't it it's easier on the eye so that's that lovely right we'll just clean that that die out because i do 
and you know, looking at the dyes, they are a beautiful it. quality, now, which I wanted not to come mention. Now, across your dyes before, because yeah. there's something quite unique about the coating that you've got on here. This is something yeah. that was heavily researched by you guys. Yep. Yeah, beautiful. It's coated. It's like a, a, a non-stick mm -hmm. coating. And it works beautifully. You saw it. Did they just fall just out? Away, yeah. Well, when we made these dyes, Hayley, I've never been in the dye world before. And because I kind of stay in my lane, I wasn't aware that... So when everybody was going, cool, these are good quality, I thought, well, why wouldn't, why wouldn't it all just yeah, fall out yeah. like that? Because I assumed that's mm -hmm. what it's supposed yeah. to do. Apparently not so. No, it's not always um, the case. Not always the case. So, so I'm... Happy to say that this coated uh, makes a difference. Makes a big this, difference. Yeah. That's it. Right. Lovely. So we've got that. Now let's go back to our card and have a look at what we're actually. So now this needs to sit on here. Lovely. What you'll see as well, since we're now a dye company as well, you'll see here. You see that lovely pico edge. You know those Pico Beautiful, dyes? Yeah. Right, and so they kind of came out around um, the groovy system really they initially, did. but using them in paper craft, they look so beautiful. beautiful. Yeah. So let's have a look at that. And I want to add that now to the next to the next thing. So again, die cutting. Because if we're appealing to uh, the die cutting audience, I know that a lot of you bought these um, these uh, pico dies. Oh yes, yeah. Yeah. Well, uh, pico cutting. If you if you're into your parchment, you'll know how time time consuming it is. I mean, it's a beautiful result. And there's certain situations where you will still use your pico cutting, but of course, sometimes if it's like that outer parameter, you want to do it quickly and easy. It's exactly. that intricate inner work that you'll obviously do with your your little snips. Oops, a daisy. Oh dear. You're right. Morning. Morning, Fiona. Hi. <laughs> nice hair. Such a haircut. <laughs> <laughs> right. I tell you what. I just did Haley as well. You know when you keep the plates keep going through, yes. they start to bow a little okay. bit. So then lining up on here is a mm -hmm. bit of a challenge. Yeah. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to line it up on the on the poly sheet yeah. so it's flat. Because okay. now what I want to do is cut. You can always cut things out separately, but I don't want to waste the card. This mm -hmm. is designer card. Nice. Right, really nice card because this is going to be the background, isn't okay, it? Okay, yeah. Right, so what I'm going to do is cut the circle out of the bit behind as well, oh, waste not, so want not. When they talk about gutting the card, that's kind is of... Is that what it's that's called? That's they call it gutting. It's not a very nice phrase. It's not a very though, nice it? expression, no, is it? No. Mm. Let's just say waste not, want yeah. not. <laughs> that sounds much like nicer, gutting a fish, isn't it? Oh, no, it's not, no, it's not right. nice. Okay. Think of another way to put it, really, but yeah. You know what I mean. I do. Right, so we'll hold that like that because then this is going to be hidden by that. Okay. So it wants to be in the middle as much as we can get it in mm -hmm. the middle. In fact, let me just put one thing at a time. Let's do this. Right, so that's in the right place. Yeah, Let's get all that right. Okay. Right, because while we're at it, if we wanted to, we could even put. Oh, oh no, we can't. Don't be stupid, Gray. I was going to put a word in the middle, but then I'd have well, a great big hole in there. Somewhere, couldn't you? Yeah, thanks, Haley. Do you know what? I love this girl. Yeah, I was thinking there must be a way I could put a. You know, if I wanted yeah. to put a message in the middle yeah, with the same word, do, yeah. so then you could take your. You could take a message. Let's say thinking of you. Lovely. Right, and we could take thinking of you. And we could pop that down there as well. And that's it. And be then, as frugal as you like, really, with those, can't you? Because you could probably get a couple And you on put another one on there yeah, as well. That's right, yeah. Right, but this is all I want to do now. No problem. When you're a beginner, we have an expression at Clarity keep it simple, stupid. Kiss. <laughs> right? <laughs> I love that. Kiss and and then, and Sean at work, he always talks about vanilla. <laughs> okay, oh, yes, vanilla. vanilla yeah. Let's just go vanilla. Yeah. All right. Nothing too everybody complicated. else is doing, you know, yeah. the most exotic. <laughs> And he just sits and listens and he goes, let's just do vanilla, shall we? <laughs> so keep it simple. And when you're starting out, I think it's a good idea, don't you? <laughs> this is it. Right, well, so I hope this works. Um, while Barbara's loading this ready to go into the die cutting machine, we have got people that have got involved with the craft along. And do you know what? They're not in the UK. Oh, hey, really? We have European viewers. Oh, good morning. Um, from Italy. Oh, people my goodness. Italy, so that's fabulous. And what was the name of the lady involved? Jan. Jan, welcome on board. Jan. Going international with our craft along. I hope you speak English, Jan. Oh, well, Jan, Jan yes, must yes, do. Yes. Just well, lives in Italy. In, so, yeah, yeah, brilliant. And I know our Emily is in the gallery, can't speak Italian, so she must have emailed in, <laughs> in English. They were okay. <laughs> exciting isn't, isn't it? it i can't wait i do i love it and i think you know our little clarity community is growing oh isn't it just yeah. and they're such a year fabulous on year. people they share their ideas and yeah check out on social media there's a whole group loads of inspiration there's always groovy worldwide there to help you. you know and if you go into groovy worldwide you're not alone then you know so here we are look there's the circle lovely yeah groovy worldwide clarity worldwide there's always somebody there to help you and uh 
Right, let's take this one. So Jesus. see if Paul's got an idea, right? <laughs> you go like that. Oh, that's clever. <laughs> Ta-da! He did it five times yesterday, it never fell out. I said to him, I said, I'll tell you what, Paul, don't do it in the plastic, do it on the hard... <laughs> we'll call it the church drop. <laughs> Sounds like a dance move, doesn't it? <laughs> it's great, isn't it? Right, so which bit are we using? We're using this bit. Hang on, let me just get all my bits out of the way. That's it. See... I love the learning process well, this of this. Is it. That's where you know? all those creative juices start flowing and getting excited by it. And yeah. I really was quite resistant to dyes in the mm -hmm. day, years yeah. ago, mm -hmm. you know. Um, but now, uh, yeah, change, you know. Well, this it's is it. Lovely. Things develop, um, ideas, concepts. And they dyes do. develop as well because there were a time when you couldn't get this intricacy within dyes. No, so it would never have worked. No, no, that's right. Right, so let's have a look at what we've got now. We've got all our elements here, haven't we? So I've got that piece, which is going to be the back. Mm -hmm. Then that's going to sit on there like so, right? Covering our hidden circle. There you go. The gutted bit. Yep. Don't know about that. Yeah, right. that I, I, I think I, I, the, the jury's out on that. <laughs> right, so then we've got that bit. And then, where's my masterpiece? And then that goes on there like so. So yes, that's not bad at all, there. is that it? That is beautiful. Right. And that then gives you the finished piece. And then we've got the card blanks, which I think are, well, these are absolutely well, invaluable. I don't know why. These. You get all of these, Barbara. You get, there's the double it's bubble loose. there. There's a double stop. stop okay. There. So you'd get half sizes, as much. So but you get the... 10, I think it's 10 white, 10 black, well, yeah. in 5 by 5, 6 by 6, 7 by 7, and 8 by 8. You do indeed. Do you and get what, 80 in total? There we are. Look at those, brilliant. It's a really, really good. And what I what I did was I separated the envelopes away because okay. I know that we don't always I've got a I've got a room full of envelopes. Do you know I'm always giving well, them away. You'd rather have, spend that money on the card, which is the important bit. Because often that's where you make we them. cut the card up yeah, and yeah. we'll use two of this to every envelope, yeah. and then over a period of time you yeah. end up with a lot glut of envelopes. Yeah. So um, actually, on that subject, we were going to do something with the envelope later as well. Okay. Now um, details for the envelopes at the bottom of the screen if you're wanting those as well. So really, assembly. I'm not big on assembly, but clearly all we're going to do now is take a, a glue runner. Yeah. Like we can run a glue runner. This, these are great. These, um, oh, the little tape runners at Crafters Companion Printers. These are brilliant. We've got these on the website. They're well, always a, a standard item on there. That's it. Let's Go on. I've got to try. When in doubt, well, another one. the end of that one. Is it ended? I think it might come to an end. Right, okay. Out. Here we go. This is better. There you go. Right. So you just, we'll just put this one down on the... I've got to kind of layer okay. it up, haven't I? So we'll do this one. And when you start layering up, you think, well, actually... Bit by bit, you, other ideas come to you because you think, well, I like that as an that opening. That is pretty, yeah. Doesn't that look nice? Yeah. So that, just forget all that fussy stuff. Yeah. You know, that on its own, wouldn't that look nice with a little landscape, like nice. a little stamp? You know, yeah. here we go. Right, so that's a nice opening idea, isn't it? But that's not where we, that wasn't our plan, right? So then what we were going to do was put that one on there, mm -hmm. wasn't it? So we do that next. Lovely. Right. So there's another quarter piece. So there's not a big expense attached to this. Once you've got the the, the um, machine mm -hmm. the dies and, and the, the dies, the you're off and running, really. Can I ask you? as well, if people want to make their cards and sell these, whether they're fundraising or for their own little kind of cottage Perfect. industry, is that okay? Absolutely. Absolutely. These are the kind of cards that people do like with that gorgeous delicacy in there. Well, the thing about them is they look so uh, professional. They do, yeah. You know, they look mm -hmm. so professional. And I've got, so I've got some brads from, I don't know how many years ago, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Just because I think this looks really nice. Okay. And then what I'm going to do, the, the last thing I want to do, I want to attach this to this before I put the brad on, because okay. otherwise it will swivel. Yeah. So I'm just going to use uh, PVA glue, not mm -hmm. that much, grey, just a few dots. That's this it. is going to be like it's a club sandwich, like a mayonnaise here. <laughs> and it's always good to get um, a dries clear and a dries matte glue as well, because sometimes if you are popping it on, it can ooze out and, and you that's don't want to see kind of that, yeah. Mayo, the mayo effect. Exactly, that's <laughs> it, that goes everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> right, there you go. And this is, yeah, so this will do though for now, won't it? That's it, perfect. Right, so we'll do that and then we'll just... Let that dry, mm -hmm. white, normally, but I'm just, I'm, a, I'm on a roll here because I've got other things to do as well. well. this is it. So we'll set that on there like so. Beautiful. Right, and then that, I'm going to put, just put my finger underneath, sling that away. Old habits die hard. And then I'm going to find the centre, because mm -hmm. I know it's got a bit, ah, don't draw blood. 
Right. This is where this I is where Paul said, "Use the soft white mat." I said, yeah, I what? always remember a certain kids' show when they got to the crafting section. They had a little ball of plasticine that they used to push into. Well, that's why I was going to use the back of that, and then I thought, I haven't got time. It's all right. It's red. <laughs> right, and then we'll just add a little bit more of this to that. And that's how we build up our front. Oh, that's front. beautiful. And you know what? That's a perfect demonstration for anybody that's completely, completely new to new. die cutting. Yeah, I thought that was beautiful. quite advanced. <laughs> no, 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 because it's what I'm saying is what you've done is brilliant there because you've shown it's, it is simple. What you've just done there is brilliant. Oh, bless her. <laughs> I was quite proud of that. Oh, you are. You should be as well. It's really I simple. Know. <laughs> no, simple and simple. easily, easily done at different stages. I've had a sleepless night trying to work that out. <laughs> A bit of there we go. <laughs> <laughs> um, of course, the one day, so you made me blush now, Barbara. But... Oh, Do you know the you. trouble that you've just caused with that? <laughs> <laughs> the details are on your screen for your one day special. You want more ideas, more inspiration on how you can be working with your one day special, then why not check out what the design team have been up to? I'm going to get lynched now. <laughs> fresh ideas and that's exactly what you're getting with your fresh cuts gorgeous intricate detail but cuts through with that clarity reassurance that you know that they are going to cut every single time now when we started the show this morning we were telling you that um, nearly 60% of the stock had gone now we are rapidly approaching 70% of the stock with regards to a one day special we have got brand new dies brand new floral frames and these are lovely because you've got 10 dies in total now I'm sure you'll be able to see that you've got five of those die sets because you've got separate sentiments but as Barbara just showed us the frames that you're going to be able to create with these don't have to be frames you can make them into whatever you want them to be using that knowledge that you will gain uh, through using dies if you're a new die cutter then you are going to be able to have all sorts of incredible results but just using them simply as they were intended you are going to get beautiful results time and time again and then of course you can go on to create in the way that Barbara's just shown us very similarly but using one of those other dies you can get this kind of result so there's no frame involved at all but you've got all of those elements using one of those larger corners now, if you like working with your stencils, if you like getting your inky results, then here's another one showing you where you can get those wonderful results with your inks, with your tags, with your embellishments. But you can see that that sentiment has been used there along with those little elements to the side. In the video, we finish with a fabulous card there. Thank you, thank you, thank you. What a lovely card. Love that almost like tree element that you've got in the centre here. Now, of course, we are talking about the one day special with that largest saving of £15, but they are available individually too as well if you wanted to. Now, happy birthday that is the only one you can't get hold of individually and to be honest with that saving um it's almost well it's almost like you're getting that one as a bonus really isn't it it's the only way you can get that happy birthday so if there are a few of these that you're looking at and you're thinking i'd, I'd like to get a couple of those keep an eye on your flexi buy because you might find that if you're just adding a couple into your basket then you're going to be close to that first initial flexi buy on the whole of the one day special but of course you will have all five sets 10 dies for you to get so creative with as well absolutely beautiful what else have we got in here oh we looked at something oh see this one's sim simply just taking um, an element here and popping it onto a, a square card beautiful papers get beautiful results because it's the dies that are doing all that intricacy all that beautiful work you can go quite funky with these colors too as well get them involved with the clarity papers that we've been talking about too as well and of course they are gorgeous pieces of art in their own right as well so you could even pop them into picture frames like so imagine a little photograph sat in the middle there perhaps a wedding day photo or it could be a child's birth birth it could be whatever you want it to be 
absolutely beautiful designs. Now the details on your screen are for all of those dies um, together. Ten dies, um, £29.98 being your initial flexi buy. Second payment will go out in a month's time, but it means you will get hold of everything. Do consider other items that we've got in the show as well. We're very, very busy um, for that um, craft along that we've got coming up next month, but we've got more dies to share with you as well. Well, these dies are all part of a fabulous subscription, and this is something that's a new thing for 2019 um, with regards to fresh cut dies and every single month you will get a fabulous dye but it's top secret you're not going to know what it looks like there's no sneaky previews there's no spoilers with these everybody will get theirs dispatched at the same time so everybody will be able to take advantage of that surprise element initially and of course you've got all that fabulous detail that we've just been chatting about with regards to the dyes the um, clean cup with those the coating on there to mean that they fall away absolutely beautifully and of course you've got the tuition now the tuition comes by the way of a wonderful little um, sheet that comes with it and this is brilliant because you've got a little kind of shopping list on the back there telling you the things that you need to create those projects as they are within this um, booklet but of course you can adapt these to whatever you want them to be but then you've got your inspiration using that die don't forget you're going to get a die worth 10 pounds with every single one of those um, issues but then you've got two projects in this particular edition we've got two projects from Paul and two projects from Barbara there as well so giving you lots and lots of different ways that you can work with these and I love this the innies and the outies that Barbara has gone here absolutely beautiful you are getting that but then what about those dies what about those little um, booklets that you're getting where do you store them well do you know what they thought of that too as well getting this fabulous little folder which will give you the ability to store everything it's even nice when you hold it the right way around um, you can see there issue number one their little pocket with the die in there too as well so everything is collectible within that folder you're also going to get that um, fabulous newsletter the January edition giving you a little sneaky peek of what other things that are going to be coming up in the future as well so so if you want to be in the whole of that fabulous fresh cut loop, then this is the way to do it. Two flexi buys of £60 each if you're wanting to go down that route, and lots of you taking advantage of that already. Now craft along the 17th of february is going to be a very important day here at achanda because barbara is going to be teaching us for two hours on her own nobody's going to be there with her there's not going to be anybody reading out those irritating numbers and giving those stock updates um, and janice is going to be here crafting alongside i can't wait to see that now if you want to get involved then it's going to be on the um, 17th of february um, we've got a fabulous bundle for you you're going to need these items to get you started there's some additional bits and pieces that you'll be told about within the actual bundle when it arrives but if you get involved before the 6th of February then you, and get yours ordered then you'll actually have a five pounds voucher ready for you to use too as well and you can spend on um, that on the shop online you're even going to get your parchment you're going to get all the tools there so I love it there's loads in there can't wait to see that come together um, at 269 at 634 if you fancy being a part of that and you've got your two flexi buys on that hopefully if you guys out there like it we will be seeing more of these not only with our lovely Barbara but perhaps with some of our other crafting experts too as well yeah, well, I was having a little chin wag like with pioneer. Leonie this morning, yeah. and she's right up for it. Oh, gosh, yeah. Because so. we don't have enough time in an hour to, to cover everything. I no. know you're here t for two hours once a month. I'm the only show yeah, of the yeah, month that yeah. has a two-hour session mm. because I argued it and said, oh, I can't, I'm getting too old to, to do it all in an hour. I need two hours. <laughs> oh, so, yeah, get involved with that craft along. I'd really enjoy that. I, I think you'll look forward to what that. What are we up to next? Right, now, so what we're going to do now is I, I wanted to show you this particular die so this is your on your special day so when you look at this it look it's one die two dies but really these are these are separable as well mm -hmm. so you've got lots of options lovely here. and we're going to use this particular one and I want to use it but if you look at the die it's got a large and a small corner but when you look at the artwork that I want to do with you you've got two large corners oh, yes. so I want to show you how that's done okay okay because it's not this is actually attached so let me show you how I've done that okay, and wow. then also um, we've changed the words because obviously the words are all interchangeable mm -hmm. aren't they so we'll take this die this is a really simple one Hayley <laughs> I'm keeping quiet now. Don't and say also, a thing. in case we run out of time because I'm so slow right this here is the bit that I cut off from here so you can use to make the envelope to embellish it. Isn't that classy That's that that classy. comes in? I think so. Okay. Little things.
I often wonder when we make these things whether we do it for us or we do it for the recipients. I get Ooh. a right little buzz off little things Sometimes like that. Sometimes they are hard to part with, aren't they, the things that we make? Uh, isn't that true? Mm. I always make it and then I have to make it again. Just one for yourself. Yeah. <laughs> right, so let's get going. And what we're going to do first, let me just get my act together here. I think it's easier for the good people at home to see the plates okay. if I don't do it on a black mat. No problem. I don't really see much. So we'll take our, our mat. Again, I'm pitching this at the, at the newcomer, right? So I've got a piece of card. Now, in the Shenandoah Petites, there's one piece that we look at and we think, oh, that's a bit busy. When I made it, you can see I had a straw and I blew the alcohol ink around okay. and it ended up being quite vibrant. Mm -hmm. But I think a lot of us just glaze over that one because it's a bit complicated mm -hmm. and we think it's a bit loud. So what I've done is I've cut it to a square, okay. right? And this is going to be, this is the back square. So let, if I show it to you logically, see that's the size okay. of the one at the back. Nice, There's yeah. two layers here, mm -hmm. just so you know. Right, so let's do this one first. And I'm just going to pop this in the centre. That's got to be put in the centre. And we'll cut this one out first. That's all I need to do. And this is the one behind. So this white card on here is that white card. I think the thing is with telly, often you can't see the layers. This is it, kind of so this is that. Down. There's, no, there's, no, uh, there's no white layer in the middle here. Do you, do you know what I mean? Yeah, well, you kind of got, that, that's the, the card, isn't it? That's the yeah, back of the card. Yeah, exactly. The card so you could put your finger through, through Yeah, that. if it wasn't stuck down, you could put your finger through You could put right your finger straight <laughs> through it like that. <laughs> right, so now we've done that, then we've got our, our sandwich again. Okay. And I'm going to use the rubber, sh the magnetic shim, just as a shim rather than as a magnet. Okay. Okay. And then we'll just pop that through there. Lovely. I could take out of the centre, I could be taking messages, you know, yeah. I could be cutting messages out. True. We'll just keep those. But I've got to concentrate. <laughs> but you could, couldn't you? You could. In the, in the, you know, in the comfort of your own home, you could mm -hmm. be making, look, loads of little messages like this. So this is it, because you can, and, and you've got look, look, all look in all here. Those, I mean, yeah, this is so lovely. All the scraps, bring it pieces. over. There you go. There you go. Look, I've got loads of them, mm -hmm. you see? And then you just put them in there. Paul and I have been collecting them. We're going to have a sale. <laughs> put them into little bags. Oh, oh, <laughs> right, so then we take all this off. Uh, 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 uh. And then this then will be the, the outside one. Okay. And then all we're going to do, I'll fast forward them. Mm -hmm. So we'll take this one and then we'll lift this off here. Look, easy, isn't it? Look at that, just look so that one away. comes to there. Beautiful. And then if I wanted to, realistically, See, that just sits on there nicely, as a, just, just yeah. like that, really. Mm -hmm. But what we're trying to do is put this to there as well. Okay, so it's just yeah. a question of how we do that, mm -hmm. right? So what we're going to do next is do another layer okay. over the top of this. So to do that, let me just get rid of all this stuff. Right, uh, where's my... There you go, tool in one. Tool in one, thank you. And my... So tidy, Barbara. Well, the thing is, if you don't take the little bits, one thing I figured out is if you don't take the little bits out that are in the in the die, then when you go to use it again, which I'm just mm -hmm. about to, then it doesn't cut properly mm -hmm. because you've got little bits of debris in yeah, there. That's good. So yeah, there we are. The things we learn. Well, this is it. It's all part of that learning process, isn't it? And also, you know, one, I'm really lucky because I've got some really, I've got friends who know. If mm. I don't know, I've got a friend who does. But then and you don't also, be afraid to ask. You've got knowledge um, and expertise in other areas where they might not have it. So that kind of pooling of ideas. That's it. But what's brilliant but what's nice is that you do you do share. Mm. You know, mm. why wouldn't you? Goodness yeah. me. Right, so I'll take that because it's curly. Okay. And now I want to do two of these together because now, it, logically, what I'm going to do now is just explain. It's the top layer that okay, I want so to create. Okay, so the one create. with the little frame. The one with the little... So that's got to be a little bit smaller than this one, that's okay. all. So now we're going to do another one out of the same card, which, you know, is quite loud, isn't it? But lovely. Oh, yeah, definitely. Now, of course, you're using the inner die is the one from the one day special. But then we've got the outer frame, the square die. Whereabouts does that come from? That comes from the nested squares. Okay. Thank you for asking. Because our all our dies are apertures, aren't mm -hmm. they? So that that's the nice thing. It's like what we were showing there, that it just cuts a mm -hmm. hole out. Um, so what we need in order to... I've got them here. In order to make 
the cut around yeah. the outside, we need the nested squares. This is brilliant because you've got 11 dies in here. And this is brilliant because you're going for that largest size. Six and a half inches being, sorry, six inches being the hard, um, the, yeah, six inches being the largest one. And they're half inch steps um, right the way down to the little one inch one there. And to be honest, a little tiny die like that, I, I don't know if I've seen the dies going that far, that many increments down. If you're wanting these, the details are on your screen. There are also other sets, which are circles and ovals and rectangles. And these are going to be some of those basics that you will collect over time. So if the squares are the first ones that you want to get hold of, then that's fine. The details are on your screen. And of course, because it's um, uh, five pounds or more, even if you're going for this on its own, with our Flex Travaganza, you can actually spread that cost over two payments as well or add it in with your one day special you've got your two flexi order by, uh, payments too as well that way so because this is going to fall away i'm okay. not going to need this am i so what i can do is i can put love and best wishes in there take now and take it out of that space yeah, as well just to give you a little bit of time check and um, barbara i've got about nine minutes left oh that's plenty i'm not that slow <laughs> <laughs> I didn't mean anything by it. It's all right. We're good friends. <laughs> the, you can get away with it when yeah, you friends. can, of course. Yeah. Right. I think so, the youngsters call it bants. Banter. Bants. Is well, it? Not banter. Not banter. It's bants with a Z. Oh no. You asked Charlie. You asked Charlie. Yeah. I hope I haven't slid this. Right. Okay. Bants. Bants. Yeah. Oh. My kids say joshing. I'm joshing, just joshing just with joshing. you. <laughs> yeah. That would be Don't josh with someone else. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, language is changing, isn't it? Yeah, well, I know it's a big, it's a big area for you because, of course, that's going right the way back. I mean, you, the thing I love about Barbara is she's got such a diverse um, history. You, you were involved with language schools many, many years ago. I was, yeah. I ran a language school in Nuremberg yeah. for many years. Yeah. I owned it. And, uh, and you know, it's funny because now with the translating, all the computerised oh, translation, gosh, yeah. and I remember back in the day we were really anxious as translators, you know, German. We thought, oh, no, we're going to all be redundant now. Mm -hmm. And here we are, what, 25 years on mm -hmm. since the first computerized Google translate well you know translate and uh, and they still need us they still do. need the human touch and I think that's so I true I knew it would never <laughs> work you do ever use one of those translators it's online. funny isn't it? <laughs> it's if I ever feel a little bit despondent <laughs> I think oh let's go and do a little bit of a let's have a bit of fun <laughs> and then I look at the translator it's very fun I enjoy it I enjoy it especially when you speak two languages and yeah. you can see what's happening <laughs> and you can see both sides of the yeah. of the of the, of the water yeah. it is funny. yeah I love it yeah, so, um, right, so there, do you want to try yeah, the Yeah, I can do that. Church Should I do trip? that? Yeah. I'll do the church drop. <laughs> Don't need any music for this. <laughs> oh, see, yeah, you can. Do you want the Barbara I touch? I need the Barbara touch. <laughs> <laughs> All right, now we're going to... <laughs> <laughs> Paul had this theory when it didn't work that the dyes expand. I said, yeah, whatever. <laughs> it's very warm in here. You get, studio you, lights yeah, again. Yeah, studio lights again. <laughs> Don't get blamed for everything. <laughs> <laughs> oh, right, let me nice. just... You pick that out and I'll pick this out. No and problem. Then that you, you got it now? I have, yeah. Right. Okay, so we, we're going to get all our bits together. Mm-hmm. Right, and then, we'll, and then we'll go. Love then it. it's a quick assembly job. Beautiful. Really easy. Get rid of all this. We don't... <laughs> <laughs> did it. he get it? I did, did, did. All the other little bits of all of that. So we've got it now. <laughs> right, I'm going to do this on a black mat because I think for our good viewers at home, I think this is easier to see. Right, and this is one of those Christmas puzzles that you <laughs> get in the cracker. in the cracker to separate them. <laughs> right. Okay, so we've got that one and we've got the... Where's the other one? that one here okay so what we're going to do now is we're going to layer that on there that's mm -hmm. it's that simple okay. but in order to do that we need to cut these ones away oh, okay, right yeah so for example all I want to do now and this is where this the the idea of our apertures is always so cool because you can just snip through here that's right? clever. and you just straight line snip it Lovely. and it's tanged just at a certain like that. Mm -hmm. Right, so now I've got rid of that. So that's the bit that I'm going to add to the envelope, isn't it? Waste oh, not, want yes. not. So that's that little bit there. Yeah, yeah. Right? Like so you keep them in a little box. You've done that one. I've already fast forwarded. I've done that one as well. Mm -hmm. So now we've got that one. And now we've got that one. And, and when you. Different look. Right, and then when you take one of your six by six, let's take this six by six um, card blank. Honestly, I, don't, I really don't know how I got on without them before. I chomped yeah. through these. 
They're right, so that's quality. that. They are, because they're good for stamping mm, as well yeah, and stenciling yeah. on. So what I find I do often now is I cut it there and I've got a, a six by six yeah. card blank ready, to, uh, you know, like the piece of card, the card front, mm -hmm. yeah, topper. So that's going to sit on there. That's going to sit on there. Beautiful. And then the words, where's your masterpiece? Okay. Right, so drum this roll, one, please. drum roll, right, I'm going to cut off because, again, love and best wishes, Maybe I'm not feeling that affectionate. Let's get rid of the. Let's get rid of the love. Well, I'm feeling the vibe. Let's lose the love here. <laughs> it won't fit. That's why I'm doing it. Oh, okay. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> so you put best wishes. Lovely. See, and if you if you want to, you can always put love on the envelope or on the inside. Waste not, want not. There's the love, right? That's it. And the and. So put that in there. I, I tell you what, I think it is a, a crafter's condition, isn't it? We don't, we don't throw anything away, do we? Oh, gosh, we? no, definitely It's don't, quite yeah, alarming. Yeah. Are you the same? <laughs> I, if I ever have a clear up, people say, oh, I had to have a black sack day. I have to have a skip day. <laughs> right. Look so there you that. go. So that's how that Beautiful. works. And, you know, I don't need to show you how to stick it down. Mm -hmm. The only thing, the difference between this and that is that all I've done is taken a piece of copy paper mm -hmm. just to separate out because the the designer the Shenandoah designer topper is quite a busy one isn't it, it is. so all you're going to do to make give it a bit more profile if you like is take the edges and a ruler and a bye uh, <laughs> is that a bit important no I hope not okay um, a sharpie pen or a permanent mark a permanent mark pen thank you and then you're just going to take your ruler and just run it along the edge, like a bit of copy paper underneath. Nice. See how you can oh, get wow. a really professional sharp edge. And then you just hold it like that. Now you control how thick you want that black line to be mm -hmm. by, with the ruler. Mm -hmm. You know, you bring the ruler in a bit further. And just in case you're wondering, the ruler is not sitting flush. Yeah. I've got the bevel up, okay. if you know what I mean. Yeah so that I don't cover the ruler in, in black ink. Idea. And also, what that does is, let me show you, if I wanted it way for way for thin, I would literally hold the ruler mm -hmm. on top, like plush, mm -hmm. and then when I tuck it in like that, I get a hairline black. Oh, yes, yeah. So you really can control Switching. whether you want it thicker or thinner, you know. It's a lot. It's a lot easier than trying to layer it up on a. So, so then that goes on there. Then you'd put that on there. You'd do the same to this one. Same again, right? Well, that looks quite good as well, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, so this is. Oh, well, that's nice. <laughs> yeah, I like, I like that. that as well. Yeah. That's a landscape coming along there, but Ooh. that was where we were headed, so that's yeah. where we'll stay, Gray. There we are, and that's the finished Beautiful. card then. I love it. That now we're do. down to the last couple of minutes from this hour. Time is flying away. Um, and I just, this is exactly the same dye that Barbara's been working with, totally different look with it. So Let's this have is a look. the key thing. Using oh, yeah, it, the similar lovely. technique to how you used earlier on. This is D, but, isn't uh, it? Yeah, again, taking those um, flowers as, and just... Isn't that lovely? On that kind of quarter turn what that you did earlier. to see, and Beautiful. she used the corner on the inside. Love it. Classy. Love it. One day special, a fabulous deal. So many different ways you can be able to work with those dyes. Uh, if you want to take advantage and the website might be the best place to go because of course you can add your one day special in add in those fabulous card blanks add in those um, envelopes too as well if you do need them but of course take advantage of our craft along on the 17th of February um, or oh, if you want to get involved with that subscription as well don't forget we are talking about the first edition and you have been loving that subscription so yeah we'll be talking more about that in our one o'clock show but if you do fancy taking advantage there you go you can see the details centre on the screen there are you alright? I'm fine thanks I'm <laughs> It's an age thing. <laughs> now, one day special. Barbara, for anybody that's not into their die cutting, never bought a die before, right. but followed you because of your stamping and your groovy, what would you say to them? I think this is a, a very, very good investment because you've got so much versatility. Mm -hmm. And for starting out, you've got weddings, birthdays, anniversaries, True, yeah. best wishes, get well soon. It's all here. Love it. You know, uh, that's what I think. Um, and it's definitely the way to go. I mean, such an affordable price. You've got a £15 saving. Don't forget that happy birthday is not available available anywhere else now on the website you'll find the others individually but the biggest saving is with your one day special you're going to get all five of these die sets 10 dies in total and an incredible amount of versatility with these barbara you've inspired us yet again thank, thank you, you Hayley, much. and thank you for being such a good oh, friend not a problem at all and of course don't forget we are going to be back with you at one o'clock with more from the one day special then you'll have another opportunity to get hold of your one day special but bear in mind that 70 percent yeah 70 percent of the stock has gone at this stage and it's only going to get busy 
yeah. If you want to take advantage, 208 325. Add in that craft along as well and join Barbara for two hours worth of crafting on the 17th of February. See you in a little while. Bye-bye. Oh, we've got a fabulous day ahead of us here at Chanda. Polka Doodles and the lovely Nikki coming up straight after the break. Oh, and there's another face to be introduced. Then we've got encaustic wax art coming up after that before we're back with the Gemini Zodiac dies. Hello, I'm Paula and I'd like to welcome you to the wonderful world of witchcraft. We're situated in this fabulous building called the Corn Exchange right in the centre of Doncaster and we've been here about 16 years. We're delighted to be working with Hachanda, bringing you lots of fabulous products and demonstrations and hopefully lots of inspiration to help you craft along the way. So join us here soon on Hachanda. Hello, I'm Phil Martin. I've been a paper crafter for 17 years, nearly 18 years now. And what was my hobby became an obsession, much like most of the people who are watching at home. Um, my obsession then led to me looking for products and trying to expand my knowledge base, uh, which is where I couldn't find something. So I thought, right, it's time to do my own. So Sentimentally Yours is my brand of, of photopolymer and rubber stamps. And I also do coordinating paper pads and the Cosmic Shimmer product range that goes along with that. So hopefully with the products that I bring to you, you can work the same way that I do and work in a coordinated way, uh, which helps to achieve the best results that we can get as paper crafters. Really looking forward to seeing you all on Oak Chanda, so please join me for my show where I can share some of my hints and tips with you. Would you like to improve your crafting techniques by watching and crafting along with your favourite Hachanda guest demonstrators or from the comfort of your own home? If the answer is yes, then we are excited to invite you to Craft Along, where you, our presenters and guests, will create an amazing array of projects throughout the year. Each month we will be bringing you a brand new kit that you can purchase on the day of each show. Or if you pre-order your kit, you will receive £5 off a purchase of £20 or more of any additional products featured within our Craft Along brand shop that month. So tune in, be inspired and create with Craft Along, your monthly crafting workshop. Good morning, welcome back to Chanda. Thanks to the ladies for the last hour, and welcome to yes, our final day of Flex Extravaganza. So anything that you buy over five pounds, you can put into two flexes. That's still going on all day today, which is exciting. Let me introduce you to someone that you probably recognise and someone that maybe you don't recognise. Nikki Hall's back with us. Hi. Hi, yeah. How are you? I'm good, thank you. Happy New Year. And you, Happy New Year to you. Seems weird saying it now. It's, I, I know. feel like I've been saying it for ages. It's a week ago now. Yeah. Isn't it? Uh, and the lovely Lou is with us as well. Hello. Welcome for the first time. Thank you very much. Tell us a little bit about yourself and how you two know each other. Um, I met Nikki, well, yeah, briefly in May 2009, and then when I knew she was making polka doodles, I got in contact with her and said, can I be part of your design team? And right. luckily she said yes, and I'm still here. Okay, so now we want you on TV, we want you to do some demos for Nick us Nikki's well, convinced so. me that I need to do a little bit of the demo work, yes. So how long have you been crafting for? Quite a while. Uh, actually, I only really started shortly after starting with Nikki, oh, so yeah. only about ten years, yeah. yeah. I dabbled but not card making or paper crafting as such until then. Is she any good? She's pretty awesome, yeah. Why do you think she's here? I need a rest. <laughs> Absolutely. Well, I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll let Lou go away for a second. We'll come yeah. back with demos in a sec. But we're going to go down the counter to show you the deals that we got for you today from Polka Doodles and from Mickey because this is a brand new bundle now, we are a little bit concerned about the quantity that we have available of these um, because what you're getting is an amazing opportunity to save an awful lot of money. This is your New Year present, really, isn't it? It is, yeah. Yeah. We yes. were, we what are you saving? I know, it's incredible. It, because we were here sort of in December, I thought, right, let's go into the New Year and do a really 
good mega deal um, to try and get everyone back into crafting because we can be a little bit low after Christmas. It's mm. quite hard to kickstart our merger. So hopefully it's a, a really good deal. Well, talk us through what we've got, because we've got stamps, we've got a bit of everything going on yeah, here. Yeah, we you? have. So we've actually got two A5, big A5 stamp sets here for you today. So we've got 33 stamps in total. Wow. And these are quite big stamps. So we've got a set that's themed towards flowers. They, they both work together, but one's sort of more floral, and the other one has these lovely bird designs on them. Um, so these are really pretty, and they're very, very versatile, very quite generic designs that you're going to be able to use for lots of different kinds of occasions. And also you've got them coloured in on the back so that gives you colouring tips if you're yeah, a beginner I always or whatever. Try, yeah, I always try and give you like a little bit of colour inspiration because sometimes I think if you're looking at a, you know, just a black and white image it's quite difficult sometimes to get inspired by that. And these be birds are beautiful so it, it kind of has if you want it to, it can have a little bit of an oriental theme, okay, yeah, um, but that. it's very sort of shabby chic, but we wanted something that would go into spring and give you kind of that, that little kick start to get you moving into your spring crafting after Christmas. So you get your stamps, but then you also get these two paper pads down the bottom as well, which are pretty amazing. And you've got one for spring. And after Christmas, our thoughts do go to spring, don't they? Yeah, really, they do. Actually. Yeah, because obviously, you know, if you're if if you're someone especially that actually makes cards, or not just cards, any kind of project, and you're selling them at craft fairs and things, those craft fairs are going to start come probably March, I would say. Mm -hmm. We're coming up to, you know, we're always thinking ahead in crafting, aren't we, about the next occasion. Yep. So we're kind of thinking forward into, you know, kind of those spring birthdays, but also forward into Mother's Day, maybe. But there's two distinct colour themes going on here, two colour stories. So you've got the really nice, bright and kind of colourful, cheerful spring colours, mm -hmm. but then also we've got more of a shabby chic feel with the gentle song. So it's, it means that you know, you're going to be able to craft all year round with these. It's not just something that's restricted to spring. Sure. And there's 24 sheets in each pad as well, but there's so much more other than that in the bundle because it's all of this over here as well. Now, just a quick word about the savings. 74 95 should be the price. We're saving you with an introductory price, £32 off. And we're also giving you, if you're a Freedom member, another extra discount off that, which takes it to 38 66 And as I mentioned at the start of the show, Flex Travaganza means you can split that into two if you want to. So for less than £20 today, you could have this delivered for 1933 And that's the delivered price today. And then 1933 in four weeks' time, if you want to get this right now and have Flexi. Because it's almost like you're giving all the embellishments for nothing, isn't it, really? Yeah, it is, really. There's a lot in here. So we've got, um, I think it's eight metres of ribbon, lace and these lovely pearl strings. Um, when we put embellishment kits together, I kind of always want it to be, obviously we do it so it's themed with the rest of the products, but also I want it to be really usable. And to me, these, these embellishments are like staple items mm. that you would want in your kit all the time, that you're replenishing constantly. You know, so we're always replenishing our pearls, our beads, our lace, our ribbon. And you know, you ha you've got really generic uh, colours here of ribbons that are really nice and a mixture of different types so you've got the satin the lace and then you've got the, the sort of more uh, grow grain ribbon as well and you've got glitters you've got four colors of glitter there as well super fine glitter in the yeah. little pot so you can see plus a glue pen that's included as well adhesive in that pen there you've got doilies in craft and in white you've got um, craft card at the back here, A4 craft card. You've got uh, some natural ribbon there as well, those kind of natural nature colours, the kind of um, the, the browns and the beiges. You've got wooden embellishments in pink and in white. All of these are real woods, ten of each. Uh, and you've even then got some adhesive gems and pearls there too. It just doesn't, it doesn't end. It goes <laughs> on and on. Yeah, I mean you've got ten, the, the craft card is really heavyweight. This is 350 gram uh, craft card, so it's almost like a construction weight. Oh, it's really yeah, heavy. Yeah, yeah. And you're getting ten sheets of this. So so it is a really, really good value set. And as I said, it's just um, one of those embellishment kits that you, you kind of are going to just keep going to. And it's so useful, so versatile, you know, and it's just those standard items that we all need and we all use on a daily basis. Absolutely. They're not themed as such. They are there for just general everyday use. But with spring a little bit in, in our thoughts at the moment, after Christmas and New Year, this is a perfect set to go for. As we said, we are a little bit concerned. We may not have enough stock for the two shows because Nikki's got two shows and Lou has as well today. So um, get them now. Remember, with Flex Travaganza, it means you don't even pay that £38 and whatever it was, uh, 38 what was it, 38 something 
3866. Uh, yeah, you pay just half of that today, and then, of course, uh, the next half in four weeks' time if you want to spread the cost of this kit into two. Uh, 349392, then, is your item number. Very popular already. You can call for us. Uh, call us if you want it. Nearly 20% of the stock is gone. Or you can order it, of course, on the website as well, which is hachanda.com. And Flexi is there on the website as well as on the phones with the operator as well. But 20% of the stock gone already. I think your fears were right. Mm. Um, now, another bundle we've got for you. We've got these fantastic printed sheets. Now these are, you actually get 24 of these yes. in the bundle and this is brand new today, although the concept you've done before has been very popular. Yeah, absolutely. So we've got um, 24 sheets and this is our A4 topper kit. So these are non-die cut toppers um, and basically the, the reason we designed these is so that you can actually die cut these at home yourselves. So um, each of the toppers are kind of designed as fairly generic shapes and then you basically can just choose any of the dies you have at home. We try, when I'm designing this, I try and think quite carefully about how you're going to use it. So for instance, there's kind of like quite a lot of space around a lot of the elements. Mm -hmm. So you're going to be able to just die, you, you know, pick up, it could be a tonic die, it could be a clarity die, anything you want. And even though some of these are like shapes, so you've got an oval or a circle or a square, whatever, you'll still be able to trim these down mm. so for instance down here on this one you could actually trim that down and make that into a corner using your dies mm -hmm. but it means that we can bring you a nice bumper kit that's quite cost-effective we worked out if you use one top of a card you're looking at 120 cards that you can make from this pack yeah and the, the quality of the paper is super yeah it's on 250 gram cardstock now it's not a really it, it's a really nice weight but it's not so heavy that it's actually hard to die cut and also we do that so that you can layer on your projects and it doesn't put the price of your postage up too right. high when you're actually posting things. It's just the, the, the perfect all round weight really. Yeah it is. And it's if you want Flexi remember it's on Flexi today everything is over five pounds. Uh, 19.99 so you can have it today for just under ten pounds and then ten pounds of course in four weeks time if you want to spread the cost of it otherwise if you want to pay in full you can do 19.99 today but brand new. Yeah and again there's two colour stories in this kit so that you've got six different sheets and four of each but you have three sheets that are in those nice bright colourways that are going to match your papers from the first kit mm -hmm. and then you've got three designs that are also in those more shabby chic gentle colours that are going to match the other paper set. So it all combines together. Um, we just kind of split it out so that it's a bit more affordable for everybody. Well check the website if you'd like to for other things that uh, Nikki's bringing us today just to quickly show you a couple of cards to give you an idea as to how you can use these. Um, they're just beautiful, they really are. The quality of the, of the paper or cardstock as I said before is superb uh, to look at and to feel it's incredibly smooth beautifully done just and you can mix and match these mix and match them with your yeah. stamps you know I'm j I've just I mean these cards I made all of these in like literally about an hour and a half so it's a really nice way of actually making quick and easy cards um, that you and especially if you do batch make and if you I know we go on about it all the time about people selling but so many of us do actually sell our crafts just to earn a little bit of money back mm. and these kind of cards are the things that sell really fast at fairs because they look very very professional but more importantly it means that you can make them really really quickly sure. um, and you can decoupage if you're into decoupage you can decoupage them up because you've got four sheets of everything excellent okay so really versatile I've not seen this before this concept before uh, but this particular set is brand new and it's 19.99 10 pound off and remember with flex Travaganza, you can actually split that cost into two payments if you want to today make it even more affordable on uh, tight January as we call yeah, it 323096 yeah. your item number 19.99 give us a call for it right now the website's got everything else as well. Uh, Nikki, we'll see you a bit later. Okay. We're going to get Lou in to do our first demo on Hachanda in a second. Uh, but all of the other kits that are available, and some of them are individual, uh, individually available as well, like the stamps, for example. Some of the paper pads are indiv individually available. Uh, we've got our stencils in the pick and mix there. You can choose uh, two for 11 98 We've also got pick and mix on our embossing powders as well. Choose any two colours there for 11 99 All of this is also on Flexi, remember, if you want to spread the cost of those over two payments, you can do. It's all there at Chanda.com. Right then, your debut. <laughs> you yes. Yes, I'm nervous. Oh, no, don't I'm, be nervous. I'm not sure which sort of thing. I'm not sure about more nervous being in front of the camera or Nikki just being in the sidelines. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh. She won't pull funny faces at you, I'm sure. I, I hope not. I hope not. Right, I thought I'd um, do a simple card that looks complicated, okay. just using the stamping, using the bird 
um, from the stamp set over there. This one here. Yeah, yep. and um, just one of the flowers. Okay, so this is our big bundle we're using in the first demonstration, which comes with the stamps and the papers, the doilies, the wooden uh, elements as well. It's all there. And it's almost like you're getting all the embellishments absolutely for nothing because you're saving £32 or even more if you're in the Freedom Club as well. And the quality of polka doodles is superb, Lou, isn't it? Yeah, superb. I mean, I've been using them now for 10 years and there's never been a time that I can't fault them in any time made them even the stamps and i'm not a delicate crafter so i want to pick something up and slap it down and not worry that it's actually going to tear right. and they never do good so so that that's a bonus what have you done here you've done some right. masking have you yeah i've done some masking so what i want to do is do a double layer of flowers to create a border right. um and and then that way it takes a focal point on your card but then it's where you overlap, you will actually have a sentiment going over the front of it, so we won't actually see what we've done. So what all I did was I've started in the center, masked off, and then stamped either side, mm -hmm. and then I'm just going to reverse it and do it the opposite way again. Because I'm going to use watercolors, I'm just using my Versafine. Okay. And that won't interfere with the black ink? No. The watercolors. No. It is a new ink pad, so I might have to blot off. So all I'm going to do is start in the center, and Stands then beautifully. Yeah, it does clear absolutely perfect and then I'm just going to mask off and I just use um, general sticky notes to do my masking I know a few people that actually make as a matter of mm. um, habit make masks every single time they buy a new stamp straight away yeah I do yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah so it's there but what I would do is I'm I would then peel off three or four sheets and cut three or four sheets out at the same time so then I've got four masks to go rather than just do one every single time Good thinking. So, and just carry on with the design. And using the mask, of course, gives you that kind of three-dimensional. Yeah, yeah, it gives you the one that one's looking behind the other. Yeah. It's also a quick way of doing a border as well. And you can reuse those masks again and again, can't you? Yeah. Really? Yeah. So I'm, I'm not even trying to make the flowers go in the same direction because on the design. There is a cutout point there, mm -hmm. but I'm, I'm just putting them any way I actually want to do them. So, I've got a mask there. I love your idea of cutting four out at once. I wouldn't have thought of doing that. It uh, makes so much sense. Yeah, it, it just helps you if you want to do lots of masking mm. as well. And then you're only using, I suppose it's being a bit cheap in some respects, you're only using one bit of ink mm. to actually create your mask. But also, those are repositionable notes. They're very, very thin, so you can cut through multiple layers yeah. easily, can't you? Yeah. So. so I'm just building up the design so it goes right to the edge. Mm -hmm. And this of. is one of the stamps that's in the this one. Yes, yeah, in the big in bundle. The and big there's bundle 17 stamps that's got the bird in total. In 17 in that, in that one. Yeah. And they're a good size. I mean, the flower, I'm going to quickly do is six centimeters five yeah five centimeters by size. five centimeters so it's that one there we're using. Yeah. yeah and you've got plenty others there as well you've got a, at least a couple of others in different kind of angles yeah to play with i mean that one there which i'm trying to if you can see that one the one the half one that, one that is brilliant if you stamp it up and stamp it twice because you can actually make it look like a flower the petals are falling forward right when you layer it up Ooh. okay so that's all i'm going to do with the flower and that just created um, a double border. Isn't it beautiful? Because they're all behind each other now, just by using that mask technique. Yeah. So, I like it. But, in good Blue Peter fashion, what I've done next is taken the stamp and I've gone around the edge and left a little white border just to create then a shaped mm -hmm. border. That's effective. Yeah. Um, Top tip, if you're in a hut, I always leave a little white border if I haven't got time because then it doesn't matter if you cut into the stamp design mm. and you haven't ruined the actual black line. I've made the mistake so many times of trying to get up right close to the black line. It's, 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 why bother? Just leave yeah. a little white border. It makes, I think it looks even better actually like that. And also, it, a bit more forgiving, you can cut in any, really, any direction you want. Yeah. And all I've done then is taken it and I've actually started to colour in. So I'm going to colour the opposite side. But I'm not worried about colouring this middle bit because going in the the centre will be the sentiment. Ah, right. So that will actually cover it. So I can actually just paint or colour two thirds of so my actual design. Don't colour what you're not going to see. Don't waste your ink. Yeah, basically. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to use 
Nouveau Aquaflows, and I've just taken two of the colours. And I'm not even going to be fussy colouring. I'm just going to overlayer each. And these you'll find on the website as well, the, the Nouveau pens, um, under Tonic, the brand of Tonic, of course. Yeah. And they're obviously water-based. Yeah, so you can blend with them and all sorts. Yeah. And they, you can go on top and they blend out. And as you can see, my colouring, I'm not, I'm just doing it loosely because it doesn't need to be... Well, colour, you know, coloured flowers are not exact. Nature is not exact. I always say this, you know, you can be quite slapdash with the colour and it'll still look very natural. But I also think some people get obsessed with colouring something so it looks as real as possible. And then if it doesn't look how you want it to be at the end of it, you can be really disillusioned with your project. Mm, Whereas yeah. if you just go with like a free idea right from the start, it doesn't matter. And then all I'm just going to do is just push the colour to the edge. So that gives you that lovely lighter shade, yeah. just using a water brush? Yeah. I'd like to say I deliberately planned light and dark, but I would be fibbing. I've just gone for the, the colours. Is this your favourite type of crafting? Stamping and colouring, that sort of thing? Yeah I, yeah, I do like stamping, yeah. I think it's... You, you have a little bit more control of what you want to make, because um, you can make something more complicated or less complicated. Mm. Um, and stamping gives you the illusion that you yourself have had a part in the design. I know someone's created the stamped images for you to use, but you then are creating your own little bit of an element sure. to build up your own design as you think they should be used. And also, looking at these flowers here in front of you, they, they've actually shown you where the shading should be. So if you struggle with light and dark, yeah. the stamps help you, don't they? Yeah, yeah, you can easily go over where you want to, to do sort of thing. I'm just cheating and just blending out. And I said, you could be using um, pencils, water, water pencils. You if could you use pencils, to, um, alcohol markers. Yep. Um, stamping. I mean, obviously, it depends on which ink pad you use. Would depend on what colouring medium you're going to to use. So the archival is what you've used. Yeah. Um, whereas I would use a memento type ink pad if I was going to use al um, the alcohol markers. Right. Fine. And they'll all on, be on the website as well. Yeah. Uh, but the stock of this is going fast, as you can imagine. Remember, today we are giving you £32 off the price. So it's down from £74.95, should be what you're paying for this complete bundle, down to £42.95. Now, that's good in its own right, but then if you're a Freedom member, you get another 10% off that, and you don't have to pay the P&P either. And you can have Flexi, because it's our Flex Travaganza. So um, the low price of 38.66 you can split into two. So that's only £19.33 today. That's a delivered price for Freedom members, and 19.33 in four weeks in February. So I'm just going to go right to the end to create the border. And it doesn't take long before they start to... No, it doesn't take long at all. Because, as you said previously, the flowers come in all different shapes, mm -hmm. colours, hues, so they don't have to be identical. The only thing that is semi-identical is the colours I've chosen to use. And I've kept to very simple colours, mm -hmm. or two complementary colours, I should say. If you wanted both the items in the show today, if you wanted to go for the A4 uh, paper collection that we showed you, which has got the five uh, die-cut images on the front, the spring song, um, you could have both of them on Flexi, actually. So that would be, if you wanted both of them, that would be about £15. Just under £15, the first payment today. And then all I'm just going to do is just colour in the actual centre of the flower, and that, that is actually my main design. I'm not worried about anything more than that. And okay. then I'll take my card, check there's nothing in there. And then I'm going to add that to the front of the card. So I'm just going to glue. And I'm, when I've measured the piece of card, I've deliberately made it bigger than the card blank, so it allows you to chop to your card size, rather right. than you then get paranoid that you're stamping is not fitting onto your car. So if you deliberately do it in your head that it's meant to overhang, mm -hmm. then it takes away a little bit of the pressure that you're doing. I'm using the glue that comes with the yep. embellishment kit. And that's um, a general PVA glue? Yeah, general yep. white PVA glue. And it's designed so you have a little bit more play with it, so you, it doesn't you know, grab straight away. Right, so you get a bit of wiggle time. Yeah. Yep. You're a natural at this. <laughs> Well, getting a bit more time. <laughs> Everyone's saying they wouldn't know it's your first time on air. So. <sighs> well, it feels it. <laughs> <laughs>
Right, all I'm going to do is stick that down like that. And that's then created, when we do the sentiment, I know this is the matte and layer, it's created the illusion of doing that straight away and it adds an impact to mm -hmm. it. Mm -hmm. It's also, the reason I've done this as well is because I love working on white card. White card doesn't love me. Right. And I end up having little fingerprints or little smudges. At least this way, my main card blank stays clean. Yeah. And then all I'm going to do is just cut away. It was cut away from the back, yeah? I do, yes, because then you've got more, you've got two pieces of card to rest against rather than one single piece. Mm -hmm. So your scissors are likely to, less likely to move. So when I've made that now, we've got it that the flowers go right to the edge of the card and it looks like then you've planned it mm -hmm. to actually do it that way. Looking very good. Okay. Now all I'm going to do next is I'm just going to add a bit of vellum only because I thought it added softened and it also gives me a little bit of a hiding if I haven't coloured enough here the vellum makes makes it look softer the design looks softer mm -hmm. and it looks like that was your cunning plan all along. Well that's what I'm saying. All it these is. tips. <laughs> tricks of the trade. So, I'm and just tearing the vellum as well is a nice effect, yeah. isn't it? I think it, with vellum, I think it looks lovely. Also, if if you're not very good with a guillotine or cutting, um, and you do it, it doesn't matter then if it's slightly skewed. If one edge is thicker, mm. one edge is thinner. It looks as if you intended it to yeah, be that way. So. To do it that way. Okay. Right. So I'm just going to add that straight across the middle, and I'm going to then add my black layer, and, and like I did with this the flowers, I'm actually going to trim them away once I've got it in place. Right. Because before I stamp my sentiment, I'm going to get the glue. I did put the glue upside down so it would flow, but I turned it back. Now the vellum's curling because of the wet glue, mm -hmm. but that doesn't matter because I'm going to put the, the card on the top, which will hold it, flatten it in down. place, yeah, yep. flatten it down. So the idea is I'm going to take the strip and that's going to have the sentiment and leave me a small black border. But before I know where I'm going to do it, I've actually pre-prepped in advance some of the extra flowers and I've used the same colour scheme and the leaves from the same pack and I've also used the bird, mm -hmm. okay? And all I want to do is, so I know where I'm going to stamp, is I'm just going to roughly position my layout and then that gives me an idea of where I actually want to put the stamp so it's all in line. And that bird's in the same stamp same set? Same in the same stamp set. So yeah. all I've literally used for this card is the one flower, the bird, and the larger leaf set. So those three? Yeah. And you're getting all these other stamps, of course, as well, plus not only that set, you're also going to get this set too. Amazing value, absolutely stonking value for money, oh, it, it really is. is. I mean, 17 stamps alone in the set is amazing value. Yeah. And I love the fact they've been coloured in on the back as well. So if you are a novice or you're not quite sure what's going to look good, you can always just refer to the back of the packaging and copy that if you wanted to. I'm just going to use the stamp platform this time is, um, because I actually want to make sure the sentiment is dark and stands out. Yeah. And it's easy if I use the platform, I can do it. So where, where I layered the bird up, I then put the stamp on my card I've just lifted it carefully onto the stamp platform so I know it's when I stamp this and I layer this back up again it will all be fingers crossed <laughs> in the right place to check I've got the right side yep again the ar archival link and oh, stamping platforms we had some on the show yesterday we did the um uh, the portable one the kind of um what, the mini yeah the mini one and that was uh, on a special offer yesterday check the website we might have still some of those left and they're all because yes, the mini well. one is just yeah slightly smaller I've got the larger one and you can double stamp to make it even darker yeah which is what I wanted to do I deliberately wanted that so I can make this sentiment stand out as much as possible which it now does yeah. so if I move that out of the way and then move my bits this then is just going to go straight onto there and sit in place. I am going to quickly blot this because it's a new ink pad mm -hmm. before I put my fingers all over it. However, if you do do that, with all the small little stamps that are in the stamp set, that's an ideal time to actually use them and go over any potential... Good idea. Yeah. Happy accidents, as they're called. <laughs> I'm not sure they're happy at the time you do them. Well, well, no, maybe not, but you do <laughs> certainly get loads of little extra stamps in there, like little blotches, little rings, little... Um, spillages and so on. So yeah, little speckles 
So there's lots of extras that you can use to camouflage a multitude of sins, really. Yeah, yeah. and that, that's, they're brilliant for that if, you, if that happens to you. I think it happens to all of us, doesn't it? Mm. So I'm just lining the sentiment up, and in fact, you can actually see there's a little bit of black there, but that won't matter once I've layered all my bird mm -hmm. up. So I'm just going to put that down. So normally when you're not here, obviously it's your first time today, but normally it would be your cards that we show yeah. when Nikki's doing the show. Yes. Right. Do you watch the shows and see your cards being displayed? Or? Um, I normally have to record because right. of the day job. <laughs> but then I can go through afterwards and I can sit down with a nice cup of coffee and actually thoroughly enjoy the show. Good. Looking great. Thank you. So I'm just going to do exactly the same as I did before and just trim away. And cutting from behind always gives you that extra um, extra tough edge to cut up against, which gives you a much better finish. It is, because when day. you think about the spine on the card, it's slightly thicker, which means when your scissors are against it, yeah. there's less likelihood of you sliding across and having an accident. Right. Now you can see I've made a... Well, that doesn't matter. Now what I've done was I've cut the, the flowers and I've cut one twice. So I'm going to put one of the flowers that way but what I've then done is on the design you can see that it's really clear where all the different petals are mm. so I've just cut down and stopped just short of the center and that is so I can then shape these petals you could use a um, flower kit you know when you have the boat bottle yep. you could use your fingers like I'm doing or even a bone folder whichever you prefer yeah we all have our different preferences. So the idea is I'm going to layer the flower. That one's going to go on then on the nice. top there. And then the leaves. Again, you can put the leaves wherever you want to do it. So I'll just glue them in place. And then finally, the bird will go on top. Fantastic. Okay. Yeah. So I'll layer those bits up. Okay. Well, um, also, while we're here, let's just have a little look also at some of the other cards that some of the design team have done too, while you're just sticking those together, that's Lou, lovely. if that's yeah. all right. No problem. Um, look at these. They're all being used, of course, or being made by the main kit today. Love that. Just wrapping some vellum round, stamping on it with white embossing powder. Looks lovely, doesn't it? All of these stamps, there is in the bundle today, are used to create this. I love that font on the word hello as well. Beautiful. And the, the pearl embellishments, they're coming with the kit as well. All of the embellishments you're not paying a penny for, really, because we're giving you £32 introductory discount. Plus, we're giving you Freedom Membership discount as well. So if you are in the Freedom Club, another 10% comes off that already discounted price. And you can have it on two flexes. So for less than £20 today, you can get the kit that should be over £70, £74.95. You'll get that home for under 20 today and no P&P to worry about if you're a freedom member and then same again in four weeks 19 pound 33 in four weeks time but all of these are lovely and they are very useful and usable kits all through the year they're not just for like certain seasons or whatever you'll reach for them time and time again whether you're making little tags whether you're making lovely cards or however you're using them so all these beautiful finished cards wonderful using the stamps that are in the show and some this is really dead simple and plain but i love it Sometimes the simplest cards are sometimes the most effective, aren't they? Just a little bit of faux stitching going around the edge with a fine liner. Now, um, which ones sold out individually? Uh, the birds. OK, so the bird stamps on their own have now gone completely. So if you wanted those individually, they've sold out. We do still have the other stamps set individually, I believe. But of course, it's the big bundle that saves you the most money. Do bear that in mind. Uh, so for less than £20, you can have all the stamps. You can have all of these papers, the doilies, uh, the wooden embellishments, the glitter, the the, oh, everything. Um, all the ribbons there too. 1933 today and 1933 in four weeks' time. You're giving a bit of glitter to the I bird. I am giving a bit of glitter to the bird. And I, the glitter is also in the embellishment kit. Yep. Um, and I'm just going to, because I've used the glue, I can push it and it's still wet. I just thought it made him stand out a little bit more from the purple. It's kind of a kingfisher blue, that, isn't it? Yes. Yeah. yeah. Um, what I have done is I've stuck, before I actually glittered it, because I'm obviously going to make my card straight away, is I've actually stuck the 3D foam on the back, mm -hmm. just so it, I don't have to then tip the glitter onto the card. So I can position him where I'd like him to go. And I'm going to position him to make it look like he's sitting on the word sing. There he is. And there he is. And then you could always sit that down. You could, because there is a gold glitter in the embellishment kit as well. I could have gone through all the flowers and added gold to it as well. I'll move the blue there. 
What a fab first card. Okay. But I just wanted to say that I mean, that's the design I've done that, but my original design, and you can take it a next step forward, is I've actually done it in a different colourway, so I have glittered. Right. But then I've used one of the other sentiments that comes from the same stamp kit, and then I've used the smaller hearts, which are also in the same stamp set, mm -hmm. and just to make the design go across the page a little bit further. Do something that makes your heart sing. Yeah. Love it. Okay, well, let's have a little quick recap then of what's been in the show so far. It's Lou's first day with us as well with Nikki and Polka Doodles, and I think you're a great, brilliant cars, fantastic uh, demos. So if you would like to have a little look at the website, you'll see all the kits that are available there, uh, and all the bits that are uh, available individually as well, if you want just maybe the spring pad on its own for five ninety nine. Also, we've got stencils there as well. I think they're on a pick and mix. Uh, $11.98 for any two, and you'll see the designs if you have a little look on the website there. Uh, there's plenty to choose from. The unicorns there, look. The wings, uh, I think that's a little princess. There's loads to choose from, but you can choose any two for 11.98. We've also got embossing powders as well, the Stampendous embossing powders. We've got the aged teal and aged green, and we've also got the pick and mix uh, on uh, as, as well for all those other colours. But they're 11.99 if you want the aged colours, and they're 11.99 if you want the pick and mix, and they're there too. And five star reviews all the way. But the main focal point is this bundle. Everything between my hands here and here, you're going to get in the kit today. When I was first looking at the show with uh, Nikki earlier on today, I just thought the whole kit was this. But oh no, you get all of the embellishments as well. Um, so you get two comprehensive stamp sets. Uh, the main one, of course, that Lou was using has sold out individually, but it is available still in the double bundle. And I do love the fact, I mentioned it before, but it's well worth pointing out that you've got on the back of the packaging the images that the stamps are, but also it shows you colouring ideas too. So if you are starting out or you're buying this kit for someone that's starting out crafting and you're not quite sure what colours go with what, you can copy that if you want. Then you get both of the pads, which are just here. Now these are loose leaf pads. And I'm a big fan of those because I don't like the ones that you tear out because I always end up ripping the pages. You're going to get 24 pages in each pad uh, and there's eight designs, so three of each. Uh, you've got tags and toppers that you've got there at the front, so three sheets of those. You get lovely background papers. So these are quite bold and quite bright patterns and, and colours that you can see there. Oh, look at that one. That's almost like a tie-dye effect. Really lovely. So that's why, that one's your colour of spring. This one is slightly more subtle. This is your gentle song. And again, there's 24 sheets in here as well. More pastel shades, bird houses, little arrows and flowers and so on. Gorgeous backgrounds. So those are the two pads you're getting there. Uh, then it goes on to the embellishments. Now this is what you're getting for nothing really, you're not paying for these because you get £32 off. You're going to get all four bottles of the glitter, you've got the glue, all of this ribbon you can see here as well and the bead trim. You've got your doilies in craft colour and in white in different sizes. Uh, this really thick 350 GSM craft card is great for box making and construction as well, but really, really durable. Uh, I love the craft ribbon that you've got there as well in the be beiges and browns. Really beautiful with butterflies and dots printed on it. All of these wooden embellishments, you get 10 of each colour, 10 white and 10 of the pink. And then you've even got your adhesive gemstones and pearls there as well. So this big bumper bundle is so much value for money and such, good, such a great investment today. Nearly 40% of the entire stock has gone. We're only, what, about 35 minutes into the show. Uh, and showing you again a few of the finished cards. This is what Lou normally does uh, for us and for you. Uh, but now she's debuting, doing her first ever demo on the TV today. But look at that, isn't that amazing? And that's kind of cutting out all these little individual words from that stamp. Um, and I think that's really effective, making them into little kind of word tiles. Uh, this one. Uh, there are so many beautiful reasons to be happy and then using the stamps multiple times to create that fantastic circular wreath is very lovely. That's where stamping platforms come in to their own really. And look at that, a very three-dimensional, that's almost like it's telling a story with the wooden uh, elements there, the wooden butterflies and so on and all the stamps that are used in the set as well. 42.95, but if you're a Freedom member, remember, it's 38.66. You get that extra 10% off. So for Freedom members, you're saving 36.29 and no P&P to pay either. So another 2.95 saved there. And you can have it on Flexi, because today is our final day of the Flex Travaganza. So if you do want to spread the cost of this and you're in the Freedom Club, it's 19.33 today delivered and 19.33 then in four weeks' time. Nearly 40% of the entire available stock of this has gone. When you consider what you're getting for such little investment today, it is a great opportunity. And you know Polka Doodles is the most amazing quality. So from Nikki and Lou, 
give us a call for that right now while we've got the stock. Uh, and you can give us a call or you can do it on the website as well, which is hachanda.com. Now, the paper collection we've got for you, the Spring Song. Now, this is a, a very clever idea from Nikki, and she's done a similar concept to this before, and it's proved to be very, very popular. You've got here 24 sheets of A4, but on each sheet, you've actually got five different... Um, designs. Now the idea is taking your matting and layering dies or your decorative dies, whatever you've got at home, she's designed them so that you can cut them out with your existing dies at home uh, however you wish. Whether it's an oval, whether it's a circle, whether it's a square or rectangle, whatever size you want to use, whether you've got maybe some spell binders, decorative frames like this, you know, you choose exactly what shape that topper is going to be. Now, the quality of this is superb. It's 270 G, 250, 250 GSM. So it's in between card and paper, but it means it cuts a dream and it also, uh, you know, layers onto your cardstock without increasing the weight too much at all. But you're going to get a total of 120 cards out of these pages for 19.99. And if you want it on Flexi, that's fine with us as well. You can spread the cost just under £10 a day and £10 in four weeks' time if you would like that on its own. Or if you want to go for it with the main bundle, Imagine how far that's going to go. If you add that to your order with the main bundle today, that will be just ten pound more. So that'd be twenty nine thirty three today and twenty nine thirty three in four weeks' time. If you wanted both sets, and no PMP, of course, if you're a Freedom member. Three two three oh nine six is your item number. Now, other things in the show. Uh, the Hello Friends stamp, this has been very, very popular. This is the other stamp set that's in the big bundle. This is the only one that's available individually now. The other one that we used in the demo did sell out. It is limited stock, though, at $14.99. That's got 16 clear stamps in it. It will be in the main bundle, of course, as will the other. But if you want it on its own, $14.99, be quick, 982275. Uh, but think about it, for £5 more, you can have the whole bundle on two flexes. So, you know, 1933. Now, the aged green and aged teal embossing enamel, that's there as, uh, I was, was going to say, it's not a pick and mix, this one, is it? You get both of those for 11 99 This is if you like the aged look. If you want the standard embossing powders, they are on, um, uh, pick any two, pick and mix for 11 99 as well. But that's 531339, your item number, if you'd like that. Okay, demo number two then, Luke. Yeah, we're going to actually use the um, Hello Friend stamp set. Great, okay. Um, so we're using the opposite stamp set than, than before. Yeah. And all I'm going to do is create a simple background just using the oxides. Everybody's favourite. Yeah, it's because you can do lots of different things with them if you want to do different water techniques. And I'm not, I'm not going to do anything really fussy either. I'm just going to just add, I just, the idea is just to add a little bit of colour onto a white bit of card. Now I'm going to say, a, when you do something like this, we always end up leaving a dot. But if you then try and make it purposeful to your actual design, it looks like you're trying to make polka doodles for right. oh, okay. on there deliberately. So if you feel that if you're blending out and you're left with that, if you then try and make it part of the actual design, make a feature of it. Make yeah. a feature of it. Yeah. Why not? So I'm just going to use one other colour. I'm going to blend them in so I can get a bit of a green. Mm -hmm. What's, what's your type of, what type of cardstock do you I'm using use? watercolour cards. Oh, right, okay. Um, I prefer to use a heavier weight card. Um, only because I, I'm terrible for faffing, which means that I end up then putting more and more and more. And if I've got a heavier weight card, it takes right. that abuse right from the start. That, that's one of the main reasons for it. And that is all I'm going to do, is just keep a simple like background it. like that. You could now get a spritzer and spritz over it and then rub it away and then the oxide would leave some whiter patches. And then all I'm going to do is I'm just going to take the main stamp design, the main big focal design, which is the flowers Flower in, in the jar. In the jar. Yeah. Um, and don't forget, all these are already pre-cut for you, so there's no cutting or, or anything that's needed. It's just basically peel it off and stick it back on. I mean, and this is over 12 centimetres in height, it's so it's, stamp, it's, it's yeah. a big stamp. Mm. It's very commanding. And actually, just seeing all the other flower heads that are on here, that last technique that you saw Lou, Lou do a few minutes ago, that would look great with these as well, mm. wouldn't it? It really would, would, yeah. It's Especially the, the, this sort of, like the chrysanthi sort of feel flower. I'm not very good with flower names, sorry. No, I'm not very good <laughs> either. I know what I like. <laughs> yes. What they're called, I don't know often. So all I'm going to do is just take the design and I'm just going to stamp it and I'm not even going to worry that if it goes off slightly off centre. Lou, 
Lou with us, uh, regular at uh, Hachanda. She's just emailed in. Hello, Lou. Morning. She's loving Lou's demonstrations. Another Lou. Another Lou, yeah. I know. And nice Lou's moved watching. over to the Tonic team as well, hasn't she? She's getting lots of inspiration, she said, so that's nice. Thank you. So you could, if you wanted to, and you wanted to do a flat card, you could leave it like this. And you've got the glitters in the embellishment here. So you could add the glitters to the centre of the flower and use some of the ribbon mm -hmm. and with just a little bow and put that straight onto your card blank Great. with a sentiment. and. It's done. Mm -hmm. uh, you don't have to do any more with it, sort of thing. I'm just going to dry it off a little bit because this is a new ink pad and I don't want it to travel everywhere. You could have brought a bigger <laughs> roll. <laughs> Takes away from the nerves. Oh, okay, <laughs> if it was tiny and my hands were shaking, you're going to see that. Whereas if I hold a big roll, you're never going to know. <laughs> uh, give it away the secrets yeah. now. Uh, right, and then what I'm going to do is just use one of the sentiments um, that is actually on the same kit uh, in every walk of with nature um, which is quite a big sentiment yeah in every walk with nature you receive far more than Sorry, you see to... uh, other verses on there are each new day is special and this one is no different yeah I love that big hello as well very nice oh nice big friend stamp there as well I like it and it uh, works with either because they can work with both designs. Yeah. So you could, even where you've had the bird on the other set, the walk with nature would and go we'll perfectly with actually we'll those as well. Hold them together. So again, you can see all the stamps you're going to get. There's loads there for your money in this bundle today. And remember, one of these stamp sets is, how much was it for one? 14 99 So for 19 you're going to get the whole kit. OK, you paid that twice first one today and then for the next one in four weeks time but you know if you're like us you're going to want everything anyway so why not go for the big bundle it's got so much in it right all I'm going to do is still using the same oxides and I just thought it would be nice to actually stamp the sentiments in, in different colors I think everybody's go-to is either a black when you're mm. when you're stamping and sometimes it's nice to do it differently and I'm actually just going to go and it looks like I'm obliterating the design and I am but this is all forming part of my actual background, so it's still making start part of the background, oh, okay. so it's not... So I would never have thought of doing that, so I'm intrigued to see how this is going <laughs> to... And it, it's, it's a bit way of having like a cheated um, writing paper, so you're making it look like the, you've got a backing paper that had a text design yeah. already on it. So... And then I'm just going to stamp it there. And again, that if you wanted to keep it clean and simple, as I was saying before, you could just add a ribbon, mm -hmm. add a little bit of glitter, and it can go straight onto your card front. And it's great that you can layer the colours with oxides really yeah. easily, can't you, as yeah. well? And you could even take it, if you didn't want the text to be quite so bold, you could still take a spritzer, spritz over the top, and it would dilute the text out and make it look like it's merging or sinking into the background mm. just a little bit more. Nice. Right, so that is my actual background, and that is all I'm going to do. I'm not going to do anything more on it than just keep it as simple as that. Didn't take very long either, did it, really? No. And all I've done, and it shows you actually how, oh, sorry, I've turned it the wrong way, how commanding that actual stamp mm. in the jar with the flowers is, and just a standalone image by itself. Do you come up with these ideas yourself, or do you get inspiration from other people? I know lots um, of crafters share their ideas, but... Yes and no, but a lot of, I think I would get a white piece of paper, and I just stamp all the designs out, and then I'll cut them all out and then I've got them all to hand. So when I'm trying to think of different things, I can actually play with the loose pieces. Uh, good idea, like a jigsaw. Just yeah, and me. I'm also, I always doodle my designs out as well, so then I can remember what I was going to do. But they're always at hand straight away, right. um, and then I can do them for the different structures that I'm going to do. Good thinking. Yeah, why not do that with all these, well, not all your stamps, but the certainly stamps you're getting today. Stamp them out, cut them out, play with them, make images yep. with them and put them together and see what you do. So I'm just going to do another quick backgrounds these are actually because I'm using a DL card you always end up getting the strip left over from the A4 sheet um, so that's created my panel to go onto my DL and these are all little scraps I have that when you cut off panels oh, um, nice. so I do try and think of reasons every now and then to use them so that I, you know so instead of having this huge big box of scraps sitting in the corner there's actually a, you know, <laughs> there's a method for actually keeping it at the end of the day and I'm just doing exactly the same sort of colours 
scheme that I've done before. Um, and I'm going to keep it as simple as that. And I'm going to use, and I'm just going to do another little bit of layering on them. So, and I'm using the big flower from the, the same stamp set. That one is this one just here. Yeah. There we go. Look. So you get three different sizes of flower. Well, well that one's very similar to that one, I yeah. suppose, in size, but certainly... Well, because then if you look at it, if I'm going to stamp it over now, I've got a perfect image that if I wanted to decoupage up and create right. a layered flower using the jar, I can do that. Good. Or what would look nice is there's smaller versions of the same flower on the same stamp set that you could stamp out, cut out, and actually go up that way. So mm -hmm. it's, it's doing that way. Right, so all I'm going to do is I'm just going to take the flower... And I'm just going to stamp it and just leave it like that. The detail in that, look at it. Yeah, it's, minute, it's very mm, good, isn't it? Even down good. to the centre part. And also, in the same stamp set, you have the same flower, but it's on a stalk. Yep. So that's good if you wanted to create, then, I'm not going to do it on this piece, but if you wanted to create flowers that were coming out, you could do that, just mask off this image. Mm -hmm. And all I'm going to do is just take this one. And taking the smaller, I'm just going to add it onto this one to create another. Nice touch. You know I said the hour go quickly. Yes. You've got ten, min ten minutes left. Oh, That's okay. All. <laughs> That's all we've got. Uh, it's, it's funny, when people come here for the first time, they go, an hour, how are we going to fill an hour? That's a long time. And before you know it, boom, gone. It's gone. Yeah. So all I've done is just made three actual panels um, using one, two, three, four of the actual stamps from the stamp set, and there's another 12 that you could use and add into the design. So this is said was going to be my main background, mm -hmm. and that's going to go onto the, the card blank, and that's just going to sit there with a simple white bit. But what I've done as well, just to give people a different idea, if you, we always say like if you use black, it makes a design pop, and if you use white, it it doesn't. So you, I could just put that on a panel. Look at the difference. And, and it then makes the design pop, so I'm going to do it so that, that one's going to technically sit like that. So I've then made them the focal point mm. of my card. Or if I wanted everything to blend in together, if I used a white mat, everything then becomes the focal point. Makes a big, big difference, the backing the card. card you have, doesn't yeah. it? Yeah. So it depends on what look you're actually want to go for and you, what you want is your focus point. They both look good, but I think the black... Do you want to go for the black? It. Yeah, okay. I think so for me. <laughs> we'll go for the black. Makes a big difference. So remember today, this brand new bumper bundle we got from um, Nikki and from Lou and Polka Doodles is on a ridiculously affordable discount. It's £32 off if you're not a Freedom Club member. If you are a Freedom Club member, you get another 10% off that already discounted price. Saves you £36.29 and you're only paying £38.66 for the whole lot. It's like you're getting the embellishments for nothing. And on Flexi, because it's a flex... Flex, what would you call it? Flex Travaganza. I can never remember that word. Flex Travaganza. It's our last day of that today. You can have it with our compliments for 1933 first payment today and 1933 in four weeks. Nearly 50% of the big bundle is gone. There is another show scheduled later on today, so it looks like it's going to be a sellout. You can get it in between shows as well if you want to. But it's all of this for just under 20 quid today and just under 20 quid in four weeks' time. Embellishments, ribbon, glitter, paper pads, stamps. Uh, craft card. Oh, never well, there's, ending. There's lace, yep. there's pearls. Yep, adhesive so, gems. Yeah, and then you've got the doilies. Yep, don't forget the doilies. All which, you, which are very good to stamp on as well. Right, so that's just created my card. Just going to layer these bits up. And even to include the glue. Yes thought of everything is a, is a bonus because you can get going especially if you're, is, you're giving the gift to a new crafter um, maybe the only thing you need to do then is maybe buy them a pair of scissors but mm -hmm. they can actually get going yeah it is away. like a complete kit to get started isn't it yeah it really is or a great way of building up your stash as well yeah so I'm just gonna layer that one over the top like that and that's just the basic composition of the card. So I've got a little bit OTT with the glue. <laughs> so it's oozing out a little bit more. Now, talking about where I've made a 
like a blodge there using some of the smaller stamps I could if I wanted to have gone over that with a, a flower mm. and it would take it away and you do have quite a few small stamps on there as well for that purpose really oh, yes you've got little love hearts you've got little branches here as well um, you've got splodges and speckles almost like the like a, a hen's egg sort of design <laughs> on there um, little kind of circles. So, and yeah. you've got the butterfly as well, which would look perfect actually in the corner there. Well, they sometimes say there's a mistake stick a butterfly yeah. on it, don't they? So. Well, because then it looks like it's travelling down to the flowers, and, yes. that, and, and that was your actual design you know, idea right from the beginning. I'm going to take another one of the sentiment because there's three sentiments on that actual set there. Yep. Um, each day, each new day is as special as this one is no different. Yeah, Sorry, each new day is special, use. and this one is no different. Yeah. Right. And I like the font on that because it's nice and simple but effective. Which makes the sentiment stand out, so doesn't yeah. it? That little bit more. It's where you did the, um, the embossing on the vellum, the white embossing powder on the vellum. That looked really cool. Mm. But I mean, I know I'm white embossing powder, but use any colour embossing powder mm. on the vellum because the vellum is a great for showing that. So that's the sentiment done. I would, if, you, if you're not so sure and you're not confident about doing an actual sentiment like that, Use the stamp platform, yeah, because you can then hold it in place. I'm just Where will we be without stamp platforms these days? Massive fan. Oh, they are, especially if you want to do a lot of batch making as well. But I think for me, it's actually if you want to stamp and brave enough to stamp onto your, like this one, yeah. straight onto your card blank, the stamp platform is ideal for that. And all I'm going to do is layer that up. And also, if you're using different coloured inks and things like that over a big stamp, you're going to get the stamp in the same place every single time. Yeah. 